Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I am Jamie Birchall, and we're Wormhole Pinball, and I'm really excited this morning. We are uh, streaming the classics at TPF, and I am joined by Frisco, Pinballs, Hottie. Yes. How are you? Good. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm so pumped. Stick this thing right in your face because it's... Uh, there we go. I got to eat it. You got to eat it. <laughs> Hottie, I'm That's excited. Tough, I'm excited. Oh, see? Already they turned us. You see? Already, people are touching my stuff. Yes, it's not good. Chat, if you can't hear us, please let us know. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's a gain button just in case. Uh, we need to pump up the volume a little there. But all right, I'm eating it. I should be good. Let us know yes. if it's not absolutely perfect. Well, welcome, everybody, to Wormhole Pinball's coverage of TPF, starting with the quarterfinal classics this morning. In beautiful Frisco, Texas, that's where I get my name, Frisco Pinball. Great to have the guys from Wormhole up here driving all the way up and uh, uh, giving us some great coverage today. It's you know, it's awesome. It, it, it's it, it's nerve-wracking, Hottie, because when you come up here, uh, you know, when you move a pinball machine, oh things break, yes, yes, right? Yes, yes. When you move a rig, yeah, things, things stuff <laughs> breaks, okay? So uh, let me show you what we've got here. Hadi and I, he was very kind enough, Frisco, to help me with some uh, things, people touching our stuff this morning. <laughs> but uh, let me show you here. This is how it's going to work. We've got, we've got one on Harlem Trotters. We've got one on, uh, which one is this? Uh, Mars Trek. Mars Trek. Thank you. And folks, we, are, we have done what we can about the glare. It's just the way the room is set up. We, uh, Jamie's got umbrellas everywhere. If you need any action called or something explained, let us know. Um, but this is just how the lighting is. So it, it, it is. I've got the umbrellas. I've got everything I possibly can. Yes. This room just stinks when it comes to lighting. Dear it, TPF, please put us in the seminar room downstairs. The problem with the <laughs> seminar room is those circle lights, dude. Oh, you should that. see that. That's worse than this. <laughs> I'm telling you. Anyway, how is everyone? Good morning. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. And then we've got the double rig system here, if I could find it on my uh, uh, thing here. Uh, Frisco's mic does not seem on. Okay. Oh, because he's probably. Let's see. Let's turn it on. <laughs> well, at least we had somebody tell us. That's a good Thank thing. you, guys. Okay. Let me try you again. Are All you right. on? Test, test, test. Can you hear That's me? That's better. Chat. All right. I think so, right? Chat, can you hear me? Ian, can you hear me? Test, test, test. We'll give it a couple seconds to see if he can uh, hear me. If not, just let us know. Uh, We're making some stuff on the fly <laughs> here. Uh, let me show you the, the multiple rigs. This is the side-by-side -side rig thing that we're going to be doing here. Is it broken? I'll give you rig. I'll give you this one. Try this one. That's rig three. All right. Oh, there we go. Now All I right, can. So hear me. Okay. Two perfect. doesn't work. There we go. Okay. Seems that. How about now, Ian? Thank you so much for letting us know. Uh, we'll just go through a quick intro again. My name's Hadi Sandley, Frisco Pinball. Uh, here with Wormhole Pinball driving. They drove all the way up uh, from down south Texas, and we've got some great pinball action for you today. Classics quarterfinals beginning soon. They're setting up right now. Um, we've got a great setup here. We've got dual rigs. Uh, on, the other, on the other side of the room, uh, qualifying for Wizards goes until 4 p.m. today. Yes. So you may see some people playing. Um, some other pins. I've got some entries still to try oh, to you do. Make, make one last push. <laughs> and Good. So, no, so dude. We'll see. But it's going to be a great day of pinball. TPF is a great event. Um, can't wait to have all of you here and see some great pinball. Competitive yeah, we're going to be streaming all day. Yes. Uh, from 9 a.m. to probably midnight. Uh, so it's a long day, long battery charges. <laughs> We've got it going. <laughs> got here the is going. the bank for us, Hadi. Beautiful. So uh, I, I, I built this so that you could see. This is the games we're going to be playing this morning. Awesome. Okay. I've got one on Mars Trek and uh, Harlem Globetrotters, but on tour, but we don't know what the games are going to be. We're still waiting uh, as they're entering into the system. I am going to put into chat uh, so that they can follow along at home. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. So uh, if you give me a second for that, uh, but let's show you the room itself. Uh, which is kind of cool. We're going to be doing something a little different here. We're going to show you the room from time to time. And I wanted next year we'll put four cams up That's here. Awesome. But I and this is a great view. So this side that the bottom uh, camera is on 
is the half for the wizard. So the cla it's broken up by classics, vintage, and modern. Mm -hmm. And so you've got some pins over there that people are still getting entries on. And so they are making the banks right now for the classics quarterfinals. Um, yeah, so it looks like they thought of doing, I think, a side-by-side -side bank. So whatever three pins were next to each other, that's bank one. And then, and that's okay. what it was like at Star Fighters in Arizona last month. And it, it was very interesting because there were some duds that people right. did not want to pick, but sometimes they just had to be included. Um, Chad, if you see anything that you, uh, you know, if the audio is uh, a little low or any sort of camera issues, please let us know. But yeah, again, we need to know. Yes. Because uh, his mic was, I don't even know what happened with that mic. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, you know what? We fixed it. And the great thing is we've got so much pinball today. You got, hope you're watching at home, enjoying, relaxed, and uh, oh, it's yeah. going to be a great time. And shout out to your guys' booth last night. You've got the freaking Rare Pins trailer. Uh, what's the other one? Cosmic Princess? We have Cosmic Princess yes. uh, on the booth. So if you're here at TPF, yes. we have Cosmic Princess uh, to the right. That's a stern Australian. Oh then when you come into the booth, there's a trailer, Playmatic, yes. from Spain. Then there is a Bell Games uh, Future Queen, That's which is bananas. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you're at TPF, that Future Queen is beautiful. Please come by the booth. It's yeah. right outside the old entrance yeah. in the center. You can't miss it. And uh, they've got some great uh, merch. If you want to rock some uh, wormhole stuff, they've got stuff for you there. Yeah, and we're wearing our pride shirts yeah. today. <laughs> so uh, shout, shout out to Janine and uh, Christine Hood, who are manning the booth all day. Thank you so much, Janine Birchall. <laughs> That's my wife and uh, Tim's wife, Christine. That's awesome. That's so really good. And it, it's a it's family event. And it, you know what? This is such a great, uh, it's my favorite pinball festival uh, in the country. I love the ones I've been to, but I always love TPF. Not just because it's in my, <laughs> it's where I live and it's right. 10 minutes away, but it, they really put on a great show. And so many people bring awesome uh, pins from their private collection. I, I am Obviously, I'm a huge fan of this show. And so we're going to sure. follow yes. that group. Okay, awesome. Right? Because Wesley, one of the things I've learned in tournaments is if you can get a group with a good rig mover, <laughs> it saves me a lot of time. It does. So I'm going to go tell buyers. Oh, beautiful group. That's a great group. That's a great group. And you've got two of the so uh, Southern Texas guys, Robert Byers, Great player, Wesley, Space City Open. Who's the Open champion? And Miles uh, did an amazing job yesterday of just stepping up as a young kid and, like, showing us all how it's done. Like, I saw him on Harlem. His score was insane. It was, like, 600,000. Oh, wow. And that was not an easy Harlem. So we've and got I'm going to tell Garrett to, to put his rig on the other one on Barrack okay. So let me go do that. I got you. If you want to fool around with any of this, right. I'll be right back, sir. All right. All right, everybody. Again, my name is Hadi Said Ali. Uh, welcome. Uh, Frisco Pinball. I uh, hope you all are having a great Saturday. It's going to be an amazing day of uh, pinball action, competitive pinball action. If you are new to the pinball scene, you're watching at home right now, um, maybe stumbling on by, I strongly recommend you give a shot at playing pinball casually in your local leagues. I have fallen in love with competitive pinball. It's given me a great um, hobby, you know, to come into and uh, go check out your local pinball locations. Uh, Jaws just came out by Stern. We've got Barry O's BBQ by American Pinball. Um, we've also got rec recently released Elton John by JJP. Looney Tunes and Texas Chainsaw Massacre by Spooky. Great representation here. No practice. Okay, so no practice. We're going to go. We're going to set up. All right. I think that's No practice on this group. Gotcha. No practice on this group. Sorry. All right. No worries. Let's get the match play. Uh, yeah, let's get match play up for this group. And uh, so they are on. Yes, sir. All right. Cleopatra. All right, so we're on Cleopatra. It's not up. It's interesting. <coughs> uh, maybe just click on the Cleopatra group. It looks like they have them. They make so they may have picked the same thing, and okay. they have to start on the one next. Week. So um, yeah, there you go. You're good. Mark so Jackson, Robert, Wesley. Oh, and Mark Jackson. So they're starting. Here's Mark Jackson. Yes. 
So they are up on Cleopatra. Um, game is a combination of bonus, rollovers, saucers. As you can see in the middle, um, the, uh, the bonus lights are there. You've got your rollovers at the top. This, oh, a nice plunge down the center. Or a nice shot up the center. Excuse me. Beautiful in lane. All right, there you go. Always worried that's going to fall yes. back out. <laughs> yes. So. All right, unlucky for I'm gonna, Mark. I'm going to take a look at just the um, scores from Cleopatra yesterday, just so you guys can get a feel of what kind of was the top oh, score. Oh, I love it. And so the top score in Cleopatra was Jeff Davis with 257. Um, so you're looking for the top 24. It went to 127,000. Um, they just put this back, so now you'll see. The Cleopatra. So Mark with a great ball one at 39,000. Miles Bradley is up. Um, yeah, he should be. Uh, yeah, we'll get yeah. you the bracket. Let me get that for you. If you want to go into the chat real quick and mod me, I can pin it for you. Um, and that way uh, it'll always stay up. So you just do slash mod, just go pinball. You can do it right here. Like Look at mod. you. I am learning <laughs> so much. And then, and space, and then my name. And then, when we get the link, I will uh, pin it for you. Or we can pin it right there, too. All right, got it. And so, let me get the match play link for you. And if I can do that for you, I will. Give me one sec. Oh, please. my God. Is he, be is he the <laughs> best? Did I get the best partner in the world this morning, ladies and gentlemen? I did. <laughs> the answer is yes. I appreciate that. All right, Always here comes happy to help. Wesley Johnson. Wesley is our Space City Open champion, and uh, boy, he'd love to do a Texas two-step, wouldn't he? Yeah. All right, I'm going to post it in chat for you guys real quick. And then, and then. There it is. I can pin it right yeah, here. Yeah, you can pin it. It doesn't look like it wants to go perfect. And then uh, bottom. Yep, you got it. You know what to do. You're good. All right. That I know what to do. <laughs> All right, Wesley Johnson, Space City Open champ. Uh, really, really good player. I had a blast talking to him last night. Uh, we played in Abilene together, just with like a Jamie. So we've got Miles at 28,000, Wesley at 11 right now, and Mark um, Jackson at 39. So Robert Byers is player four. Yeah, the, the order is wrong. Yeah, the order is a little And, you know, they've entered all this information, and, yeah, Byers did not make top eight. Yeah, so bu uh, buys for the top eight for sure. Yes, buys. Oh, not the buyers. You're good. And so you're totally good. And so I'm going to tell you who the top eight were because oh, I, thank I, have you. The, I have the Never Grants link right now. And I'm going to post the classic standings link in chat. Um, we can't pin that because you can only pin one thing at a time. So we'll leave the match play up. And I'll just point that for you. So here is the Never Drains Classic Standings. The top eight was Eric Stone, Preston Monkla, Jeff Davis, Ben Clement, Derek Thompson, um, uh, excuse me, Bob Caldwell, and Dan Moon. Uh, so, yes, so you've got the top eight there. Less I can't pin that, can I? No, I've already got one. You've already got one. You can just do it. The, the, the top eight will show up there. <laughs> you are just killing it. You want to make this a little bigger for you so you can see? Yeah, you do. Thank you. Yeah, you, you got it. All right, Robert Bout fires up. And I'm sorry, the order is incorrect. Uh, that happens when you do banks. Exactly. Because okay. It, it messes the whole thing it, up. It and just match play just doesn't know how to. Uh, they're just not there yet. Yeah. But that's okay. Shout out to match play. Uh, I'm great for the great software. Oh Everybody man, it's getting it. great. <laughs> All right, Robert. Nice. So he's got his two three thousand dollars lights lit. I think the one. Um, I'm not sure about the insert on the left side. Okay, oh. there he goes. Okay, so that's where it's it's interesting. Too. Okay, Robert with a twelve thousand. Yep. Yeah. So right now, Wesley taking the lead uh, by two thousand. Cleopatra. Where's Mark play out of? Mark plays out of. You know, I actually wanted to check that out. You know, check his IFK because I I think I checked. Score cam not showing all scores. No, I think so. General Yargoth, I disagree. Check the bat top right. Can you see them? Uh, they're all there. Unless it's frozen or something. I'll uh, unfreeze it. I, th I thought Mark was ranked like 106, too. Or, or no, so Mark, excuse me, not 106. So Mark is playing out of South Jordan, Utah, ranked 1790. Fantastic. Oh, my God, what a great uh, performance by him. He, uh made the classic playoffs. This was out of 216 players. Mark, really, really nice guy. Talked to him. Uh, we, 
He shared some tips on what to do on some of the pins. Uh, really, really cool to play with. And I uh, hope you guys get to play with it. Oh, thank you, Bada Flocker, for that Prime subscription. Oh, thank Appreciate you, Bada. I played with Bada at Star Fighters in Arizona. It's good to see you, my friend. Yeah, he was zoomed in. All right, you're good to go. Yeah, no worries, Argoth. Man. Come on, buddy. <laughs> All right. Miles was a alternate. Yes, so Miles and Jordan Clark got in because two people didn't show up. I was actually next to the line a little salty about that. But shout out to the people hmm. that showed up as backups because you never know when you're going to get in. Uh, some people partied a little hard last night. They sure did. And you know what? TPF's a party, so I don't blame them one bit. One bit at all. All right, Wesley, let's see what you can do. Wesley. Uh, so Mark got about 12,000 on his ball, too. Um, Wesley Fletcher's the white inside, white roll over the lane is 4,000. Not 4,000. It looks like they came in a couple of corresponding. It's frozen, though, you say. Oh, it's frozen? Oh, uh, I'll go get it. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I will, um, I will post the scores right now for you in chat. Not anymore. Okay. All right, you're good. All right. Come on, Yargoff. You're killing me, Small. Hey, Major Jane. Good to see you. Okay, it's working fine. Okay. Yeah, you're sending us all. You're giving Come us on. a heart attack. <laughs> Give me a break. It's 920. I haven't even had my three Diet Cokes yet. I need at least three. All right, here comes Robert Byers. Top row pinball. Mm -hmm. 12,000 uh, points, it looks like. Member of T fellow member of TPN. Shout out to Robert. Uh, all right, here we go. Is the center beautiful? So he's got one of the five thousand. Oh, great little uh, pop up into the other two. All right, so his right orbit is a five thousand advance, five thousand point advance bonus. Smell what the Rob is cooking. Absolutely. All right, so Rob's sitting at about 18. It's the saucer. There you go. Pick those legs up. Yeah, yeah. I kick them too. <laughs> yeah. One more drop. One more drop. Yeah. Yes, you have. Oh, there it is. There he goes. Okay, so he's got 3,000. He's got two. There you go. Uh, all right, 35. This is the one game I didn't play yesterday. You didn't play it at all? You no, know, I, I took my chances on center grade and voice track. Okay, there you go. Okay. One more up one top. One more up top. You got it, Rob. And he's got the either the left in lane. I always trying to shot it. Nice. You got it. So shots it over so we can hit the F. Exactly. Okay, nice move. Yeah. And if you had a perfect telestrator, you'd be able to <laughs> tell. Yeah, you could. You could try it. A uh, little bit of a hop right there, but great ball by Robert. Puts himself back into contention. Uh, I believe this is a five ball game. Uh, I think. I, I know Centigrade, Mars, Trek, and Far Out with five balls. If it's not, uh, we've got a great little <laughs> match going on right here. All right, 51 for Mark, 33 for, uh, ooh, tilted. Okay. Oh, no. That was a small move, I would say. But, it didn't know. seem. Yeah. All right, Jack Revenue in the background, checking it out. Miles going up, letting the tilt pop settle. I'm not going to tell it straight right now. Yeah, I don't blame it. It's, you know, one of the problems with Epic Pen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little behind the scenes for us streamers, is that it, well, it sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you have to get, you have to get like a separate screen. And hey, what's up, Shadow? Um, and as we all know, pinball streaming is so easy. And it's so cheap. Oh. <laughs> and you know what's so great about it? The extensive amount of money that we make off of it. <laughs> yes, it's I love, I love <laughs> getting like those $15 checks from Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fantastic. It's so great. I love it. But we love it. We do it because we uh, we love pinball, and Wormhole does a great job. What's yeah. up, RGR? And I can't wait um, to see what we've got in store. It's a great, uh, great comp competitions today. What's up, Joe Soap? All right, here we go. Hi, Miles. Oh, 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 good save, Miles. Miles has been playing excellent. Like he is. Uh, his brother Liam's really good. But man, Miles. I saw them at. I met them at Indus, and uh, Miles is just. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Call your shot, baby. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Drop catch, almost. Oh, oh good. Good little rollover from the in lane. Yeah. yeah. Some of these have uh, mylar and over some of the inserts, sure. and, and they alter the path. The path. Uh, so that was a nice, uh, fair, uh, beneficial bounce. Uh. Right down the center. All right, but 
Hey, good job. Thank you guys for it. You're totally All the good. banks correct. We're getting the order done correctly. You're totally in a good. All right, so. But play on. Oh, there we go. We got fixed. Perfect. Ah, nice. All right. See, so asking shall receive. Exactly. Tim all gods give it. They yeah. take it, but today they give it. Oh, Wesley. Oh. Power slam. Slingtown, USA. All right. Pretty tight here, guys. Yep. And so they also, last night, because of how some of the classics were playing, play, they changed the rubbers on Harlem and another one. So they did get a little practice because of the alteration in play. Uh, they were already tough, but the uh, TDs decided they need to make the classics a little tougher, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them at yeah. all because it last, you know, the cues yesterday. Were huge. I, yeah. I got to tell you, I love... I, I love how and appreciate how hard everybody works here. But man, the Indus cues were shorter than the, the TPF Classics. Because we had Centigrade at like 18 people at one point. Um, but, you know, we're, we're here. We're doing it. We're giving it a shot. Yeah, we are. We're going to be here all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. You let me know. And shout out to all these volunteers and scorekeepers. This is a, this takes a village. Yeah, I, I did Frisco. four. I did four hours yesterday. Did you? I I got to tell you, I really love scorekeeping um, because you get to pump people up sometimes when they do really good. You're like, dude, that was awesome. Like, yes, yes. You're a positive dude. That's Every, why. Though. Everyone needs a, a little. Uh -oh. oh, there you I go, saved. Robert. Beautiful. All right. So Robert's got uh, seven out of his. No, oh, it didn't bounce. No dead bounce. Yeah, yeah nice left guy. All right. All right, Mark, five ball game. Five ball, ladies and gentlemen. Just, you know, we're in the classics. All it takes is one, really. Yeah, no, no bounce. bounce. Zero. You'll see that on Harlem as well. The dead bounce is very, very tricky. It's okay. uh, very deceiving. So we'll get to see that. Um, do we know what their full bank is? I believe it's going to be Cleopatra, Centigrade, and Ice Fever, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Ice Fever, uh, Rare Gottlieb. Oh, no. Shake it off, Mark. Shake it off. I can tell you what their bank is without. Uh, is this four two one zero? I'm sorry, I forgot what, uh, what the score is. Chelsea Telford. Let me check the match place. You will check the match place. So they're all. This group is going to play centipede, centigrade, thirty seven, and ice fever. I was going to say that's pretty awesome to play centipede. Centipede's fun. Yeah, the old I like millipede a little better, but. Uh, I agree. Millipede's a better, better one. I totally agree. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> All right, so you're scoring. So just to give you an overview, again, we've got 24 players, top eight get a bye. We're in the quarterfinals. Um, it's Papa scoring, 4 2 one, zero. Okay. So you definitely want to try to get that four because uh, you get that little extra point. Two fours in a row, and you're automatically through. Two fours is what I, you're shooting for. Yes, exactly. Get eight, and you're, you're looking good. Yeah. What up, Jared? Hanger pinball in the house, Oklahoma peeps. How many people are going to hit that camera? <laughs> over bit. under. What do you think? Oh, let me give you some odds. <laughs> give me <on> that. <laughs> 50 uh, over under. Uh, I'm going to give you minus 250. <laughs> so 250 to, to, to win 100. Yeah. Uh, exactly. That's, that's going to hit it. Uh, yeah. But over under, as far as total number of people, I'd say 50 people. Yeah. Uh oh, good in there. Yeah. Uh, I almost saved it, Bob. I'm happy Miles got it. He played so well, and he was 25. I'm 24, so he was able to get it. All right, here comes Wesley Johnson, ball four. Who needs luck? You got it, Care Bear. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, uh, wind, uh, wind does not. Yes, uh, Miles has skills. His older brother, Liam, is great. And uh, the, a great family to talk to. Their dad, Michael, is playing as well. And the mom, uh, I hope I say her name right, Reggie, or Reggie. Uh, You're just getting her, oh. You're just getting around. Yeah, You're walking I, around, talking to everybody. You know what? This kid, pinball is such a great hobby. I've been in other hobbies, and the amount, the, the low amount of d bags is a great thing to see. And everybody's welcoming, and everybody. It, it, it is. It's a wonderful community, and it's got me all in. You yeah. know, and uh, you could just see that. And I can't wait for people to see what you guys are building down there. I mean, oh. Yeah, I can't, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So we have a museum coming. It. it uh, Nonprofit. Yes, sir. Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, have a museum. Uh, 
now the bar inside will be for profit. Yes, of course. <laughs> but the museum is <laughs> Something's got to pay, pay for the upkeep. <laughs> so, but uh, that's uh, early 2026 is our, kind of our initiative, 2025, late 2025. We're in the see. permitting stage, and, well, if you live in Texas, you know how it is. So. Yes, as a lawyer, I know, I know that. You stuff. know. I know that stuff all too well. <laughs> all right, so ball five, this yep, is it. This is it. All right, so market 60. Uh, Miles with 84, great ball four for Miles. Uh, Robert Rob's in the lead, 96. Yeah. He could have a walk off if we get a uh, house ball, but you know Miles is too good to let that happen. Here so it goes, go. Miles. All right, Miles. <laughs> Dr. John, good to see you. Yes. As we get older, we forget a lot. That's why I like the classics. I don't have to remember any rules. It's not that complicated. <laughs> yeah. It's not as complicated. I'm better at the classics than I am. They're the great equalizer. You know, everybody can have a house. Oh, oh good bounce nice. out. Yeah. Nice little in-lane there. I have a replay, too. Oh, nice. And I can show after he's yes. done. That little cute little bounce out. Oh. I want to tilt, so I don't blame him there. Here's a replay buffer. Oh, oh, good nice. Oh, you yeah. missed it. That's, there. That's all right. <laughs> Back to rig one. I love the replay. I'm glad you have it, though. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I've been talking to IE Pinball uh, tremendously, as well as Fox Cities, and they're just helping me. The, the one thing I love about streamers, it's not a competition. We're trying to help each other because we want to grow pinball. And everybody's got a region that they basically like are able to stream, and that's perfect because now yeah. all the majors are back. Papa's back, Pinberg's back, and we've got five world majors, so it's gonna. Let's be go! Great. Absolutely. All right, Wesley, we need a ball here, bud. Yeah. So Miles finishes with 99. So Robert just needs a little under 3,000. Let's see what Wesley can do. All right, it's the center drop. All right, 63. So he has no pass Mark, so he's firmly with That's one gone. point. That's gone. So he will have one point. Mark will be in fourth. So now it's up between Robert and Miles. So Miles firmly sitting with two points, um, which is good. You want to at least get a couple. Set yourself up for success on, ball, on games two and three. Now we do have another rig uh, on Garrett Shahan's group, and we'll go to this during the rig movement thing. Um, let's see if we can get to the end of that. But one of the problems with classics is two rigs don't really work because we can't like go through and see what ball they're on as easily as we can. Well, we can yeah. five. But we'll make we'll make do with what we we'll got. make do. <laughs> and Robert's going to take our four there. There you go. Good job, uh, Robert. Let's let's go see what's going on in Garrett Shahan's group. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, folks. So Robert with four, Miles with two, Wesley with one, Mark with zero. Still anyone's game. If Robert gets another four, he's through to the semi. And this is Garrett Shahan's group on a Barracora. Garrett Shahan, Texas State champ, had a great performance at Pin Masters at District 82 recently, and also uh, the Nationals. So shout out to him. Uh, he's on Barracora. So Barracora, you've got your left drops that spell B-A-R. You have to hit those in order to light your lock for multi-ball, ball, ball one, uh, two ball multi-ball. And then if you spell A-C-O-R-A on the right, in um, order, that will lock your top lock, which is your three ball multi-ball. Uh, if you do hit that top lock uh, and you've got a uh, ball plunge or, or you know one drains, it will come out. So it's kind of like a uh, extra ball or ball save. So Garrett working his rollover lane. So this is theirs, isn't it? Yes, so this was at <laughs> Abilene Showdown. He plays very well on it. Uh, looks like Garrett is player four. He's at 526 on ball one, which is really good. So. Um, I'll give you guys this general sense of the top scores yesterday on Barracora. Um, I had about one. Oh, here we go. So top score was 3.7 million. Garrett got, it looks like yesterday, I don't think he had this in his um, card. No, it doesn't look like so. About 1 million and above was a um, top 20 finish. Okay. So I had about one and a half, and that got me like... 12 or so. All right, let me All go right. move this rig for these guys. Gotcha. I'll keep it here, and I'll move the rig for them. How about that? Yeah, you should let uh, Wesley know that I am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> but, you know, he might be a little, because he didn't. He, That's he, true. Actually, you know what? He's in you know his what? own. He's in his own. I'll you. move it. I got you here. All right, yeah, so home field advantage a little bit. Uh, we got Garrett Shahan again. Uh, he's got his 3X from the uh, 
uh, multiplier, and he is going on a two ball multi ball. Top uh, shot, bonus shot is lit. Um, his spinner not lit right now, but he has Bear Course called up there. Uh, let's see, where are we? Okay, so he's in two ball multi ball. Um, what I generally tend to do is try to spell my ACOR targets with the uh, multi ball uh, and try to get that uh, second lock, or maybe, you know, hopefully. Uh, get the <laughs> get the left side targets uh, uh, moving as well. Okay, so he scored his top rollover. That affects his um, points on. I forgot which. Level, I think the left one affects the left saucer um, point value. But he is trapped up. Spinner rip. Uh, spinners are very nice. Uh, they juice them up just like an abalone. But there is a little bit of a reject up there. You know, it's interesting. I only play this game oh it's a little spinny because i might have to move that up because of the all the people in here oh they're interfering with they're interfering gotcha. so we have a little interference it's okay, okay. Gotcha. uh it's just not perfect but it's pretty darn good uh one of the reasons we're waiting on the other group is because uh jack and them there's another group playing gotcha. so the way this in case you're uh starting here yes go miles bradley go so if you are uh join just joining us they are picking banks and the banks are all the pins that are side by side. So whatever three are side by side, um, that's your first bank. I and tried. So some people have picked the same banks. Uh, I believe the rule is two groups can pick the same bank, uh, but not a third. And so uh, if they, we have people that are on the same bank and playing the same pin, so they're waiting for their second game uh, because the other group is using that game for the first game. That's right. So the beauty of the two rigs is there's really no dead time for us. And we can just run to this guys group. Are good? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back to group one. Robert Byers in first with four points. Great job on Cleopatra, Miles Bradley, two, uh, Mark Jackson, zero, and Wesley Johnson with one. So we are headed to. What do you think? Yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. You're totally We're just going to have glare. Yeah. I want you concentrating on your play. Don't worry about it. Don't crush it. You got it. Thank you, sir. What a good dude. Yeah. So, Art. centigrade 37. So, again, folks, the lighting in here, Jamie's got him. He's got two umbrellas above these pins. Uh, we do what we're doing, what we can. We try to explain and commentate what's happening on the right end lane over there. But, centigrade 37. Um, you've got four letters A, B, C, D. Uh, when you light all those, uh, I don't know what it lights, but you get. A, uh, I think it lights your targets on the right hand side for 5,000. Where you want to live is the top right saucer because that will light up as you hit your letter. Okay. So you want to plunge, so, uh, okay, nudge it. Oh. Yeah, so this right. So that, how cool is that? Explain that yeah, for so us. The right side is full of um, sort of a Plinko style inlet. Oh, is he practicing? Oh, he's practicing. Okay. They're no, they're one ball. Oh, so that's right. I'm sorry. No, 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 no worries. Single player game. Forgot about that. Yeah, I'm so used to the four players now. All right, so he has a five ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, on the right side, his lit lanes are 5,000. A good score is oh. anything over six digits. Um, as you hit your bonus, the thermometer goes up. You get more points there. Shout out to Bob Matthews for a great EM guide. I love oh. that. Uh, we didn't get Bob this year. Normally, we get Bob at the TPF. Uh, Bob comes is he? Yeah, he's up here all day. Oh, all right. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> Normally we get Bob on the stream, too. Yes, yes. Uh, all right, Rob. So, um, as you hit these drop targets, too, those advancing points. Oh, come on. This little tip over. Yes, the waterfall on the right. That's that's the name of it. I couldn't remember it. So, waterfall on the right. Each lit lane uh, is, I believe, 5,000. Yes. And um, those are great points. So, you want to try to backhand the saucer on this one from the right flipper because the left flipper has been uh, giving it too much speed and the left saucer is rejected. So Robert is going for that uh, right saucer on the right, up top, once his B. They get that B. No one. And your D is on the left. Um, oh left yeah, right. yeah, there it is. Okay, so he's got 45,000, which is good for ball three. Give yourself some, yes, I'll take one ball here. Get to that right <laughs> side. Get to that right side. There is a little exit on the bottom right of the uh, right in lane. You can't see it because of the glare. You have to nudge it just at the right time uh, so it pops over to We saw right. him do that in ball one pretty good. <coughs> yes. Okay. It does look a little there floaty. Uh, yes. 
it is a little floaty, but it's playing very fair. As long as you don't see, he's going up with speed yeah. to that right saucer. It's very fair. Okay, come on, get to that left. Stay on the left. Perfect. Oh no, no, yes. Nice save. Yes. Well, you saw that coming, didn't you? It looked a little dangerous, but okay. Five thousand for your troubles right there. Beautiful. Seventy thousand for ball three. This thermometer is about halfway full. Um, bonuses. There's a little bit of a bonus there. Okay. Boy, he's on it. You are on it. <laughs> Bob's got, what is the so, All right, yeah. so drain there. And this is it. This is ball five, right, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, it's on the bottom. I think it might be ball five. Four. Okay. Stay to the left. Okay, perfect. He got 10,000 from that just right there. Um, I don't know what they put the settings out for the special. Uh, I know they changed Hit that somewhere. B. He's trying to get it. Nope. And but he's trying to hit that saucer. Yeah, if you short one, you've got a good chance of getting the saucer from the top right pop, which is the safest way to get, other than the backhand from the right flipper, to get those extra points. So he's got two lights lit because he got two letters. Nice. So I forgot nice. what each of the letters are. Okay, there. Now he's got them. So now you want to go to the saucer to the right water pop. If he can do that, those are huge points. Oh. oh shoot. All right, so that's going to be it for him. So what we'll do is we'll just put it in chat, or I could put it next to. I would um, put it, yes. What would you like to do? I would do a GDI text and put it like down there. Done. Just like Fox Cities has a great. Yeah, there you yeah. go. And you only need one source. You just call it, um, you know, EM scores, whatever you want. Yeah. So P1, or you can just put yeah. There you go. Eight six five five zero. Eight six five five six five five zero, and we'll make this small. Oh boy, that's big, isn't it? <laughs> right there, you like it there? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then we'll just edit it as we go along. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, Let's just rip off Fox Cities. We know what they're doing. But you need it for these one players. You do. You yeah. have to. Yeah. You know. You just have to. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people. If you roll it, you're in. You're in good company. So I think we're checking out. Uh, what's the one? All right. TD's there. Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna ran out of credits. All right. <laughs> He's like, hey, Nick Gustafson, you're being a nice kid, but, you know, get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, I've got the scores wrong here because I still have it on Barracora. I'm sorry. We are on Santa uh, Grade 37. Wrong Santa Grade 37. There it is. Sorry, guys. Yeah, lots of double rolls. I should triple roll that. I don't doubt that one bit. Okay. <laughs> I was talking Garrett. Garrett, yeah, Garrett beat Escher in the Nationals 4-1 to one during their match. That was incredible yeah. to watch. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. All right, here we go. Miles with the A rollover. Nice job, Miles. He wants to get that D if he can. It's the hardest one to get. You need a good rebound from the pop. See, it rejects that light saucer. Rejects. Yeah, we haven't seen Byers didn't hit it, so yeah. we'll see if Miles can hit it. I will say I watched a lot of players yesterday while scorekeeping. The best way to get there was a backhand from the right. A little tip over, and that's down. But yep. you don't fall one. 8,000, don't sweat it. Get to that waterfall. All right, let's see if he can get a little luckier on B. It took uh, Byers. Yeah, it seems everything's falling in A. I love the youth movement that oh, we're seeing in pinball. And it's a great we don't need all of us <laughs> yeah. here. We've had our time. Well, yeah, we've had our time. For those that have been in the hobby, you've had your time. That's yeah. what the kids, the kids, That's what the kids play. And it's great. It's a great hobby for them to be in. And I, I freaking love it because uh, I, have, I have two little ones, and they love playing uh, some of the pins we have. And I can't I can't thank pinball enough for keeping them out of trouble, basically. Yeah. I, I keep it away from a screen. You know. How much trouble could they get in there? <laughs> exactly. They're playing pinball. It's great. I have a six-month-old grandson, and oh, I can congrats. guarantee you he will be at the wormhole a few times. That's awesome. Oh, I'm lucky there, but. Gets to the waterfall. Okay, five for his trouble there. Stay to the left. Okay, perfect. Ten. Oh, that's good. Just backhand it. And yes, there you go. He's got it. He knows what to do. A little dangerous. Yeah, good nice tip save. Over. Yes. Yes. 
and I believe this is a tilt ends going. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but um, a lot of players are just being a little gentle with it. And it's not. Okay. It's not. Okay. We had a couple here. Um, thank God this one. They this put one. they put it on uh, a big piece of paper, gotcha. and I'll tell you. Okay. But yeah. you can tilt through your own ball. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, okay, here we go. Uh oh. It's tough. You think you're gonna get a friendly bounce off the off the first set of Thousand pop, thousand hit right there for his doubles. No. Oh, yeah, see, you, you cannot. You cannot catch on this pin as normal as you would on almost any other pin. You have to just flip it away because that uh, deadly. Uh oh. You know, oh. Yeah. Once we talked him up. Yeah. That, that's that, on me, Miles. I'm sorry, brother. That's an in lane exit. So 44, 100. Yep. Uh, yeah, in the one more time. Now you're uh, <laughs> and you'll unlock it. Yeah. We have to bring it up. I forgot to say, yeah, you can just keep it all down. Oh, lock I gotta lock stuff. that source. I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna lock that source. What source is that? That's the overlay. <laughs> I'm gonna lock a lot of stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, Miles' brother Liam why. is really good. I got to play with him at Indus. Great kids. And we've got a uh, we've got a great kids uh, kids um, tournament as well. They the bump and win. They've got jaws on their shoe there, so they got they got trophies for them. And here comes Wesley Johnson. Uh, he has one point. One point. Right. Yep. Wesley's gonna want a good ball. Yeah. Good couple of balls here. Get him going. Robert at 86 firmly with five points at a minimum right now, so he's he's happy. He's so getting, top two are moving on, right? Yes. Top okay. two will move on from each group. And then the top eight have a bye, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, we're at 16, then we'll be at another 16, and 8 4 2 will. And eight, four, eight whoppers, four, 260 player, 216 players in the classic. So, to get to this point, 10 entries only. Uh, if you want to know the qualifying format, there's 10 entries. Yeah, talk scores. about it. Um, you had a bank of about eight pins or so. Uh, the queues were long, but everybody had their chance, uh, and again, you just had to get your four best scores. Oh, awesome monkey bow. Welcome first time chatter, as well as Princess Pinball. Great to have you on the Wormhole stream. This is Jamie, owner of Wormhole Pinball. And no, I'm just a, uh, just a uh, <laughs> plebe who uh, likes to do streams, <laughs> Tim and Christine, but. Uh, uh, wormhole streamer owner. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna have a lot of great pinball action today. All day, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, yeah. on the Wormhole channel. If you're not following us, please do so. Yes, hit that follow, and I will shill for them. If you have a uh, blue uh, and white crown on your profile, uh, you have a free Prime sub subscription from Amazon. You can use it and subscribe to any channel for free. We'd love it to support the world. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, it just helps keep the stream going, and it's also nice. Nice thing to do. You get some emotes unlocked. That's all Yeah, good. we and got a bunch of dumb emotes. And the, the best thing about your Prime sub, no ads once you subscribe. So That's right. You can watch all day ad-free. So if you do have a Prime sub, Feel free to uh, think about um, throwing it for him. Thank you off. so much. No Let's get that up there for that A. Yes. He's got C done. He's on uh, ball one. Okay, bottom left. Sorry. Bottom left is where your ball is under the thermometer. Uh, Great. Little yellow inserts. All right. Oh, That's there it is. He's going. It's okay. Good ball one. 55,000. 55, that That's what he needed. That's, That's what he needed. Start. So no matter what, he is going to be at two points. Got a chance for it to pick up four. Oh, perfect plunge down the center, roll over, and nice. pull. It picked up 5,000 just there. Or no, excuse me, 1,000. It lit after it bounced up, so it would have had the 5,000 there. Well, okay. we don't know if he's going to get two because of uh, uh, because of uh, Mark coming exactly. up. So he'll have at least, at least have one. one. At least one. So he's going to sit at two, minimum. All right. Ball three. A little bit of a house ball there. Everybody's owed one. Everybody's, uh, everybody's on one of these classics. All right, get that D. That is the hardest. Uh, that's what you oh, said. There it there is. It's beautiful. All right, so now we just got to hit that A, and he's cooking. And you see his left drop targets are lit. Those go up in value. He's got two left. Yes, you, he knows the plan. Backhand that waterfall. Oh. 
Don't tell me. Okay, you're good, you're good. This is, this is what happened to him on, on Cleopatra, actually. He had really good balls in the beginning. And, uh, but let's see. Everyone's been hitting A, and his ball fell right on out. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, good beautiful. save, Wesley. Oh, oh, good save. Replay that, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Catch that replay. I think beautiful I caught it. Beautiful dig. Beautiful dig, Wesley. That was like a laz and <laughs> dig at the same time. Nice job. All right. So no one is hitting that saucer. No, and it's a very hard oh, area. He's all set up. All right. Uh, you know, he's got targets now ready to go. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, there's a thousand for his crumbles on that pop. Another thousand. Hit your drops. You got two left. Hit your drops. Four back here. Your saucer is fully juiced up. Yes. He knows it. That's okay. Five. Oh. 500. 500. Okay. So right there by the glare again. We lost one by the glare, but we lost him there. All he needs in la his last ball, he just needs 2,000. Okay. 2,200. And sometimes that is what makes it so nerve-wracking, yeah. right? Yep, yeah. he can do it. He's got to get into that saucer. All right. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Good save. Okay. One. There. No, it's gone. He got it, though. 87, 3, 4, 0. Yeah, okay. but, oh, yeah, he did. Yes. 87, 3, 4, 0. So, Wesley, with minimum two points, um, going to be sitting at three. Robert, minimum of one, sitting at five. And Miles, with, uh, right now, I don't know, a zero or a one. Uh, so, he'll either be at three or stay at two. Mark Jackson coming up needs to, needs to get... 87 350 to get that get those crucial four points to keep himself in this or even a two um, because if even he, a two even yeah a two would keep him uh everybody close and put robert at five him at two wesley with two and miles with two so we could have a five two two okay two. let's go <laughs> all right mark from utah thank you janine birchall that uh please go to the booth and visit this young lady Janine, no one's hit that saucer yet. Everyone has tried. Okay. Do you know who centigrade this is? No. I w you know, next year, one of my goals is uh, to put up here, like, a little graphic. A little my, you know the graphic that I had before yes. that showed the banks? I would, oh, saucer. that's our there. first saucer. <laughs> nice job, Mark. All right. 30,000 so far, ball one, cooking. Try a little shot. Oh, good save. And I saw this too because I saw people trying to shats and they were getting safe rebounds into the waterfall, but also now he's getting those um, lit, lit in lane points. So he's at uh -oh. 31, that's okay, that's okay, let it go. Yeah, don't tell, yeah. take a 31. You're already close to a point. You got a C, and he got, oh, nice, okay. The lit, there you go, man. He's no. been banging that out of there. I wonder if that was a bad OB. Nice. Okay. Just got the D left. That's 40. We're on ball two of the second game in our uh, quarterfinals. Yes. This is uh, not quarters. This is just. No. Uh, quarters. It'll go to 16. Yeah, no. So, sorry. First round. First round. First round. Quarters will be next round. It uh, says it right there, <laughs> by the way, right <laughs> above Robert Byers. <laughs> Well, I'm here for your, uh, at least through the quarter. Oh, five. man, he is the only one who's been absolutely nailing that. He is deadly with that saucer, which is exactly right, what we got a stock here. Okay. There, there you go. Yeah. Let it do its thing. Let gravity do its thing. We did, Fred. <laughs> it's above. Oh, you need to put it in the, the behind. Booth. I see. The TV so they can watch We it. do have a TV set up, but it's not so Janine can see it. She'd have to stay outside the booth. But I expect at least 20 people at the wormhole booth today with our chairs watching yeah. the stream. Good. Good. Isn't that cool? I love it. Like, we need as many people watching because it's going to be amazing action. It faces the wrong way. <laughs> It's All true, right, Mark. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. And while he's, he's saying, good. yeah, he's I don't need good. to worry about yeah. it because through ball three, through ball three, Mark takes a Mark four. takes. Way to go, Mark. So Mark with four, Robert with five, Wesley with three, Miles with two. I'll just put it in here since yeah, I've gotten used to it. Oh no.
really, really nice play for Mark. That would have been a huge top score in uh, qualifying. Um, see how they do. I'm going to do that for the next game. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that way I can see if they play these games during um, qualifying. Mark had, oh yeah, he had 182,000 uh, during qualifying on this. Wesley had, uh, let's see, he had a score. Okay. Let's go to rig two and see yes. what the heck is still going on over here at Barracora. Okay, so we have Rick, no, excuse me, um, Rick Prince? Is that Rick Prince? Oh no, I'm like going to put their name on here because I got to go to Barracora. Yes, Rick Prince. With his Outlaw Pinball shirt. Shout out to Outlaw Pinball, Los. Yeah, I got to meet him. And uh, uh, the, not Los sp rocks their gear, but the owner of Outlaw Pinball, nice guy. You got to meet him? No, I got to meet a bunch of the Outlaw oh, guys. Gosh, nice. All right, so Barracora again. Ball three here. Ball three. Uh, Daniel with 406. Rick with 514. Garrett firmly in the lead at 1.7. Don't expect any less. And David with 918. So. Um, how many drops? Okay, so he doesn't have any drops on the left down, but he has his oh, lock up top left. Oh, and he didn't hit left. it. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. So and the good thing about the lock up top is it's really an extra ball. Yes, Okay, exactly. it's a ball save. Exactly. Oh, beautiful but shot. That's what he needs. You have to hit it on the fly because a cradled shot from the left flipper doesn't get all the way around. Okay, it doesn't. So you need to hit it on the fly on this one. What up, Colin? Shout out to Colin P3 and the Princess Bride coming out soon for your uh, from Multimorphic. And c please, if you're at TPF, go check out their booth. Yes. I haven't had a chance yet, but I was hanging out with Steven Silver yesterday, <laughs> and I didn't even have a chance to play his. They didn't plug him. Um, <coughs> it has been active all weekend. Um, it's playing the same as, as, as Abilene, as you know, Colin. Um, Which uh, is our Abilene <laughs> champion, so <laughs> yes, he's pretty exactly. familiar, isn't you're he? familiar with oh. it. Unlucky. Oh. But he's getting his ball. There's the ball save. And that's, how, and that's what's so good. And he tilted. Yeah, he tilted. Because oh. he didn't know he was getting that ball, <laughs> oh, I don't no. think. All right. Well, lesson learned. Don't tilt on these pins. Just take your ball. Well, don't tilt when you got a ball coming. <coughs> yeah, me, definitely, yeah. Hottie. All that's right. unlucky for him. So, at a minimum, Rick is taking one point. Daniel with uh, the zero. And uh, what are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing? Oh, they're just moving rigs over. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So because we have the two rigs, they're just moving rigs over. They're and they're going to put this one on Barracora, I, I think. I think they didn't want to also uh, interrupt their play, so they're just going to move that one. And yeah, okay, it works. Okay. Yes. Uh, Gottlieb Ice Fever, a tourney favorite, tourney darling. People have been having an amazing time with it because you don't see it very often. Uh, spinners for days. Get past the goalie on the top three drops. Uh, knock him down up there, and uh, you got to cap the ball behind that. Yes, this is a very cool uh, pin. Uh, you know, in the theme of hockey, you've got Bobby Orr, you've got Ice Fever. I don't know if we have anything else. Um, the famous Bobby Orr. No, I don't think there's any a lot of hockey pins. Yeah, Bobby Orr is kind of funny because it has his, he's playing for like a team he barely spend any time with. All right, we're going to get to our game of Sorcerer Lenny, but fix it. Um, what did they do over here later? I'll go check, but I want to real quick show you the side-by-side -side rigs they moved that away uh, so that's why that was there okay here we go all right our, our first group again we've got an amazing uh, setup right now we've got five four three two anybody's game really let's uh, go on yeah. ice fever yes. this is awesome uh, if Robert took a zero Mark took a two and miles took a four uh, they would be in so not a, um, <laughs> yes. He must be practicing. They must be practicing because he's just shatting back and forth, right? Uh, that's part of the, that's <laughs> part of, yeah, it's spinner all day. Or it's Lit light to spinner. So, you need so to, that's what he's doing. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, Eric, I, we apologize for the clear. Uh, we've done what we can with the, uh, James done what we can with the umbrellas. Uh, it's just the way the room's set up. I mean, it could right. rain in here and the rigs would be dry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, there, there are so many things trying to block the glare. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way the TPF room is set up. If you've ever been here, you know. You but know enough that. to ask it gets it. He gets it <laughs> nerve. <laughs> exactly. All right. So mark up ball one. Get your spinner let. Rip, rip it for days. Oh. Um, right hand side, it is lit. You see the insert was flashing. Uh, right up top. Right there. up top. All right. So. Uh, let me take a look at the scores for you on Ice Fever. The top score was 1.4 million. Uh, let me see if Mark had this. He had 627,000, which was good enough for 22nd place. 
Um, right now we got uh, Wesley Johnson up. He, I don't think he put up a score on this. Let's see. Um, let's see. Robert has. So it's new to them. Yeah, a little bit new. Mark, Mark had a good game on it. I don't see Miles on here. Oh, no, excuse me. Miles was top 10. He had 820,000. Oh, okay. So him and Mark uh, got, some, got some good time on this. Okay, here comes. Oh, no. Just nice in. bounce. There you go. Okay, so you're lit in. Lit. There you go. Get up there. That is a neat turn yeah. there. A little uh, roller coaster esque. How cool is <laughs> that? Yeah. All right, so it's right in lane's lit for the yeah, that left shot. All right, so your slings are switching the lit in lane. So I'm wondering if he's going to try the strategy of shots in the right market. That doesn't look like it. Yeah, I, I've seen this for sale a couple times. I've been so tempted to pull the trigger. And it's not expensive. It's like 2000 bucks. Um, it's just obviously people, there are other ones that people will go for. Um, Nice, I meant for it. Uh, you know, some people say there's really not much to do on it. I, it's still such a, it's got great art. Um, it reminds me of uh, the arcade game, like Hit the Ice, where you like beat each other up. Great, great same story style. All right, Robert. Uh, Robert. Here comes Robert Byers. Yes. Uh, Wesley, 56,000. Again, to give you an idea of the qualifying scores, top 10 is 824,000. Okay. And this is five balls, right? Uh, this one's three. Three, okay. Yes, three. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I think I believe this one's three. I would love to this one. <laughs> hey, Glenn, how are you? All right, so he's got a C lit. Again, it spell ice, it lights extra ball. Um, I forgot what you get to do here. Uh, but there are three drops Good bounce in front out. of the, Yeah, there's three drops in front of the goalie up top, on the top left. There is a captive ball behind it, but again, a lot of the strategy is uh, shots to the lit in lane and rip that spinner when it's lit. I believe it's, I can't tell how much, I think it's 10,000 to spin. Um, so that's a big, that's big huge. Score. Yeah, big score. So there you go, Robert. He knows what to do. There you go. Spinner's lit. Nice. Rip it, yeah. and that was huge. Look at the score, 152 yeah. already. Yeah. It stays lit right now for a little bit. I believe it's on a timer. If you're just joining us, this is the first round, game three of three, uh, and you're watching an awesome game between Mark Jackson, Wesley Johnson, Robert Byers, and Miles Bradley. Uh, I'm Jamie Birchall. I'm Hadi Seattle Let's go pinball. And we're Wormhole Pinball, and this is awesome. Let's do this. If you are in the area, Frisco area, please come down to TPF. It's an amazing festival. It's one of my favorites. And, uh, yeah, you get a bonus X from hitting that capital ball behind the goal once those are dropped. Uh, Robert knows the strategy. It's still lit. Okay, so it does stay lit. Is that 412 it. already? Yeah. Just stay up there and do your thing. Get that bounce. Perfect. Nice bounce over. All right, just trying to rip that spinner that's yeah. dying to be hit, right? Yeah. It's just saying hit me. I kind of wish I played this at all. Like that. I know, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. One spin for his troubles. Nice little tip over. Good job. All there right, there we go. So he went from 425 to 560. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he has spelled ice now. So his extra ball is. Uh, okay. okay, good that's ball okay. one. Take it. Take it. Take it. This room is packed, ladies and gentlemen. So let us know how our sound is. It's hard to get the game sound when there's this many people in the room. I want to show them a quick camera angle of oh, the I think right that's side. TPF room camps, there you go. These are our TPF room cams. That Next year we'll do a little better job. That side is the Wizards. Uh, you can see the classics. There's Neil McRae, Domino Saying Pinball. Hello. Everybody's waiting in their queues. All right, Miles. All right, Miles. Do it. 100K, all right. So in competition, they've turned them off, obviously, all the extra balls, and they are worth 100K. Thank you, Slingshot Scott. Our chat is the best in pinball. Yes, if we say anything incorrect, we haven't played all of these, and some of these are new to us. Um, as we get more familiar with a lot of the pins we see in competitive play, yeah. please let us know. We're happy to uh, happy to oblige your knowledge, and that's why we love the pinball community because everybody's got something to add. Yeah, they're like, Jamie, they're not practicing their shots, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> there we go. All right, perfect. So I he's see. got his C. He's already at 173, 175. Best spinners for days. So it's 
riding those in lanes like the spinner, and that is just a smart move. We've seen three people do yes, that. Exactly. And look at their scores. Yep. So we know Wesley is going to now go for that strategy. Absolutely. There's Austin Trent, Oklahoma. Great Oklahoma player. All right. And again, top eight get a bye. This is the first round. Um, out of 24, 216 players in 216. classes. 216. So shout out to all these guys that made it. Nice. Uh, amazing, amazing play. And rip the spinner. Yep. There you go, I think that's rinse and repeat, man. Yeah. Mark's going to get some great whoppers from this. He's currently sitting uh, just under 1,800 uh, IFBA rank. That's obviously going to go up with whatever oh, is absolutely. Here. Nice deep pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows. Oh, almost. Amazing for the flip of the trick. Here it comes. Welcome to Tilt End's game. Oh, Tilt End game. Welcome to the stream. So what he was trying to do was obviously light his in lane to light the spinner when lit. And you can play with fire so much before you get burned. Yeah. You know, you've got to... You gotta, you know, take your chances. I totally understand why he's doing it because all he needs is a few rips and he'll be in contention. So Wesley didn't do that again. Well, let's see what he's going for. Wesley in control of his own destiny right now. Let's okay, see. there he did. There you go. He's so he just wanted once. to plunge first, yep. I think. Just get it once and you're good to go. He's got the F and fever. Where's he gonna go? Yes, there you go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, Wesley. All now right, you let's just find that it. spinner. Beautiful. And the spinners are juiced, so he's already at 190-ish. All right, same thing. One of the things I need to find, and this, we were talking, I was talking to Tim Hood yesterday, and he's like, I love the spinners at Abilene. Oh, they were what, amazing. You, they were amazing, and yeah. it's like this special lube that they put in, and we're not trying to be cheeky here. I'm just being honest. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. It's really great. Yes. It, I, I can tell you as a newly competitive player, one of the things I absolutely love is when I see a spinner just go for days, because you know you've earned it when you hit that shot. I hate <laughs> when you see a spinner go like two or three times, and you're like, well, there goes that strategy. Right. <laughs> So we need to we need to juice ours up. That's something yes. we're working on. There Definitely. it is. Okay, spinner let. And I want to say welcome to all 97 of you so far. We're oh, that's awesome. Way. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm lucky. There you go. Bring it home to Austin. Top row pinball. Got a, another first time chatter. Welcome, Nico Kin or Nick Zero Kin. So exactly what he needed to do. All exactly. right, yep. put himself back in the game. One Robert more. Byers has had a great game. Wesley wants to at least get a two here. That will put him at five, and you know from there you just let the chips fall. Yeah, that's it. right. You know maybe Mark. Yeah, maybe Mark gets a zero. Yeah, Miles no. gets a one. That's all you want. Thank you, Space City Spaceman. <coughs> that is uh, Phil Grimaldi. <laughs> I got to enter a few of Phil's scores. Great player. Gave me inspiration to be like, okay, this is what I got to shoot for. <laughs> I always wonder what he's listening to. Or is it just white noise? <laughs> I listen to some, they have some like playlists on Spotify where it's like calming 240 hertz noises. <laughs> like maybe this will help me calm down. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, so he's trying to bounce it over. Can he do it? Yep. Absolutely. Nice tap pass. Or excuse me, post pass. Sorry. Nice, no worries. Thinking of Supersonic. Thinking of Dalton, my yeah. boy Dalton. <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah, is he so playing good pinball. Oh my God, he's on a run. In disc high stakes champ, nationals champ. Um, see what he does at Worlds, man. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Next week in his Worlds? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I was talking to Alice, and uh, there it is. Another spinner rep. A shout out to Top Rope since he's on the screen. <clears throat> Make sure you give him a follow. Also, follow Wormhole Pinball if you're enjoying this coverage. And, um, yeah, you know. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't matter. You're doing great. I forgot it's not the so he's going to try to light that in lane again so he can light his spinner. There it is. Get control. Looney's well is next. Thank you. Steve. Appreciate that. Uh, very happy to see all the women getting a chance to compete on national level. It's going to be great pinball. Shout out. Uh, Our uh, Texas champ, Alice yeah. Young. Uh, we're going to see El Rucco there from uh, California. 
a lot of great uh, Debra probably. Uh, I don't know all qualified, but um, some amazing players. The ladies are going to bring it home. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do. All right, Miles. Come on, Miles. You got this. Ball two now. Yeah, ball two. Good catch. But Miles can have a good ball here, put some pressure. Um, in the tournament room upstairs. Glenn, Booth went really great yesterday. We had a long game of stall ball. It was fun. Uh, good times. But what we didn't anticipate was that uh, qualifying would go so late with so many yeah, huge cla classics. Yeah, classics ended at um, midnight. Right. And they were, they were going to the end because the queues were so long. Um, to give you an idea, queues were about 15 to 18 people deep on every game. And that even oh, I'm unlucky. He didn't get a top there. Yeah. His uh, goalie's open in the center. He's got one drop target down. It's up there. So he's going to get a safer feed from that uh, that oh. left uh, orbit because if it's sliding down to the center uh, space where the drop target is, he's actually coming back to the... Uh, yeah. Oh, he took one more down. Okay, so he's trying to get that. Glenn, no, not less games, just more people. And, you know, maybe they were set up a little bit easier than previous years, uh, but they fixed that. Yeah. Sorcerer was playing right now. Yeah, so I, I might have one game on that night. I was like, oh, I'm good. I got my score. Yeah. I don't need to play this anymore. Um, they're, they were tough. I'm not going to lie. There were some really tough hits. Far out was eating everybody's lunch. Mars track. Um, good spinner rep. Uh, all right, yeah, so he got his spinner. That's all I was looking forward to. I would, honestly, the meta on this, Mr. Nerftastic, is go for the spinner. I don't think the multipliers are, uh, yeah, Wizards had some games. We had Star Wars go down, our Turtles go down, Time oh. Machine go down for a little bit. But, you know, we're back up. We've got a full bank of games. We had some spares. Uh, Avatar's in. Uh, they brought back Break Shot, which was replaced by T2 initially. Jaws is in. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, Miles Bradley. Uh, his brother Liam's, older brother Liam is great. Uh, you're going to see these kids for a long time, and, mm -hmm. you know, more power to them. I hope more kids get into the hobby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ball three. This is it. This is it. This Mark. decides who goes on yes. for, between this four. Mark does not want a zero here. Sitting at four. Good passes. Spinner is lit. See if he can do a post pass. Oh, he's going to do a... Uh, <laughs> he's almost made it. It's hard on the fly. See, that's gone. And that's and he could have maybe post pass and learned from, yeah. from Robert. I wouldn't have alley passed it because the post pass looked a little safer for Robert. It did, turn. it did. And so, um, you know, but great performance by Mark. He needs Wesley to take a zero here because that would put him at five. Right. Um, Wesley needs this. Wesley needs to pass 317, so he needs 80,000 points. Uh, a little under 80,000, so I almost the dot. All right, there we go. I said, do not. Oh, no. That's not. No, good. What replay that. Yeah, I would that replay, was yes. Re that was Beautiful very, nut very job. Good. Nice job, Wesley. And that's why he's the Space City Open Absolutely. defending champion. Top 100, top 300. Good nudge, Wesley. Good catch Ooh. as well. It's could making me down nervous, down. Yeah, though. I gotta be down. honest with you. Spinner's lit. There yeah. it is. Yeah, he knows okay, that so he, he he just moved in to, to third place. Yep, and he is tied now with Mark Minimal. So if he can pass Miles, that would give Miles a three at worst. And Mark would still be at four. So, so math is not my good thing, but. Um, so Wesley, uh, uh, Mark needs Wesley to pass. Not miles. four. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, that's why I became a lawyer. I'm terrible. <laughs> All right. Let's show you that replay here. Yeah, that's that bounces cool. huge. Good. What replay that. Yeah, I would that was yes. Re that was. Oh to no. Get it back that's and look at this nut. Good. One. What replay a save. Yeah, yeah, that, that was yeah. Yeah. beautiful. Okay, here comes Byers. We do have a potential four-four. Yes, 444 tiebreak. So we've got Mark currently at four. Um, Wesley at five right now. If Miles doesn't pass, if Miles passes him, then, uh, and no one passes Robert, then yes, we would have a 444 tiebreaker bonus pinball. Everybody loves bonus pinball. Everybody loves pinball. And Robert would, you know, go through and, uh, and then stay. And then wait for the winner of the tiebreaker. Absolutely. Break. And also, 
Miles got in because someone didn't show up to, he was 25th, someone didn't show up to the Classics Finals, so Jordan Clark and Miles got in, so this is great for Miles because increased walkers. He they doesn't even waste any time. No, let's fine. go, yeah. let's see what Miles does. I'm gonna be quiet. Here he goes. Just taking wasn't it. lit though. Wasn't lit. Taking a thousand each. He knows he just needs Oh, oh no. Oh, he, oh, got he got it. Oh, he got it in bonus. He got it in bonus. Oh, Sorry, did he pass No, 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 no. He got it in bonus. So Miles with four. four. Wesley with four. Mark with four. Folks, bonus pinball coming up your way. That <laughs> was I, awesome. I wish I had an email for bonus pinball. <laughs> that was know. awesome. I wish I had a stream, uh, a scene for bonus pinball. <laughs> Let's go to Rig 2, see what they're doing over here. They're going to be moving on Sorcerer. Uh, and... While we're waiting for bonus pinball, we've got yes, we've got the next group. because we don't know what yeah what bank they're gonna take right. And I think the highest seed will oh no it might be random. I'm not sure how they're doing it. Sometimes it's top seed will pick. Sometimes it's random and everybody just gets their turn. Oh my goodness, that is that was amazing. That bonus <laughs> just gave us bonus pinball. <laughs> but we'll, we'll sit here and they're they're gonna tell us where they're going. Uh, I'll come here. My name is Jamie Birchall. I am joined by Hottie Santa Lee and Frisco Pinball. Uh, welcome. Uh, if you want to know where the Frisco comes in, it's because I live in Frisco, Texas. Spoiled because TPF is in our backyard, but welcome, everybody. Lots welcome. Of, yes, lots of Welcome to Texas pin Pinball. This is the Classics. Uh, we're going to show you real quick here the TPF schedule yes. so that you can see what we're doing here today. We've got Classics finals, so about 4 o'clock. Uh, and then the Wizards finals are going to take us a long time. Yes. Uh, our kids finals we're not going to stream because we don't stream children yes. without the you know and then uh, of tomorrow. course tomorrow we've got from 12 o'clock till 2 o'clock uh, the women's finals and they kind of kicked them out so yeah they're because they're gonna give them everybody we've got a lot of people trying to qualify for Wizards I still got I still have 12 entries um, so we've got a lot of people trying to get their last plays in lots of whoppers on stake this is a stern pro circuit event um, it also helps with uh, state championships, so whoppers are important here, plus money, and you know, it's a, it's a great event. And uh, I'll say right now, if you need me uh, for any later streams, yeah, just let I, me know. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, once, I, I, once I finish my entries, I'm available for you I, all day. I, I'm definitely, <laughs> I have a list here. Yeah, me and Aaron are going to be doing a lot of the Wizards finals, but nice. I know I got Colin McAlpine coming yes. in for the semis. Uh, great, you know, and, it, and it, we have some spots open. If somebody wants to come in, let me know. <laughs> And we definitely need people for the women tomorrow. Yeah, I'll help. I can help with women's if you need it. No, yeah, I like the oh, women yeah, you to know, do it. Oh, you, no, you, yeah, you're right. What am I talking about? Yes, no, no, no let, the, let the women do it because that, it's good to give them chances to talk about some of the people they played against. That's going to be awesome. All right, Sorcerer, uh, left ramp all day. You've got, um, yes, uh, left ramp all day. Your lock starts lit on the left ramp. And if you can get that, you get a two-ball multi-ball. Your rollovers obviously increase your bonus multiplier. You've got a little alcove on the top right with the upper uh, upper flipper. Uh, you can stay all day there. Uh, there's some drop targets worth some great points. It looks like Rick is just uh, letting it sit. He is not using that up top. And, and he is not because he is trying to get that lock going on the left ramp. Okay. This played forever yesterday. Yes, it did. Right? Really, really good. Oh, he almost had it there. So it's a little early on the shot. Um, when you get that, uh, his spinners are also lit. I believe those are 2,500 to rip. Here he goes. Oh, he's trying for it. Oh, he, uh, oh, was this a tiebreaker? Why are there this only two? Oh, no, why are there only three? Oh, practice. Okay, they're just checking practice. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Practice? We're talking about practice? Yeah, where's our Iverson emote? <laughs> and this is still at ice hockey. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here comes Garrett. Garrett's going to help us. Thank you, Garrett. Appreciate that. Playoffs. All right, do we have the tiebreaker yet? No arena yet. Okay. But again, in our group, um, group one, we are waiting for a tiebreaker between Mark Jackson, Miles Bradley, and Wesley Johnson. Um, we're going to go to that tiebreaker once it's set on what they're going to pick. Um, we're waiting for the TDs to let us know. In the meantime, we've got the double rig on Barracora, or excuse me, Sorcerer. They look so familiar, just playing Barracora. This is game two. Yeah, this three? is game. It says it, say it says it should not say game three. Yeah, this three. is game. Let me just double check. Um, 
No, this is game three. Oh, it so is. So it hasn't updated yet. Oh, their scores uh, haven't Garrett updated. Garrett is through. He got uh, first on. You're Barrett right. Four. Here it looks. There you go. They just updated it with Garrett Shea. That's why Garrett's going first. Yes. And pinball etiquette: if you want to know if you have passed through, go first, so that way your other players can. Well, you know, get a chance to maybe go a little later. And now, what should he do here? What's the etiquette? Should he put up, you know, $5 You play, million? You, play. you play it through. Um, you know, it does affect uh, potential outcomes. So the good etiquette is go first, but also play your, play your game um, and, and do what you can. He's also, it's good because you'll, you'll get a feel for where the shot is again. Uh, and yeah, go from there. So, again, left ramp all day. Good good little slap save there. I'm, you know, it. I'm a little surprised Garrett's playing so well that he didn't get the buy. Yeah, you know, it was a tough. Um, I know I talked to Jack Revenant. He was in buy position. But as the night wore on, people were getting, in these classics, some great scores to bump them down. And there's a lot of darn good players here. A lot of Hottie. good ones, yeah. So, I mean, Eric Stone was the top, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, he's here. There's, there's a ton of, uh, Preston Mako standing right in front of me. I got the Pinball Mafia right yes. here. There's some really good players. Yes, here. a lot of top-ranked players. Um, everybody, uh, yeah, and Eric, Eric's in front of us right now on, oh no, maybe that's him, I can't tell. Um, uh, yeah, we got the Yegpin guys, Scott and Luca here, uh, the Revenues, yeah, I'm just trying to see, Austin Trent's here from Oklahoma. Trent's got to meet him uh, pretty well nice. at uh, Austin, didn't at he? At Abilene, right? Abilene, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Good dude. Yeah. All right, he says, I use that yellow curve in R right above flipper. Yes, that's a good, very good uh, good strategy. See, he's trying for that I ramp. I missed it. Yeah, I missed it. But he's going to get some one away from another multiplier up top. And if you can get a controlled uh, separation, right there back. you go. Boom. So now, left ramp. You got it, Garrett. Oh. oh. Projected. But this that's is a good. rinse and repeat, and okay? He, good and then catch, and he's right back there. So he's already at 354,000. Go back up. Use that to hit the drop. There's three drops up there. It's currently lit for 50K, I believe. Got another rollover for his bonus multiplier. Stage flipping, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. 5X Playfield. What up, Elk Grove, Rick? All right. Look so. at all your fans coming in. <laughs> I know. I, I, I saw nah, a lot I'm of you. I wish <laughs> all these guys saw these guys that did this. Yeah. I think I, it's great, man. And I, I remember watching Rick on Pin Clash. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, one more letter to light the spinner. All right. So, uh, is spinner's flashing on mm. the left and right. I think that's 2,500 a rip. Yep, it's rip. It's ready. Um, okay. So now, try to go back up top to the ramp. Hey, what's up, Jay Ford? All right, JL, thank you for being here. Well, today. you should be. He's a good dude. <laughs> I'd be by myself talking gibberish. Where are you guys going? Yes, yeah, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> buyers. Okay, Congrats, is man. it on the rig on it or no? Hey, Robert, great play, man. Congrats. Thank you. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Robert's talking to us like he. We gave us, we gave you a shout out in chat. Tell people follow Top Row Pinball. Yeah, no problem. Great play. Oh, okay, perfect. Awesome. Gotcha. Collins in chat. So. <laughs> And do some. Oh, that's awesome. So, Robert Byers, uh, uh, great Texas player. Make sure you follow him. Wesley. He is probably going to be getting uh, a, hopefully, he said, Jack. a Princess Bride module from P3 yeah, Multimorphic. Um, and maybe Colin will be there with him uh, to talk rules. And uh, yeah, give him a follow. Stay a lookout. Uh, he's on all social media Facebook, Twitch, all that stuff. We are going to the tie break. And I what promise is the game? you, it is going to be on Far Out. The rig is being moved. Okay. This is just bonus pinball. Yeah, this Let's is look at rig. this as our pop-up group. It, That's the way I like. You know, This is better the, than listening to us and watching us talk. You don't <laughs> want to talk to me. Nobody wants to talk to me. <laughs> so one of the cool things that with the double rigs, Hadi, is that we can Fill follow our primary group like in golf. Yes. We've got our feature group. And you've got. And then i got pop-in groups. And we're about to go to the feature group right here on Far Out. This is three players. One moves through. Mm -hmm. 
fighting for their tournament lives. And here we go. No one wants dead air, so the bonus pin wall is always welcome. So far out. This was a great game at Texas uh, at Abilene because we found our version of volley when we had yeah. the uh, ten dollar, five dollar. It was a five dollar far <laughs> out. <laughs> and uh, go to follow carpool pinball. Yes. And. Uh, Chris was going to put that up there, yeah, but Carpool Pinball has a really had a really neat thing that they did where they were doing five dollar far out, and Colin ran that pretty well, for yeah, Alan, man. So congratulations on that. We all had a couple drinks, and we were yelling, "Do high score! Do high score!" Oki, if you want to take far out down from this room and bring it to the wormhole booth, we could do that. <laughs> but we'll figure that out. All right. So let me go get the tiebreaker here because I'll be able to do that right here. Yeah, so Mark, then Miles, then Wesley. So that's the order. Uh, that's just ran I, is that that's just random, right? I don't know. I, might, uh, I think so. Okay. All right, so in far out, you have your rollover lanes. You want to try to plunge that middle one. But also, if you notice in the center of the plate, there is a light lit on the left-hand side, two lights. Um, you've got your target, uh, drop target that's lit, and you've also got a big insert that says, uh, when lit, 10x times your target bonus. So, um, what you want to do is hit that side and that specific drop target for 5,000 points. Will it change the order? Oh, gotcha. And the left the lit target on both sides are worth 500. Everything else is worth 50. And once the drops go down during that ball, um, then they don't come back up. And oh, so, really? Yeah, and so your bonus is a big part of this um, game. As you can see, it goes up to 10,000. And then if you get both banks down, it's a double bonus. It is. It, it is what you want to do. Yes, in this okay. game, the scores during qualifying, I'll get them up for you right now, but a game of like, uh, let me see. Yeah, so top 10 was 83,000, but if you got like 60,000, uh, you were doing pretty decent. And so that double bonus is huge. So he's already at, looks like 11,000 in bonus. He hit his, there it is, there is. Um, that's how you want to play this Yep, game. that's 5,000 okay. right there. So He's got two drops on the left, and it looks like two, three on the right. It is three on the right. Just missed it. Yeah, two on the left, three on the right. Uh, he still got his lit on the right, lit target on the right. So that's There's worth one. 500. And his pops are now lit for 1,000 in the center, which is huge. There's another one. Okay, he's almost two got a left. Up. Yep. Two left on the right, one on the left. Yeah, you cannot move this pin. Uh, it tilts very quick. All right, two more. Two more for that double bonus, which would be 34,000 right now. Because uh, he's oh. got 17. Road. Oh, nice, Wesley. Beautiful, beautiful triple play right there. Okay. One more. Oh. But check his bonus. Uh, you had started at 16. It's going down. It's a tease, yeah, but it's it'll a tease. get there. Get there I well. promise you guys. All right, 26,000, not a bad ball one. Beautiful ball one. It's a five ball game. Yes. Already setting himself up for success. There's and and as so Hattie just said, guys, we're looking at 100 to 86 is kind of yes. what people were getting through and putting exactly. on here. So that's kind of our barometer. He is a third of the way through where he needs to be, and he's already on ball one. 20 percent for him. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Wesley Sports just told Miles how to get some points. Uh, the 800 is whacked out. Okay, good. Wow. I didn't know if he had uh, advanced. So, again, don't look at the 8,000 bonus. It is, uh, it is for some reason, just staying away. Okay. All right. So, ball one. That For Wesley, I'm not going to, or excuse me, for Miles, uh, that's typically how a lot of balls go. You know, maybe one to two of them for you on far out. You just need one good ball like Wesley. To, okay, so 1,000 is lit. Hit the left. Uh, Oh, that, okay, yeah. nice move, Mark. And he's still got the 500 drop on the right. And still has the 5,000. Nice. nice. Gate is open. Another saving grace of this one, the gate does That open. is such a great feature. In games, you know, to have yeah. that. And then I believe the gate opens. Is it through the lit uh, lane on the left side? Oh. Sure on the side. I forgot how that gate opens. It's not the center of it. No, I think it's when it comes down to the left and the right. Uh, 
Lakers. Bonus is still going. It's 17,000. Yep. Red ball one. All right, here comes Wesley. Again, anybody's game because all it takes is one ball in this game. You're witnessing Eric Stone behind. He uh, is uh, he's watching, yeah, he's watching intently because right he might be playing far out. It's a good one to watch. Shout out Jack Redwood scoring the wormhole here. Now the rub is he, he knocked down all but one, but this is the end. He's, he's, he's got to start over. Yep, exactly. They reset per ball again, knocking down both drop target things like double bones. Uh, see? Our, our outlet. He knows. It's okay. Still <laughs> firmly in command right now. Welcome, Dizzy. First time chatter. Um, okay, Miles. Get a bad ball, Miles. Take it off. He doesn't seem to be worried about it. There seems no stress on this young man's life. So here we go. Beautiful center roll of gun. Oh, wow. no. That's a rough break because you, you do so much to get that center <laughs> blood. I know. And then it just it gives you a straight down. <laughs> Mark up. Get the loops off. Great player. And boom. Okay. So he still has his 5,000 lift. <clears throat> Good little forward nudge. When you saw your game get better do you think it was nudging what what was the skill set right we're watching uh, definitely Mark. patience and okay. nudging. i think a lot no. a little late on the nudge he was there. late right but that's okay because once you play as you play tournaments you realize you get a feel for where the okay. bounces are where the feeds are rules with classics your rules are your rules you're never going to change them from the great yeah. equalizer um yeah but if you have to know where the feeds are, especially on a game like Mars Trek, you knew where the rollover, if you hit the rollover lane, it's coming to the left out lane, you have to move it back. Another great plunge by Wesley, here you go. Okay, now look what Mark did. Yes. He's at 30, he, he's right there. Exactly. So Wesley, Wesley's gotta go. All right, trying Double. to get that 500. He's right in lane as he did, and I believe that will help him advance bonus. There you go. Yes. Ah. Those little tips, sometimes uh, as players, we do a little flip, a little micro flip to yeah, try to catch it, or, or we're doing something just to keep it in play, and it always floats over to the out. It's such a frustrating drain. But I think the most frustrating drain is in lane to out lane, where it rolls under and over. I can never, I can never accept those. <laughs> they hurt feelings. Yeah. Okay, here comes Miles. All right, ball three, five ball game. Come on, Miles. He's had two house balls. Hasn't really had a flipper on it. There it is. Sweet. Head down. Okay. Yeah. Tried to catch. Got it. Under control. So he needs to hit that. Okay. Oh, oh beautiful. Nice. And pass. Patience. He's got to hit that top left drop target for 5,000. Just it. There it is. 5K right there. He's already at 20. See, here we go. He's at 6,000 in bonus. Now he just needs to worry about uh, clearing those drops. All right, three on the right. Miles is your go. Maybe a forward nudge to bring it back up. It hit the bottom of the gate a little hand. Yeah, it did. You can you give yourself a chance, but you never know if it's going to hit that anyway. Bonus is still going. Yep, 31. All right. This Ready is what go. we wanted, guys and girls. This is it. Another great center point train. Everybody's hitting it, which is perfect. Okay. Nice bounce out. Yep. That was going out. That was going out. You, you directed that ball. Okay. Again, top left drop. You nice to two out. Boat. Now focus on clearing. Things going sideways makes you nervous with yep. that ball. Good. There you go. Get to that end. Get gone. to oh. it's sorry. Sorcerer. Now, they, they move. They, we actually have Brig on, uh, on, what is it? I think they rolled, everyone rolled Sorcerer five times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rig looks like it's on Mars. Oh, no, it's ball, not ball four. Two balls left. This is a tiebreaker if you're just joining us. Uh, classics, round one. Uh, and only the top player in this group is going to join uh, Robert. Robert Byers, top row pinball, moving on. That's good to 
good to hear that uh, these kids are great players and they love when you pump them up and it gives them confidence for you know, later in life. Good thing. Both a great hobby. All right, Wesley, you got this. That doesn't mean that Wesley doesn't want to drum, you know, yeah. to win this. But, yes. uh, in competition, we want to take our opponents yeah. out, but it's nice to have the kids there. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Wesley, here we go. Wesley had a great ball one, ball two, and three. Not so much. Not so much so. Okay. Take some pops at 300. Nice. Hits it. It's his 5,000. Okay. Or no. Yeah, no, he did. He did. He's at 42. And, and again, what Hadi was telling us before is 80 to 100, right? That, that's what we're seeing as some of the best players have been putting up. Yeah. It looks like we might be headed to 60 range, which again, we're still in the top 50. So all three of okay. these players are performing. They're about to hit the above average scores. Um, for the oh, nice. Okay, so. That's that nervous yeah. coming out of there. Got, I believe he got 5,000 first bonus points, though, but it's at 48. He's at 48 now. now. He's got 8 in bonus. Sitting at 56. Do not throw. Got a double there. One on each side. Yep. Three drops. Oh, out. nice drop. Ooh. Oh, really? Nice little dig. Get to that. 51 now. Get some of those 1,000. Oh, nice. Okay, gate's open. His open. Gate. And special, or not special. Oh, wow. He knows it. Yeah, that red is 500 and add bonus and special one lit. Yes. So I'm not sure what the special is lit here, but great ball. He's already at 62 yeah, now. He's already set himself up. He saw it because he had two outs. He get the out lane, the special, and the gate on I the know. right. Oh, that's and then the drain there. Yeah. It's unlucky, unfortunately. Hi, right, Miles. Right, Miles. Good catch. Target there, that's the one you want to hit. Dead bounce. Gate is open. So he's gotta he's gotta exit out the right side in case he needs it. Now just go for double bonus. Nice little micro flipper. Here he goes. Staying there. Just let it. <laughs> there you go. On the lower end of the sling. There. Okay. Perfect. There you go. He's sitting at three and bonus. So he needs to build that up a little. Nice. nice. Skimmed just, it. Beautiful. Just got it. Okay, another nice. drop. Sitting at seven in bonus. Seven in bonus, he's at 44,000. So he's at 51. A little early there. A little early again. Hockey J Gold. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's a. <laughs> I didn't see that. I that either. That's gone, though. A little micro flip again. All right, so 7,000, 8,000 in bonus. He'll be at 55, it looks like. 56. 55. All right. All right, Mark. Close game again. All Getting three tense over here. here. All three of these guys uh, were in a free match. First round, and they are all got four points. Yep. And uh, for the tourney line. Snail Man predicted it early on. Uh oh. Nice. Already at 47 now. And what you're seeing there is a tech light. And why is it? Uh, because a technician has a light on his helmet, and that's why he can't see the scores. <laughs> I gotta fix something. <laughs> but you know, something's broken next door, we gotta <laughs> fix it. Alright, so 56, 56, 62. Can we ask for a better ball yeah, five? This is this, these players are very matched, evenly matched up right now. Uh, really, really good play. Okay. Alright, let's see it. This is gonna wreck me because it's so I mean center plunge. Center plunge. There we go. Just get on a flipper. Just get on a flipper. And here's I think ball five is guaranteed double bonus because your bottom yes. insert is lit. So you definitely want to focus on the drops because that advances your bonus. He's at 1,000 right now. He needs to get a good bonus. 
stay alive. Dead bounce, okay. Oh, no, he didn't dead bounce. Okay, I see it. Live up top if you can. That's not a bad 72,000. Straight in lane. Took another one. Only light drops get gotcha. the bonus. Thank you, Okay, Jason. thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Oh, but 8,000 in bonus. Times two. Great score. Going to be sitting at 94,000. Double bonus on um, ball five. Let's go, Miles. His brother is telling him what to do. You got to <laughs> love this. All right, Miles. Good luck, buddy. Took two out, and it's going. Oh, oh, oh it's going to only at three thousand. It's not going to get there. Four thousand dollars. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. It's hard when you're that age. It's hard to, you know, hard to understand the emotions. Go through. Great play by Miles. Great play. Should not feel. Uh, Absolutely not. No, just wonderful, wonderful. Uh, the future's bright, yes. young man. All right, here we go, Mark. Uh oh, Mark awesome. and Wesley Johnson's going through, yeah. and it happens that bad. Yeah, and that's usually how far I'll play. I know. Far. It's not like so. Congrats to Wesley Johnson. Um, Welcome he, to the wormhole uh, booth. We are streaming Classics Finals at TPF, uh, the Classic Playoffs, if you will, or Finals, or what do we call it? I'd say playoffs, and then you know, I, you okay. know what they do call it officially the finals. Yeah, so they yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, so we'll call it the finals. And uh, here's the room cam, and here's what we've got going on here. Uh, let's go to rig two and see what is going on over here. Oh my God, are they still on sorcerer? On sorcerer, <laughs> Garrett is through. Yes, yeah, so he's playing through. He's already at 3.8 million. It's good practice. Um, it looks like Daniel has 341, David has 48, and Rick has. 566. So this is interesting because another 444. Another four. Pass, four or yeah. excuse me, a couple fours. Yeah, a couple Rick fours. Can't, Rick can't get three, but Daniel needs two. So Garrett's through. Yeah. Um, I, let's see. We're on ball two. We'll see if anybody can catch him. It's possible on this sorcerer. What's up, Meta Night Man? Um, I am going to step out yes. for I'll three minutes. I got you. Got you. this? I got you. I'll All call right. it. Too many Diet Cokes, bro. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> All right. So, folks, we are looking at a second group in the first round. Garrett is firmly through to the round of 16 quarterfinals. Um, I'm looking at the games. i got to get my last entries in for Wizards. Uh, Mr. Stone, I believe he has a bye, Hockey James. Uh, let me just double-check the standings. So let me give you your... Um, uh, let me see. Next round. Hold on. A sec, I'll get it for you. Um, top eight had a buy. Let me just double check the link. Eric Stone was the top seed, so he gets a buy. The top eight were Eric Stone, Preston Moncla, Jeff Davis, Ben Clement, Derek Thompson, Andrew Foster, Bob Caldwell, and Dan Newman. Um, so you are seeing nine through 24. Um, yes, he has a buy, BYE, and he will be playing in the next round in the quarterfinals. All right. A Garrett doing Garrett things. Uh, great player. Texas State champ. Um, you're welcome. Uh, great performance at District 82's Nationals. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, he's walking out. <laughs> What's up, Al Anonymous? Um, he's already through. So uh, he's just playing. He's picked first. Um, the next three players are fighting for the tourney lives. Daniel hyping himself up. You just I played with Daniel at Abilene recently. You just have to get that left ramp. I mean, that left ramp, it's easier said than done, but get your multi-ball. Locks stay lit. Uh, your spinners are lit. And this bonus multiply, you get more on your bonus block. Get hype, exactly. Uh, I'm Frisco Pinball, Hottie Sadily. Welcome to Wormhole Pinball. Um, I hope you guys are ready for some great pinball action all day long. Wizards final starts at 5. Classics will go to 4 about. Um, 4 p.m. or so. Wizards qualifying ends at 4 p.m. So we've got some entries to get in, uh, myself as well, and everybody's playing right now. Their hearts out, just trying to trying to perform. This diner plays mean, just like the one in uh, Indus. Shout out IE Pinball. Um, all right, 
Here we go. Daniel Martin, let's get back to the action, sorry. Uh, cradling up on the left. Let's see, good post pass, he knows where to go. It's a little early on the flipper on the right side to get that left ramp. Beautiful shot. He got it. All right, just do it again. Do it again. You see the bottom left green insert. Post passing, you know, it's an acquired skill. Uh, it just takes practice. You know, I have a lot to learn still. This is my, I would say, second year doing active, com actively competing. Um, and I'm learning a lot from great players like Colin McAlpine, Robert Byers, uh, all the top players, Travis Murray, all the top Raymond Davidson, all the top players are really, really helpful in explaining you know, what to do and, and how to play, and I, that's why I love this hobby. All right, Daniel, post pass, you got it. Pump yourself up. He's a very animated player. You'll see some kicks and uh, some moves like Walt Wood or uh, Zyron from um, Idaho. And uh, yeah, Eric, Eric is a great teacher as well. Ball two. So he just missed it. What did I miss? Oh, sorry, I just said he just missed. So oh, okay. uh, Garrett uh, just kind of let the balls drain after he's got his practice in. He knows he's got to move it along. Uh, this is the last game of this group. Um, I will give you an update. You don't really have the link in chat, but I'll give you an update. So right now, Robert and Wesley are through. Albert Newman and Mark Meserve are through. And he bounced it right in there. And Michael Bradley and Jack Revenue are through. Um, so we have more of our 16. One person from this group will join Garrett in the quarterfinals. All right, David. Let's have a good ball, too, here, David. I like that, Elk Grove, that you need to complete the drops to light the locks. That's actually really nice. That would help move this along. Thank God for no big rubber puss in the, on the front of the ramp. Oh, I've seen that at the 82 on police force and uh, mousing around. All right, David. Or David, excuse me. Now I'm just getting a little pep talk. That's yep. all. All right. There's 2X. Thank you for going through the rounds, Hottie. Oh. oh. Slingtown, USA. Population, every pinball player ever. And we've all <laughs> been there. The great thing about pinball is that everyone will drain. Yeah. It's, it's, it, everyone, drains. everyone, I get the <laughs> freeze venting after a house ball, I do it, but we've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Zexy? Everyone's doing good. Welcome to the stream. Go Canada. <laughs> there you go. Pinball shenanigans. Oh, almost missed a little early. All right, Rick. Nice. Rick needs that two points. Yep. Okay. Oh, halfway up, but at least he but got the But the problem is Daniel... Let's see, if he gets the two and Daniel gets a one and Rick gets a zero, we have three, three, three. Now oh, Garrett's gonna get the four. Yeah, so if Eric gets four, Rick could get three. Daniel, oh yeah, actually there could be a three, 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 not a four, four, four. We could Bonus have pinball, yeah. let's do it. TBF has been great. Uh, I think it's my, I think it's the best pinball festival to, uh, in the country. There's, uh, there's amazing, there's other amazing ones like, uh, you know, the Houston one, Space City Open, and also Expo. Uh, TPF, I'm biased because I'm in San Francisco. Sure. So <laughs> it's easier for me to travel. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of, lot of great pins, a lot of co cool custom pins. Um, but let's take a look at Rick. He's got multiball going. So we saw Garrett do this earlier when we did the pop-in of staging it very well. Let's yes. see what Rick can do. Oh, oh gone. no. It's gone. Yeah, that's okay. Go back up. There you go. There it is. All right, Rick with 748. Yeah, a lot of pins uh, here. There's some custom ones, Saw, Motorhead. Yeah, we're still on Sorcerer. Yeah, we're still on Sorcerer, but this is, you know, again, it's the pop-in rig, yeah. generally, Argoff, so that's the beauty of it. And guess what? You guys would rather have this than dead air. Trust me. So. There will be no dead <laughs> air unless we lose batteries, yeah. and I have batteries. Out that the wazoo. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ball 2, Sorcerer. Um, we're still going. <laughs> so the rest of the tournament, uh, the quarterfinals, We'll start once this game is over. Uh, these guys are playing for the tourney lives. Three, one of the three will go through. Garrett's already firmly through. And right now, as it stands, Rick would get a two if this were to end right now. David would have a three, and Daniel would have a three. Okay. All right. 
Left flipper, where are you going? Post pass? Yeah. Post pass, or uh, I went for the spinner. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. Those are the decisions we make <clears throat> where we think we've got the shot, and it's just. You it's know, I was interviewing play. Carl D'Angelo <clears throat> on our podcast, and here's a uh, shameful plug for our podcast that you'll be on one day <laughs> soon. And uh, I was interviewing Carl, and I said, uh, what, do you, what advice do you have for players that are coming up? And he goes, if you're on a stream, go back and watch yourself, see the mistakes you made, and learn from them. No, oh, because you don't film yourself normally. No, and I know. You're always just playing kind of, you have a home collection. You're just kind of playing and, with stock and settings. With and the advent of us streaming so yeah. much and so many different streamers <coughs> playing and, and streaming these local tournaments, go back, watch yourself, and see that he probably should have done a post exactly. there. Hey, and I'm not, Rick, and, you're there. I'm not. And watch the rules, too, because, oh, okay, what are they doing? Uh, and watch the um, Watch how oh. the top players play. What happened there? Oh, something in the just a oh. just a little bulb or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> little friendly souvenir. And here we go. Yeah, hockey. I didn't know what that was, Jake, but uh, I think it was just a little insert. And, and there is Garrett saying, "I'm through. I don't Thank need any more Garrett. practice. Thank let's God. Get, let's let's get go. Going. Come on, Garrett. There's no need for that." I could get entries in, Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> Spend all day on it. Welcome, everybody, to Wormhole Pinball. We are streaming here at TPF. It is a... Um, yeah, we're in the first round of the Classics. Um, and between Daniel, David, and Rick, one of these is going through, and we have a possibility of another playoff. But uh, Daniel says, I'm going to try to... He needs to catch at least 889. Yes. Oh, nice. Giving my wife the stream link so she can watch if she'd like. Okay, <laughs> great. You couldn't convince her to come here this weekend? You know what? Um, I'm surprised TPF was the same week as spring break because it's normally not. Uh, in da the Dallas area, we have all our spring breaks now. Um, right. But, uh, no, uh, she's enjoying. I, I was with them for the first half of spring break in wine country, hill country down south, Fredericksburg near Austin. There you go. And so, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm having problems with that mic. Let me try it again, okay? Where was that other mic? All right, right here. Let's see if we can get Wesley Johnson yes. on here. Who, uh... Give me one second, let me... Under, there we go. Congrats. Wesley, <laughs> tell me if that works, buddy. Testing, testing. There, I can oh, hear it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. yeah. Oh, now we got go. a free man <laughs> booth, ladies and gentlemen. So... Yeah, okay, let's move the camera yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So y'all are watching Garrett try to 12 this out, huh? <laughs> no, 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 Garrett. You know, we, I had a talking to him, and I was yeah. like, Garrett, that's enough, dude. That's what I told him. We want to get to quarterfinals. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Oh, man. I didn't have a talking to him. I'm being funny. I'm glad yeah. you did, though. Yeah. No, I did. I definitely had a talk with him. I was like, man, just plunge ball three. Come on. But introduce yourself. This is Wesley Johnson, yes. defending Space City Open champ, great pinball player. Yeah. Where are you, and, uh, where are you fresh, playing? Fresh off of. Very stressful tiebreaker. That right? was that was a great first round. I'm glad we followed your group. The scores were all close, especially on far out. And yeah. then, um, where do you play out of? I play out of Houston, uh, primarily at Wormhole, Einstein's, awesome. uh, Space City Pinball, all good stuff. So, comments about my bank. I hated that bank. That was my <laughs> least favorite oh, really? of all the banks. Yeah. <laughs> Least favorite bank. So to squeak out getting through on that, I'm like, it's all up from here. Oh, it's all gravy it's now. It's all buddy. up from here. Because now I get to play maybe, as long as somebody doesn't pick the same <laughs> one, right, I get to play something better. So are the rules that th that bank can only be picked twice in this in each round? Um, no. By two groups? Like a third group can't pick that same bank? They can as okay. long as you start on a different game. Okay, that gotcha. So, gotcha. so only one group can pick the same first starting game. Gotcha. Uh, and then for tiebreakers, I wasn't sure about this. The, the tiebreaker wasn't chosen. Random? It was randomly chosen. Through match play? Uh, no, oh. he did number generator, but okay. it's still random. And then the order we played was random, not oh. based on seating. We were so, wondering yeah. what happened on that. Yeah, that's what it was. It okay. was random game, random order, uh, which he is interesting. Keeps things that, that Ooh, far nice out. Save. out nice save. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful on-the-fly shot to the left ramp. Off the R yeah. target. <laughs> Up the ramp. Holy moly. Red Knight, thank you wow. so much. That was an unbelievable shot there. That was. And that and was. we have a possibility here, Wesley, again, of another tiebreaker. 
Yeah. 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 Stick that three three. right up in your mouth, Wesley. <laughs> Do that for me. I mean, it's here. There it is, brother. <laughs> I'll try to talk real loud. <laughs> no, we're good. I just have it, you know, the way I have it set up is that if it's too loud in your ear, let me know, and I can change that as oh, well. Oh, my ears are good. Okay. Ears are good, yeah. My, I'm deaf as a door now, so too many uh, late-night music. This does not have the ROM that requires you to complete the drops for locks. So, so oh, okay. the scores yeah. have been was between the factory settings and the general friendliness of how the game was set up. Qualifying scores were quite large. Yeah. Uh, from what I understand, it is playing more difficult now. They pulled rubbers off the outlane posts. And yeah, I was here this morning setting it yeah. up, and they were doing that. They put, so. they put the uh, the Josh Sharp, uh, Suzo Hat, Bouncy Rubbers on, uh, which has definitely changed things a little bit. So it is playing harder. But okay. even still, these are still all great scores. All right, well, David hasn't had a chance, right? Yeah. I mean, he had yeah. two just what well, we saw ball two and here we go so he's got his yep. post pass that's exactly what i was hoping he was going to yeah, do exactly don't go for that right spinner and try to get your multiplier again just get the lock, second lock now he's in multiple yeah so he needs to catch 1.28 million so we were watching earlier and uh the staging that garrett was doing it, you know even though he's just practicing really yeah, but yeah. it was just that this is what you have to do here right oh, yeah that, right. uh, that upper flipper, when those balls kick out. Good to bounce out. It's, it's a good skill to be able to maybe let the first one go down to a lower flipper, trap it, and then stage the upper flipper to try to hit targets and stuff. Okay. That way you know you have at least one ball of safety, right? You don't want to start flipping both of the balls at the drops up there when they kick out of the lock because now they can both drain. You get one, let one go, trap it, and then play to your heart's content. All right, here he goes. So he has them both cradle. He's going to go for that left ramp just a little late on it, but that's okay. Safe feed, re safe return feed through the S spinner. All right, coming back. Little nudge over. Nice, beautiful. Okay, well, had to separate there. That's yeah, okay. that's okay. But he oh. had he had to drop that flipper, and it was a good thing he did. Yes, it was a good thing he did. Okay, uh, same position. Here we go again. Flip them so they there you go. So they're parallel. That's good. That's nice. perfect. Or side by side, excuse me. And okay, this is, is 5X. It's spinner time. 5X is spinner activated. Time. Do it. It doesn't matter that they're not lit yet. That value is massive even now at 5X. Oh. Get one for the road. Yeah, that would have been, okay. been good. Uh, too late now. Yeah, too late. Yeah. Now, same thing. Let's rinse and repeat, guys. Yep. So so he has, he has two avenues in front of him. He has one target left to light spinner. Right? Yes. You uh oh see. Good bounce. That's oh. it. I, I was I was just gonna say, there is a world in where you forego multi ball, you hit that C and you rip the right spinner to get both the spinner value and to increase your bonus multiplier. And that could definitely catch one point two. That's awesome. Now it's now it's easier to get back in multi ball, <laughs> but if you're not feeling it, if it's not working out, that is another avenue to get there. And if you don't, yeah, if you don't have that shot dial down on the yep. left because you think it's later or earlier, yep. it's a great strategy. All right, so David is going to stick with three points. Um, Daniel right now currently with four. This is it. If Rick passes Daniel, that will give him two, so he'll be at three. And Daniel will have three. Another three-way tie. Three tie is possible. I know. So it's there possible. is a possibility. Yep. We're getting bonus pinball in round one. He, yeah. He yeah. is about three, what is it, 1.28 versus 900,000? Yeah. He's got a 600,000. Yeah, that, yes. Yeah. Do you short punch this? Why would he short punch Oh, this? yeah, short punch Short punch. You don't want to go up top and get that other B? It's not worth it, right? It's not, you don't have enough bonus right now to make it worth okay. it. Yeah, the, the multi-ball multi is much more important for him right now. Ooh, I would have liked to see seen a drop catch. So about 3,380,000 away. Give us the bonus for the Welcome, Oh, no, you're, you're not going to get it. He didn't drop catch. He just held the flipper, yeah. and the ball never got under control yeah. again. Unfortunate. Oh, but my goodness. Um, so Daniel Martin is through. With so Daniel points. Martin is going to go yeah. through with Garrett yeah. Shaham. Yes. Uh, I am Jamie Birchall. I am joined by Space City Open champion Wesley, Wesley Johnson. Johnson. Frisco Pinball, how do you say it, Ali? And this to have you. is driving me crazy <laughs> that you could see over there, so I will <laughs> fix that because my OCD is driving me nuts. But uh, I am Jamie from Warm Old Pinball, and we are the streamers for uh, Texas Pinball Festival. And right now you are watching the Classics Finals. And hopefully you're by our wormhole booth watching it as well because we're going to be streaming that there all yeah. day. So.
that is the end of our round one of yes. what we stream. So now we're waiting on oh, matches yeah. and banks, right? Yeah, so uh, that's probably going to get built right now. So I'm going to sign off. Good luck, sir. Yeah, thank good you. Luck. Ho hopefully I'm not in a tiebreaker <laughs> this time. We'll see. You had a really good ball one in your tiebreaker, yeah. too, yes. though. Yeah. You know, kind ball of one and ball five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. You, but you so the much. ball two was. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> no. All right, there he goes. All right, so we got the other uh, mic working, yes. so that's nice. That's so things are happening over here. It just takes a little, little bit of uh, elbow grease. Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah, just takes things going. Um, we're going to show you the, uh, the TPF rooms what up, real Lobster? quick. Yes. And uh, you can see people uh, waiting. They're playing the uh, Vintage and the Wizards right there. Yes, yeah, so yesterday uh, Classics was qualifying was only one day. So a lot of people that were in Classics, so there were 216 players. Those players did not obviously play all their entries in the Wizards. So right. They have until 4 p.m. today to get their entries in. And show this and here. That's good timing there yeah. to show what we're doing here. This is our qualifying. This is why the room is so packed, guys, because uh, we've got Wizards qualifying all the way up to four. Yes. And so we're in the Classics Finals. So it's a crowded room. Yes, it is a crowded room. Um, we've got both sides basically packed to the gills. You're going to have people watching classics as well because it's great pinball action. But let's show the classics uh, bank here. Yes. Let's show what we've seen. We have seen a few of these already. Uh, we've seen Ice Fever, which was fun. I really hope we get to see Ice yeah. Fever again. Uh, and Har uh, we didn't get to see Harlem yet. Uh, we got to see Far Out, Marsha, Cleopatra. So we're going to see all these and go from there back to just the commentators and let's see if they've done the banks because once they do so okay just we, uh, we've got oh yeah we've got our groups we have our groups no but banks. we don't have our banks our banks so let's go through the groups <laughs> let's start here ben clement derek thompson albert newman and garrett shahan very strong i think ben plays out of arizona okay uh, obviously garrett texas state champ um once I see Derek Thompson, I'll probably remember who he is, and I haven't met Albert yet. Um, but our second group. Jeff Davis, Andrew Foster, Jack Revenue, and Robert Byers. Tough group. Yeah, very tough group. Two Texas heavy hitters, and obviously Andrew and Jeff, great players as well. Hey, here's a group for you. Oh, my goodness. Preston Monkla this. from uh, the Pinball Mafia. Bob Caldwell, he wrote a little book. Mark Meserve and Wesley Johnson, who's just here. <laughs> yeah. That's a good group. That's I think we have to follow that group, think, yeah, right? Yeah. We'll take a look at the last group. Let's just Eric Stone, Dan Newman, Daniel Martin, and Michael Bradley. These are all good groups. Yeah, you're really not going to go wrong with any of them. Um, I will uh, defer What do you want to vote? Uh, you want chat to vote or you want to pick yourself or what do you think? Um, I would say the Preston group is pretty. I think the Preston group. Uh, I would say Preston or the Jack and Robert group. Um, that's a good one, too. Uh, two Texas Texas players. We're in Frisco. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. I'd love to just go with uh, Preston Mockla's group. Let's do it. Let's do it. As and our feature group. Yeah. And then we'll, and then, we'll, and then we'll figure out what our drop-in is. Remember, folks, we have a drop-in bank. There's two rigs. So we will get more um, pinball as we're waiting for uh, more in the We have two rigs here at Wormhole Pinball. We're not messing around, guys. <laughs> so we're going to be able to uh, really eliminate this dead air that we have uh, and go from there. Let's see what we've got. Did they pick the banks yet? I don't think so. No banks. But I'm going to go over there and tell Preston that we're going to follow his group if he's okay with that. Yeah. And well, you know what? We've got to... The good thing about having Wesley is we have a certified rig mover. I mean, he is certified. He put it on his LinkedIn profile. It is there, ladies and gentlemen. He knows how to do this. It'll be fun to watch Mark as well. I, I love playing with Mark. You're a very cheerful guy. And uh, Bob Caldwell, I called his uh, action at Indisc in the quarterfinals. Oh, how was that? Cool. Yeah, so Bob, it'll be a, it'll be, this is a good group to follow. Okay, good. Yeah. And then the drop-in group, we, we have such flexibility there. Yes. Okay, so. Okay. Um, We're just waiting for them to pick their uh, banks. Uh, the way it works is... Whatever three machines are side by side, those are your banks. And so, yeah. I'll go to the room, Cam, <laughs> as I leave you. I'm sorry. I keep leaving You're you. You're good. Are You're you sure? I am okay. <laughs> All right. You let me know. We'll get you pizza for lunch, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, folks. Welcome to Wormhole Pinball. Uh, you are here watching Classics TPF action. Yeah. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> I would zoom it. Then you could just zoom in on the camera a little, and then you're good to go. Yeah. Um, so we're going to watch uh, Mark Reserve, Wesley Johnson, Preston Monclaw, and then, oh, my God, I forgot the other name. I apologize. Give me one sec. I'll get it for you. 
All right, and so uh, Bob Caldwell, sorry about that. Um, we're waiting for them to pick their banks. This is the quarterfinals TPF Classics. Uh, we've got the Wizards qualifying going on. That is a Stern Pro Circuit event, 160 people. We had 216 in the Classics qualifying. Uh, amazing plays. Uh, hydrate, that's a good idea. No, I don't have anything to drink, but thank you. I will uh, hydrate in a little bit. I don't know where I put my bag, um, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, also shout out Yegpin. Uh, I believe they're sponsoring this stream, and there you can see your sponsors on the right. Um, if you guys have any questions about the format of TPF's qualifying uh, tournament, just let us know. Uh, we are going through a 4-2-1-0 Papa style scoring, match play, groups of four. Um, I say I'm a lot. Uh, <clears throat> so we are waiting for the players to pick their banks. <clears throat> Welcome, JB, 90210. Uh, we won't be following Andrew Foster. We'll see if we can get them on the pop-in rig. Uh, we're going to follow uh, Bob Caldwell, Preston Moncla, uh, Wesley Johnson, and Mark Meserve. Um, so we are uh, getting set up, waiting for them to pick their banks. I see them checking around, walking around. I see Eric Stone. Uh, also, shout out to all the TDs and volunteers, scorekeepers. It's not an easy thing to run. Um, it's an impossible thing. Yeah, I, I, I love scorekeeping, and so I, I'm so thankful for everybody that's willing to give up their time uh, to, uh, if they are playing, and, you know, just help this run smoothly, as smooth as it can. It's a small room, uh, so everybody's being on their best behavior. <laughs> the greatest announcement was the start of yesterday, uh, qualifying when we're like, please uh, release all bodily odors outside. It's a small room. Don't release them inside. That was good. <laughs> Uh, thank you, MF Hood. Uh, again, everybody, thank you for watching. We are they are picking the banks right now, mm -hmm. um, and we've decided that we're going to follow uh, Preston Moncla, Bob Caldwell, Mark Reserve, and Wesley Johnson will be our featured group, and then uh, we'll bounce uh, between the other groups. Uh, we've got 126 people watching. Thank you all for being thank here. Thank you guys so much. Thank Welcome you. to Wormhole Pinball. Um, this this thing behind me is driving me bananas. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I have to move it closer to us. Okay, that that's not a thing. Give a follow, please, if you're watching. If you haven't hit the follow button, that way you get notified for all the wormhole streams. If you have a white crown with a blue background next to your profile name, that means you have an Amazon Pro Amazon Prime sub, which is free to use on any Twitch streams uh, subscription link. So if you want to subscribe, use that Amazon Prime. It's free. You get some emotes, ad free viewing. And I can't tell you, don't, uh, I've got to tell you, don't waste it. Don't let it go to use. Use it to help support your pinball streamers, uh, ones of your choice. But if you can support Wormhole, that would be great. Uh, my name's Hadi Sadali at Frisco Pinball. You uh, stream here and there, not as much anymore, but uh, I'll get back to it. Um, I'm more focused on trying to get better to co as a competitor. Where are you guys going? I was going to put you on Eric Stone's too, but we're right next to each other. That's okay. So I got you on me, and then okay. That's Thank you. Right. What are you guys, what bank are you guys? I think they're bank one. Bank one, okay. Yeah. Our Let's favorite see. machine, if I had to pick a classic, I really love Harlem. I can't say enough about that. Um, Centigrade 37 is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I had a good time with Mars and uh, Other than that, uh, Warwind's here, and that's my all-time favorite thing, so Warwind. <laughs> All right, so they're on Harlem. Is this Harlem Go Challenge? No, that's game three. Okay. All right, see Mark sitting down next to Robert? That's, That's Mark's team. track. Yeah. All right, so they're going to put us on. We'll just wait. We'll be patient. Thank you, the yeah man. We appreciate that. This looks a little bit better. Yeah. Well, My yeah. OCD, I, don't I would it. not be a very good, like, producer of something because I would be all over people. Yeah, like when, I, when, I stream, uh, when, I, when I stream, if I see something a little askew, like, to the left or right, I just, I'm like, okay, I, I spend I all day fixing on it. Yeah. I can't, I can't think of anything else. Hey, what's up, H? I love that, dude. Thank you so much for following us. Um, and being a subscriber. We are, we're rocking and rolling. We just finished the first round. We're in the quarterfinals now of the Classics. Uh, I'm joined by Frisco Pinball's own Hottie. I'm Jamie Birchall. And we are, they're picking the banks. And, and, and I have, I can get you some update on the banks that they've chosen here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Um, looks like Bob Clement's group is going to go with Cleopatra Mar, uh, Fall, fa Far Out and Mars Track, and then Jeff Davis, Andrew Foster, Revenue and Buyers are going to go with Mars Track Sorcerer. 
I wonder why they that changed, huh? Hmm. <coughs> it's oh. just out of order. I, something changed with. I don't think they changed the way the banks are chosen. We'll see. We'll let this match play update and. Uh, and Eric Stone's group looks like they chose Harlem. Uh, Eric Stone chose Harlem Go Trotters group, Sorcerer, and Barracora. So they're going to last forever. Uh, and then Moncla's group with Bob Caldwell, Mark Meserve, and Wesley Johnson have Ice Fever, Barracora, and Harlem. So that's kind of cool. Yes. So we'll get a different flow than what we got in the first one. I would love to play Ice Fever again. <laughs> it sure is. But you know what? Okay, let's see. And then this is Mars Track. So I think Mars Track is just sitting there because there's uh, the rig. Eric Stone's group is next to Mars Rig, uh, Mars Track. So, all right, let's get Preston up here. Quarterfinals. We are not in. Ice Fever. Here it is. All right, game one. There we go. We're up. Yeah, same, same Eric Stone. Trillions on Batman, Trillions on Jones. All right, so we are good to go again. That's ice some glare. Yeah. Ice Fever, you want to light your spinner through the in lane switch. That's lit. As you can see, it switches with each uh, sling, sling activation. Oh, oh. Those are tough. Well, Preston, is Preston coming off a bye? Um, yes. Okay, yeah, so, so you know, cold. he's... Yeah. A little colder. A little colder, that's fine. Yeah, he earned that buy, so worst he could do is 16. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, we saw Wesley before, uh, had a different approach, and then I think in his ball three, he kind of figured out maybe I should be light in the in lanes, all right? So we'll see what, what he... Because he was going up top a lot. He really, really was. He doesn't need to. He's just got to get those spins. He's got it. All right, set yourself up. Welcome, quarterfinals. I got mints. I got some... A little bit of Diet Coke left. <laughs> All right, Wesley stepping up to the plate, plunging away. Spelling ice to get you an extra ball worth, I believe, 100K. There we go. The I, he's got the E. One more drop, or one more turn, or rollover. Okay, sling town, stay out of it. All right. All right, now we'll see if he can stick it over. All right. Still on four. Okay. Get it much there, but we're already 22,000. Get a thousand a spell. Ah, see, that's what happens. Oh. It's just so unlucky, and he missed the, the shots moving over. He missed the, tap, tap, the pass moving it over. No, this is not a wormhole game. I, I've never seen it before either, HTA, and um, it's 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 beautiful, except for the glare on the lower left. But um, Alfred Newman. Yeah, front row seat. He is playing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the Classics quarterfinals. Okay, great. Well, what's up, t -Bet? Welcome, first time chatter. Yeah, Ice Fever's a great one. Well, that's, uh-oh, Mark Reserve, and I say. There we go, big move. All right. Yeah, everybody's trying to get that shot to light the spin. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the meta. All right, there we go. There now Got rip it. it. Can you rip it on the fly? Nice. Yeah. He's excited. Yeah. I like watching Mark Reserve play. Yes. Uh, I love commentating with Mark Reserve because <laughs> uh, he's extremely knowledgeable as well. Yes. Very knowledgeable. All right. Just a little, little late. It's back up top. It's very nice. Um, okay. There we go. Got the E lit and ice. Okay, it's going to give you a feedback because those drops are not uh, down. But I feel like that's a pretty safe... I think that's a nice feed, yeah, wasn't that? I would kind of go up there if you're just trying to get <laughs> some control, maybe. Yeah. If you, can, you don't have to go all the way around. Uh, so what's he going to do? Post pass, chats? Yeah, post pass. Yeah, pass, post pass. It's the safest that we saw earlier today. Yeah, he's counting it up. Count that spinner. Already at 275. See, he's gonna dial in that spinner. A little late, but he's getting He'll some. He'll get it though. He's, yeah, he's getting some good uh, rebounds off the pops, back to control. Okay, close pass. Okay. 
Am I too quiet? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's is what that? is wrong, Boob. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Boob, he just didn't <laughs> stick it right in there. I tell everybody. You know what it was? I think I was talking outside of, uh, oh. and then I moved it away. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully you can hear me a little bit, but uh, hopefully this is better. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. 320. Yeah, good ball. Uh, the scores, again, uh, close to a million were top. Right, that's what we saw. Line, and, so, um, and it's a three ball, uh, right? Exactly. <laughs> Chomp right on that on that bench. That's what I say. Yeah. That's what I tell people. Chomp on that thing. <laughs> Eat the, oh, oh no. All right, Bob. Ooh. So three or five. Three or five ball. Three ball. Okay. Three ball, yeah. Spinner isn't on a time. I knew that, but you know, just set up my guests. Yes, exactly. Chat, chat, chat. So yes, the spinner is not on a timer. So once you get it lit, you are set and you just have to uh, have some endurance and get the spinner all day. So let it dead bounce. Okay, well. There, okay, no, but he lit the spinner. Yes, beautiful. Okay, he's a little oh early. No. I think he hit the left post, if I remember, and then that just was a bad round. He knew what to do there. Okay, Wesley. All very talented players, but it doesn't matter sometimes when the pin has just <laughs> some feeds that are brutal. Uh, but that's why it's in the classics, man. <laughs> I like put my arm up so yes. you can put your arm behind me and if you need to be relaxed just relax we're here for the long haul man it's a long day yes the fight in good condition is, is very nice too uh yes the main finals will start at 5 p.m qualifying ends at four it's going on simultaneously with the uh classics finals uh the whole right side of the room is packed because everybody's putting in their entries um, and trying to move up, move down the, the, the standards. There is a um, A division uh, playoffs, B division, and novice division. Pop that in this C, nice. There you go. Uh, for Wizards. And this is a stern pro circuit event on the Wizards. There you go. There you go. All right, two drop targets are down uh, near the goalie. Oh, he bounced it out of there. Yeah, that was a, that was a close nudge, but yeah, you're right. Sometimes. I do it all the time. Yeah, the, the, the only reason I, I know it because I do it all the time, and when somebody else does it, I can go, well, I've been there, done that. And more often than not, you're going to give yourself a better chance of survival. It, it sucks when you nudge it out, but it, you got to do, do it. You got to do it. It's better than watching it go. <laughs> Which I've done many a time. Oh, yeah. Mark had a really good ball one. Let's see if he could follow that up. Okay, try to get control. Uh oh. oh that nice slap save. That's Take it out. Oh. Sometimes I say, like in basketball, ball don't lie. So if you get a save where it wasn't supposed to be saved, then the yeah. ball comes right back. Yeah. All right, Bob Caldwell uh, had a really good first four cards. I think he put himself in the playoffs uh, like almost immediately. And he was just kind of playing with house money at the end. Trying oh, to get no. I know, Bob. Also, I know. Sorry, Bob. Okay, here comes Preston. So. Looking at the scores, all three, everybody's still in it. Because it just takes two spinner It, it really spinner takes rips. two spinner absolutely. Right, Preston. Chats. That's on the fly. There it there is. There it is. Nice. Okay, good patience. Perfect. Yep. Now. <laughs> good, good catch. catch. A couple for his troubles. Like but you're three. right. I mean, he had a couple there, and he's already at 118, right? There you so go. there it is. Okay, okay. Uh, already had the seat. Not nice. good save. He saw that. That one had a lot of danger written on it. Okay, good catch. Another couple spins. If you don't watch Pinball Mafia on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Central Time, you're making a mistake because you get to watch him and some funny guys yes. and girls because uh, Kelly's great on there. But he plays pinball. Yeah, shout out to Pinball Mafia, fellow TPN members. Um, okay, well, you know what? He put himself in contention, at least right now, for a one. Um, okay. Assuming that Wesley doesn't get 17,000 points here. Uh, very nice shot seeing, so uh, he's waiting to see what Bob does on his ball three. Right now, Mark Reserve guaranteed at least. Oh, no. He had his left flipper up, and it hit the, it bounced. I, I, I'm, I'm so shocked with it yeah. that unfortunately I missed the replay, guys. Um, Someone, if anybody's out there, you can clip it and see what happens. Um, okay, so that's how pinball goes. But what it, 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 it's unlucky. Yeah, so Mark <laughs> is guaranteed a two. Um, 
Preston guaranteed a one. We're seeing right now what Bob, uh, Mark can do to distance himself um, from a potential Bob upset for the four points. Good. Okay. Because it's only 360. Yeah. So he's trying to get it over there to light a spinner. And he said, well, forget it. I'll just go up top, take a few hundred, and see if I can try again. I feel like he, in this position, he's probably got feeling good because he knows he's at least getting two out of this. And that's right. A good, that's a good, uh, but you always want that extra point at the other. Oh, yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, Hockey Jake Gold, for the wild clip. Appreciate nice. That. Oh, my Long God. Line. Let me show you what I just got <laughs> from my beautiful wife, Special ladies and gentlemen. Delivery. Double fist and Diet Cokes. <laughs> nice. And she got me ice. Oh, that's even, that's even better. You want, some, you want this ice? I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm my good. gosh. I'll be good for a while. <laughs> I had my Diet Coke this morning. I think this is a 10 Diet Coke day. Oh, I At so. least. <laughs> it might be a case. Aspartame overload. <laughs> All right. So he is trying to get that chest. Oh, uh, well, but it's okay. He's sitting at 394. Now he's just got to survive Bob. Bob looking to avoid the zero. Absolutely. Currently at um, 30,000, he needs to pass 211, 180 away. Okay, get some more. Let it dead bounce. Okay. Thank you, HDA. I am. I'm fired up. All right. Lit in lane on left, right, left. Oh, get the ball. It's gonna go up there. <laughs> All right. He needs to get control yeah. because that's not worth anything, Bob. Let's see. Okay. okay, so Wesley's going to get one point. Bob's going to finish with a zero there. Reserve's going to get his four, and Preston comes in cold and gets two. That is so crazy. That ball free for Preston, I, he, there's a lot of luck in pinball as well, and he just got some uh, great fortune in getting that two. Let's see where the other rig is while we're waiting. Yeah. And I think it's still on Mars Trek, Mars Trek and I don't think anyone's on it. Okay. Oh, um, wait a minute. Oh, no, we are. Can anyone identify who that is for yes, me? Yes, go to, um, uh, that is going to be Jeff uh, Jeff Davis, yes. Okay. Uh, I think they part of Yegpin. Yes, yeah, so we got Jeff, Andrew, a great player. I love watching Andrew play. Jack Revenue and Robert Byers on bonus pinball, or second rig. Excuse yeah, no, pinball. this is our pop-in rig, yeah. and it's really great. I, I, you know, no dead air here at the wormhole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so right now it looks like uh, this is a five-ball game. And I can't see the ball number. It's on the bottom left. That's okay. We'll figure it out once. Oh, we they do. said that's Derek Thompson. Oh, Derek Thompson. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeff or Derek Thompson? Oh, I apologize. 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 From Yagpin. Sorry. So, do I have the right group up? No, that's okay. Derek Thompson from Yagpin. So that. That group. There we go. Okay. Ben Clement, Garrett Chan, Albert Newman, and Derek Thompson. We'll Thank get you. it. Yeah, we'll get it. As long as Chad is patient, <laughs> yes. we'll get it. We'll get it. Hey, I'm rocking the Yegpin uh, hoodie, so I wanted to give them a shot, a proper shot. I knew was, he was involved. I just didn't know it was As there. long as you're patient with me and Hadi, yeah. it's going to be okay because we're going to yeah. move from rigs, and we're going to get you going. <laughs> but Chad is here to help Rachel. Thank you so much. Love Rachel Ristow. Oh, I love Dude. Rachel. All right, so Mars Trek. Uh, I have a lot of experience. I've played this four times in uh, experience with it during qualifying. 500,000 and above was a really good score. Um, the way it works is you have your bonus in the middle and lighting E and K will give you double bonus. That saucer up top will feed the right flipper to the left and also advance your bonus. Your right horseshoe spinner, really? two spinners on the right side, the left and a right. If you hit the right spinner, it'll advance your bonus. And in the middle of those two spinners, you'll see a saucer for a collect. What you want to do is hit the E and the K, either through luck on an in lane, but the center stand-up target will light after a certain number of switch hits, I believe. Okay, see, Garrett just advances bonus. Um, and, and we're on ball four here. Okay. Now, what are we on? Can't, I think it's on the bottom left. Oh, okay, maybe. I see it. Yeah, players on the, on the right, and I think they put it on the left. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, but the saucer on the right side collects your bonus. If you have double bonus lit, you don't want to collect it because it wastes that double bonus and resets your bonus. So right now, um, it looks like, okay. Oh, well, Parkson, Parksonian, thank you so much. That means so much to me. <laughs> I work, and to my beautiful wife who just brought me the Diet Coast, because I'm always saying, hey, I got to do it for the stream. So thank you so much for saying that it's looking good. I really, really, really appreciate if it. If you love this action, please give Wormhole a follow if you aren't already. If you have an Amazon Prime sub, uh, you know, maybe drop it. It's free, and you get some emotes and ad-free viewing. 
And uh, this uh, doesn't happen. Pinball streaming is not an easy thing, as every streamer knows. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so he got a rebound. So got White spinner. You have to get around the horseshoe to advance your bonus, though. So his K target is lit in the center. Um, you want to get that uh, to get part of your double bonus. Um, okay, he got the E. So the K is now lit. It, oh, get it. Oh, it's gone. Um, so now it's back on oh. the end lane. Yep, it's hard. It, 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 your best shot is to get the, K, the one of those targets to be lit. Backhanded if you can, and then you've got your double bonus, and then you just live up top through the left orbit all day. It's an earlier shot on the right flipper. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, Derek, right now, uh, he's at 136. Uh, currently, Albert is in the lead at 312. Garrett in third with 253, and Ben with 303 in second. Okay. You can also live up top uh, through the left orbit. The, oh, yeah. It is a pretty safe feed or shot um, if you can hit that saucer because it'll always bounce through the left spinner on the right side and then feed your left flip. Okay. Um, your rollover lanes are insanely dangerous. If it rolls through those R or T up on the top right, you have to hit the pin because, like right now, it would roll, it would slow roll and go to the left out lane, kind of like the Godzilla loop, uh, half loop. Oh, okay. It, it's such a dangerous feed. So. Um, he got lucky there. He had it wasn't, it wasn't really hauling. Yeah, if it's hauling, you gotta you gotta hit the <laughs> pin. You gotta. All right. Oh boy. These in lanes are not friendly. If you can get down one of them, count your blessings, because you're also halfway through your uh, double bonus qualification. All right. So again, Garrett going up. Uh, Pop and rig is great. Uh, Gaming with. Raiden. Do you have it as a second scene? Yes, it is a separate scene. Yeah, I just use the second scene, and then I have it the re uh, on the stream deck, and um, it's a, an expensive pop-in <laughs> rig, but it's really cool. Thank you so much. All right, so gaming. your left side, the, 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 feed, the rebounds off the left side are, are pretty nice. You're not, not going to get a lot of straight down the middle. A lot of that. Oh, he tilted. He tilted, and yeah. look at that face. It, I almost want to clip that face. It's so freaking finicky. Uh, I've seen people, I think the safest way is the forward nudge because I've seen a lot of slap saves and they've been getting tilted. Unfortunately, uh, we don't know what ball that is, yeah. so we really can't tell if that was it. Is that it for him? Yeah, we may want to zoom out on that score game. If we yeah, we're going to have to. You, I hate to bother them while they're playing. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can see it right now. Oh, ball five. That was ball five. Okay, that's why right That's why his yeah. face was so sad. Yeah, so he <laughs> is going to take a potential zero yeah. if Derek doesn't pass him. Uh, we just started quarterfinals, Rachel. Uh, Rachel, we got all day. Yeah, the Pace yourself, Rach. General, yeah, got the shots hasn't been as reliable. I know people were trying it, but I saw a lot of people fail. So they've been going through the left. See how he post pass? He's trying to go back up top and advance his bonus through that top saucer. Um, and then hopefully see, get See, yeah. we have just seen death over there. The out, yeah, right but out. Albert, oh no, three, oh. six, four, nine, zero, zero for the four points so far. Oh. That's <sighs> tough. And that's why it, it, every point counts on this one. Again, anything over 500,000 was great during qualifying. Okay. Um, so this is about where everybody ended up, twos to threes. I got to run some it errands. Is general, you yeah, got, got all day, Rachel. But the, the shots wasn't as reliable for people. That's why they're not doing it as much. Um, they're trying to go up top and get a uh, backhand to stand up when it's lit, or because uh, uh, the backhand has been uh, more reliably safe. I understand what you're saying, but the way it's been playing hasn't been that way. Uh, the shots has not been as reliable as backhanding the E or K target when it's lit. Um, You'll see me move around, yeah. and I just at least I'm on this copy. I'd see there, your your left orbit shot is ve a little early. Oh, oh Derek. Derek. Um, but he got 269. So he takes Garrett. the warrant. So Garrett gets the zero. zero. Um, ben, with a three, less than three, uh, no, three, 3,600. Uh, excuse me, less than 3,000 point, four point win. Um, a little bit of an upset in round yeah. in the first uh, uh, game. Uh, ben with four points, Garrett with zero. Albert with two, Derek with one. And they will uh, update that for us. And uh, let's see. I think rig one is still is Eric Stone. So we got a pop in on rig one on Barracora. Oh, 
Oh, General Yagoff, I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry. I wish I would have uh, uh, you seen me say hi. I've always I would love to meet you. Uh, but yeah, the, the qualifying, I'm telling you, I, I, when I was doing scorekeeping, I was talking to everybody and like, they were saying the shots was not as reliable. Now I think what's happening, I think what's happening here is Mark Mazur, Preston Monka, Wesley Johnson, Bob Caldwell are coming to Barracora. Gotcha. So what we did is we moved our rig to Barracora so we can watch this group and then we're going to stay here. There you go. You All guys, right? You guys get a lot of extra. You wanted more people to watch? We got them. There you go. You know, I, when you can get a group with yeah. a rig mover, ah. Uh, I just, all the ads that it comes off my chest and I don't have to worry about it. And I get this, exactly. this is so great. And so. who you're watching right now, Michael Bradley. You saw his younger son, uh, Miles Bradley, uh, in the first round of uh, Classics. He was a the 25th player. Uh, he got in, a couple people didn't show up for Classics uh, finals. So uh, Miles had a chance to get in, as well as Jordan Clark. And now you've got uh, Dad, Michael Bradley, great player, got the great family. And so he is now, oh, nice save. So what he did is he started the two ball multi ball Correct. by hitting down B A R R. Yes. And that is the left drops there. And you have to hit those in order in order to qualify your saucer lock on the top left. And so the right hand targets, spelling Akora, Akora. are your, and he, he got his up upper, top. Yes, it, it wasn't, unfortunately, it wasn't lift for lock, but he did get some points for it. And now he is. Okay. Needs the A now, which is a tough shot. It is. It's the very it's tip of right the It's right at the tip. I found it yeah. with my first shot, and I was like, okay, I never have to hit this again. <laughs> um. All right, ball three. He needs a hundred thousand to pass first place. First player, Eric. He's got two X on his bonus. The nice bounce. nudge. Okay, so it's just a, it. it is a tip. I mean, yeah. it, it's a tip. So I can't, did he get it? Did he get it? No, I can't. Tell. I don't think he got it. It's not the locks. Not no, I, it's still up. Okay, uh, his little uh, loop nice. through the horseshoe he, on the oh. nice job. So still needs to drop down the B and the A uh, if he wants to light that lock, and he needs the A of a Cora to light the uh, really another a ball save up top. He really. should really live up top right now because he is so close to Eric. Oh, he's. You wanna, I think he's gonna. Yeah, because you want to advance your uh, maybe get an advance bonus up there, but also increase your. Okay. okay. You got the you got the B A R. So now his left lock is lit. Uh, yeah, this was it. <laughs> this is the same one. This was the one on. Uh, and he has Eric okay. now. He's got Eric now. Maybe he'll get a friendly rebound on the pop to the lock. Yeah, so he's got Eric. Uh, he's now. Oh, he got, he got the A lit. Okay, he's got both locks. He's chasing. What do you want to do here? I would go left lock. I would try to. Yep. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Exactly. That's exactly what I would have done. Now, plunge, get it on the left flipper, and go for that uh, third lock, uh, the second lock on the left, on the top. Uh, See, yeah, and the feed from that saucer is un it's brutal. But if you're in multi ball, at least you get a, a ball to play sure. and just try it again because he did exactly what he wanted to do. All right, rinse and repeat BAR bar that's what you want. When people say, Hey, what do you do on Barracor? I go bar. Yes. All right, exactly. <laughs> if you're not, if, I mean, if for me, <laughs> that's all it is. That's 2000 in the world. I go bar, <laughs> and he can get a re the um, left. Uh, right orbit shot is pretty reliable, so I was hoping he would go up there to, to get his advance bonus. Okay, there you go. He's still at 3x. He's got his one and he's moving the he's moving the roll over lights now. All right, just a double R left, okay. and then he could skim it. If you can. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, nice. one left. Okay, nice spinner rip. Only getting a thousand. Yeah, there. but Yargoff, you're much better than me, so you can do that. Yeah, the safety oh. is a good trip, but you know what? He's gonna have a decent bonus here. Uh, let's see what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred thousand right there. And so now Dan has to catch him at seven sixty-two. So he's a little under three hundred thousand, about two hundred sixty or so. Um, Daniel really has to have a good ball here. Uh, you, this is a game that plays. Well, you just have to free ball. Free ball. Um, but you have to you have to get under control, okay? So he has his core lit. This is a, you know, if, you know, if you're not familiar with this. Post pass? Yes, get the safety no, ball. No, no, no. Watch the, the lights went off. Please stay away from the switches. This is up players. Uh, yeah, there you go. Please, please watch those switches. What happens is people lean on it. Yeah, and that's the problem. And it, it messes players up sometimes. It's an accident. Nobody's fault. Nobody realizes it. But. 
Yes, there we go. Okay, you got two more there. Bounce. Oh, Ooh. that's how that bounce. Okay. Catch. Okay, go okay, back here up it is. to the right. Now get up Big. top. Nice. He got it. Because he had, he had momentum from it coming on the fly. Uh, so he's got a safety ball. Now get that RR. Absolutely. Let it bounce. Okay. Got the A. Yes, very animated. Um, Saw him at Plays great. That uh, lock did not take up top. No. Oh, no, he's, he's moving away. He doesn't right, know. He Play doesn't you. know. He doesn't know. Oh, no, no. You gotta come back. Oh, no. You gotta come back. Never leave the pin until you see it move. Never leave. Oh, that hurts my feelings for him. Because he, he only had one more drop We're on the left hand side. Right. Like that side. Oh, Daniel. Well, you we've know all what? been there. I, I've, I've walked How away do you from, learn? You, you got to experience. <laughs> I've walked away from Laz's, and, uh, you know, um, it's it's a learning process. Yeah, Berg, yeah, Berg. I, I mean, come on. He'll, he'll learn. He'll learn. And he'll go back and watch us and go. Once it happens to you once, you never let you know, it happen again. I do it. I did it on Doctor Who a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And especially if it has zipper flippers, because yeah. it'll come up back, right back up. Yeah. All right, Dan, you need less than 300. And we zipper. saw that last year with Phil Grimaldi in the Wizards finals. Yes. So, okay, sorry. You're good. Let's move on. Yeah, there it is. Phil walking away from two Lazarus in a row last year. That's a famous clip, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, right dead bounce. Okay, that's okay. Right back to the horseshoe. Get your, okay, build that up. Is that 2X? Berg that's knows me. That feed is brutal. Okay. okay. He has a 2x right now. Looks like about 12,000 in bonus. Um, 24, so he's at 8. Oh, oh no. son of a god. Now, Michael with the great ball free to get himself the four, especially against a player like Eric Stone, Daniel, and Daniel. But that is I'm not saying he's not a good player. I'm just saying it just goes to show you in these classics, one ball can make your whole game. Yeah. If you have ads, um, it's just part of the settings. Uh, you could always use your Amazon Prime sub. I see you've got the profile picture there. Uh, you probably can't hear me, but you can use it. We shouldn't sub. have ads in the middle of the stream. Uh, the way Twitch does it, it's just how the general settings are. I, I put them at the lowest uh, intervals possible, and people would I still I did, too. Get, yeah, it's just that's how Twitch is right now. Oh, I'm uh, sorry about that. Uh, you'll maybe you'll pay me $5, <laughs> and I apologize. So but if you get that free Amazon sub, you don't have to worry about it anymore I'm going to repeat that spiel in about um, 30 seconds just so, because I know they're probably going through ads. Uh, yeah, so you can set pre-roll. What up, Otta Flocka? Good to see you. I uh, hope you're doing well. I had so an awesome time playing with you in Arizona. Go ahead. That was an interesting Barracor. Now, we're staying on Barracor with our premier group. Uh, that was a good pop in there. Yes. Um, hi, Hope Love. Thank you. If you're following us, we are on the quarterfinals of the Classics at uh, Classic Finals at TPF. I'm Jamie Virtual. I'm Hottie, Frisco Pinball. Welcome, and everybody. Let's go. Back caves getting <laughs> upset. D don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's game one. And with guys. a player like Stone, you know he's going to uh, do well. He's, he's obviously it's just he's game one. Um, we will try to get Ben Clement. We have a pop in stream. Uh, we were just on him. That's our premier. Is that our premier group with Ben? No, excuse me. Our premier yeah. group is going to be yes. Mark Mazur, Preston Makla, Wesley Johnson, we Bob Caldwell. We were just on Ben on pop in group. So if we can get him there, uh, we have two rigs. Yeah. Or they have two rigs, excuse me. And we are. Uh, well, you're part of we today, <laughs> brother. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, just so that you know, we do have two rigs. We're, we're going to be following it like it is a golf tournament. We're going to be doing our feature group uh, for the, for each particular round and popping groups. And obviously, when we get to the semis, we won't need to worry about that. We'll have perfect. And then we'll be fooling around with the uh, the two-rig system here. Look at that two-rig, guys. I fucking love it. I, 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 I just, I, it's such a mess. I, like, I have one rig just like this, and I'm like, I don't even need two rigs, but I'm like, I just got to get the second know, rig. I know, dude. It's going to be great. So uh, it's just... Everything could go wrong. So well, the problem with two rigs is now there's twice as many things that go wrong. And yes, you know, yeah. and body, so. interference, and you, you, you hope one doesn't, like, fritz out on you. Yeah. Do the old one-two switcheroo. So here's a TPF room cam. Uh, it's get pretty packed. Next, uh, I'm Jamie Birchall, Hottie. Uh, there's our room cam. Uh, to the right, you can see everyone really practicing for vintage and and, and Yes, uh, so we've got qualifying for Wizards goes until 4 p.m. today. Every, there are four pins or a group of pins in each bank modern vintage and classic that's what you're seeing right now on the end of the room are the classics vintage is in the middle and moderns are in front of us everybody's trying to get their last entries before the 4 p.m uh deadline uh then wizards finals starts at five there's an a b and novice playoffs for uh three groups 
And so everybody's trying to get uh, advanced and, you know, just do as best you can. Um, what am I trying to do? Here's the TPF schedule. Let's throw yes, this up perfect. here again. And I'll throw this throughout the day, guys and girls. Uh, but here we are. We're in the Classics Finals, which will take us to about four. And then we'll have a little bit of a break for the Wizards Finals um, to go there. Here's our bank of games that you're going to be watching and seeing here today. Um, General Yagov, I don't know if partners have more control of their ads. I'm almost assuming they do. Um, a scene with both pins displayed. The rig with Barracora is upside down. Oh, thank you for letting us know. I didn't even see that yet. Um, oh. It might just be. Let's just take a look. We can Let's do a full quick one. Yeah. Let's fool with it. Thank you, Zexy. Appreciate that. Oh, it is upside down. Ah, thank you. Yeah, so let's do a 180 on that source That's and lock easy. it up. That's <laughs> easy to do. Oh, you're, uh, you were not on the right source. So go to uh, click on click on oh. these. Yeah, there. yeah, click through. Yeah, you got it. There you go. That's the one. There you go. And then lock it in. <laughs> All right, where do we want to go? We're going to go right there. Perfect. That's almost too much pinball, guys. <laughs> yeah, but I, we'll save that for later. We'll we save it for later. We're going to tease you with the two rigs. We don't want to fire off, off all your synapses. And, uh, <laughs> you know, let's, we'll keep you, keep you guys calm. Bro. All right, here comes Mark. We saw Mark had a really good ball. Oh, so they're practicing. He wants to see where am I tilting? Where am I going yes. here? This is one of the things, if you watch these big major tournaments, that we it's just, smart. We, we just saw it at D82 Nationals and Pin Masters. Take your 30 seconds of practice. See if the forward nudge is more of a tilt or a side nudge. You see where the feeds are. You get 30 to 60 seconds. Use it. Definitely use it. See, can I find this spinner? I know I need to yeah. find this spinner. Can I find it? Where is the shot for the double wall? See if you can spin, skip that. I don't that. think they're practicing, dude. No, are they not? No, I don't see a player for them. I think they, I think they are. Practicing. Oh, they are. Forcing, they're look pointed. at you. <laughs> yeah, I watch a lot of pinball, so now I know. You what to watch look for. a lot of pinball. I <laughs> commentate a lot, a lot of pinball, <laughs> and I'm screwing this up. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Like, like Chat's going to help us. Yes. Lesson learned. All right. Okay. Found, That's his, found his right orbit. Uh, Do you want to go to rig two while they're practicing? Sure, See what's not? going on over here? All right. Nothing yet. Looks like they are on. Far out. Far Who's on out. far out? Ben Clement, Albert, Derek, and Garrett. Okay, so they're not ready for prime time yet. And we'll go back to Barracora. I wish, you know, this is only for the streamers uh, here, but wouldn't it be cool if your Windows capture can flow from each scene? Oh, yeah, that'd be uh, OBS. Shout out to the open source project. It's great. There's just the ability to do this. But man, there's just some features that I'm like, please put this in. So I got here this morning, everyone, while we're waiting for them just to practice. I got here this morning early and uh, setting up. It takes me about an hour to set up just to make sure it was perfect. And of course it wasn't because we had someone touch her things and it happens. Yeah. Um, but one of the things I got to see is the nerves in the hall. People are, uh, you know, it, it's nerve wracking. This is a sport. W whether you th whether you think it is or not, it really is. It is yeah. a, it, it, the, the wherewithal that these guys have to pull themselves together in between rounds and go, let's it go. It started at 8.30 yesterday for practice. It ended at midnight. That is uh, 13, excuse me, 15 and a half hours of consistent pinball. I mean, yeah. You have to have endurance, and like Roger Sharp calling a shot and saving pinball, it's a skill. There are things you have to be good at. Um, it's not all luck. That's why it's not game anyway. It's a three day classic. Here it right, goes. Here we go. Ball one, Mark Reserve, eyeing the landscape, figuring out, surveying what he wants to do. Calm yourself down. I do that too. Tell this you. is our feature group, Mark Reserve. This, this is uh, game two. We saw Mark take uh, the first one. And we, uh, yes, we did just watch. But it'll be interesting to see what Mark does in Barracora. What's his, because he wasn't in Abilene. So he hasn't flipped this one yeah. particularly. Ooh, okay, so again, ski. scores of about 1 million and above were the top, top of the top of the charts for qualifying. He's got it on his left. I would maybe try to hit the A. Uh, okay, yeah, he's just going for it. Um, and, you know, he's trying to, here we go, okay. Get your one, two, three. Smart. Just missed that just one. Missed it. Yeah. Okay, beautiful ski pass. The feed from the in lane is very fast. Uh, it's playing quick. 
Okay, got his egg. Okay, there. Oh, God, this was the issue. All right, now go for your B. A. Tip of the flipper on the right, get your B. And then you might also be able to double knock the A. What is he? Well, I don't know. Is he trying to post pass? So he gets, oh, he wants the safety lock. That's what it is. He's going for a Torah because he's trying to lock that top. Uh oh, nice save. Uh, gotcha, I see what he's doing. Okay, so he is going for the safe zone. Nice slap save and dig. So he's a Cora all day. It looks like, yeah. Oh, my God. He's going to – I would flip the left flipper, see if you can get it to come down. Okay. Oh, that's, that works too. A little, little micro. Yeah, a little micro flip. Oh, uh, that was great balance. Okay. Let's try a post pass. I would seriously get the B on your first ball. That way at least it's down. Something is down because it does carry over. Uh, the drop targets that you earn, uh, ball to ball. Okay, good post pass. What's a pinball? Uh, Just a little. It, yeah. Good right, dead see. bounce. Okay. That's two of the five. Yeah, but he hit those and they didn't fall, they didn't stay down. Uh, he hit it out of out of, out of order. order. Yeah, so his, you have to hit him in order. So oh, there's the error. So You're now, right. now he, and the great thing is if he drains, which I'm glad he did it, he got and it. There is. And there is his sa safety lock. So now I like calling it safety lock because it, it really it explains really it perfectly. Exactly. I don't if even you're care not about the three balls. No, no, no. I'm it's two ball with the safety lock. No one's gonna. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I. Or at least yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, but he set himself up. He's got his ACR up. He tilted. Oh, he moved, uh, yeah, oh he moved. well, I, I, one finger, finger salute. No worries. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the, that is the symbol of the uh, worldwide sim international symbol for pinball players. He said, I'm salute. number one, and uh, we're going from there. My yeah, I wouldn't have. Uh, he moved it a little extra at the end. Definitely would have. Uh, would have let it settle. Uh, you don't want to lose your bonus, especially on these games. You don't want to lose those bonuses. But only ball one. And he's a great player. He knows what he's doing. Look what I brought. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll I have, have to get those on the stream yeah. <laughs> tonight. We'll get those on the stream later, Howdy. That's pretty cool. You got to charge them? Uh, I charged them before, but they only last a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, still very early. Oh, there's going to be a lot of rage. Uh, I expect multiple, multiple rage moments. And, and well, well, there's a lot of pressure, sold, right? Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. A lot of whoppers, a lot of money. You know, I, I focus right now for me. My big, my biggest love is competitive pinball. Oh. And I just want to get better as far as my rank goes. So I totally understand it. Uh, missed opportunities will haunt you, but you know, move on and go to the next turn. All right. Wesley got unlucky in in, yeah. in the first game. Uh, almost caught Preston, but didn't. But right. so Wesley, he knows this pin. Preston we have one at the Wormhole. We have, you know, he's played at Abilene. He knows what he needs to do. Preston's had a couple unlucky ball yeah, he has. somehow. I've got a. Kind of hoping the pinball gods treat him better. Okay, so he is going short for Interesting. I, uh, safe feet to the left flipper and go for the, yep, you know, go for the Cora. Right. And then, of course, it's now up in nowhere land. Yeah. You know. okay, watch that feet. Good catch. catch. Who needs luck? Wesley has his whole family here, and we, oh, nice. we love them. That's awesome. I'm so glad he came and he got in. And I'll see him at Pinburg. We were talking about it last night. We both got in. Um, so it's going to be great. Well, remind me about Pinburg because the Wormhole has a, uh, a Pinburg Golden satellite. Ticket yes. Satellite Tournament. Oh, nice. You guys got one. Yeah, awesome. we did. So uh, I'll talk about that later. I got a little slide for that. There's the C. Okay. Three more on the right. Um, I can't see he has any on the left. No, he doesn't. Okay. Yes, Hope. Of course. Oh, of course we are. Uh, Aaron's going to take the reins on that. And I think uh, Melissa from Nashville is also going to be on. Uh, and That's awesome. So, yeah, we're definitely streaming that at noon. If uh, I see uh, Stern's Elizabeth Giesky, I'll see if she, uh, I'm going to ask her if she, can, uh, if she wants to comment. I know she's here. This Jaws just released, and she's a main coder on it. Oh, that That'd would be cool. cool. Yeah. Um, uh, she's a great, great player from Kentucky, and now working at Stern Pinball. Uh, if you watch the Jaws live stream from Stern, you saw her blow it up, and yeah, it'd be cool to have her. I think she was up. also on the Stern podcast yes. when they released Jaws. Yeah, they do that with all the... And the Stern Insider 
yes. podcast, and it's outstanding. Oh, Give yeah. that a listen. Yeah. I saw Brian Eddy here yesterday. Uh, yeah, I got to see him. Shout out to him and Dwight for giving me my dream team of Venom. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I didn't see him. Tim saw him, and he was in the elevator, and Tim didn't know what to do. So <laughs> Tim goes, uh, right as the door was closed, and he goes, I love you, Tim. <laughs> that's what I told. I fan girl, though. I'm not going to lie. But no, that's okay. I, I had to think it just, you know, I never thought a Venom pin would exist. All right, so. Um, A and C down. Yeah, Bob is going up. Uh, might have seen Bob in, in disc. He was in the uh, classics. Oh no, excuse me, the target match play playoffs. There's an O. Okay, watch that feed. Beautiful. Yes, feed that. I swear, I feel like that's such a good. Um, okay, uh, lock is lit. Spelled the A R. Oh, get a rebound. Nope. Okay, go for it. Yes. There it is. Great, Great shot. shot. Give yourself a chance to get that extra ball in play. Even if the ball feeds from the left saucer brutally, at least you've got something there. Okay, nice. And All right, now, now one more A. Work towards your other lock. Good air defense. Bob with a really good start here. Um, let's see what he's, okay. He's got about 11,000. Now, there it is. Okay. All right, what do you want to do here? Hit that A? I would go for the um, the A for sure, but he is building up uh, his value in the center. Okay. I think that's what he's doing. Maybe he was just missing early. Um, oh, he got it on the rebound. Oh, no, he got uh, dropped, but it, okay, it's gone. <laughs> I thought he got it. I saw some flashing lights, but it's not lit up there. Okay. Get your five. Perfect. You're good. So does he have to start again now? He's got to start again for whatever's uh, for his VAR. So his Akora, he doesn't have any down in order. He had okay because he had. Maybe he hit the bonus up top and that resets it. So he might have collected his bonus. What's the score? At 155. Yeah. I, I would. Uh, Bobby Classics ready to match. What's up, TJD? Welcome to Wormhole and TPF. Uh, I don't know if you collect the top of the hit it and that resets the four targets. Maybe someone in chat knows. Um, okay, but he's still playing long. Yeah. And uh, that's all you can ask for. As you see, if you hit the targets out of order on the left or right, they reset until you hit the right one. So you just got the A. You're going for oh, you got his A there on the left. And now he just needs beautiful. All right. Beautiful skim and the reject was actually a great feed back to the left flipper so now can you backhand uh the left scoop i have not seen it done successfully I don't either know have it, i i haven't i don't think the angle is right but i'm sure a talented player could uh, uh fit it up there oh come on get the pop rebound right there yeah oh that's okay his lock is ready great ball good ball one yes he had um 406, 390. 4x on his built up values. He had a 2x on the multiplier uh, bonus, so he's at 406. A one and a half was a really good score. One and a half million was a really decent score during qualifying on this. So, um, uh, like the top scores were like 5 million, but you know, those are, those are players that have great ball control and skill and can hit every shot and uh, yeah. very accurate. So, um, yes, can't stop Bob. Only hope to contain him. Oh, that's what you say, Bobby Classic. Gotcha. Okay, I figured it out. That's a good nickname, Bobby Classic. <laughs> it is a good nickname. <laughs> All right, so again, Mark is with four, Preston with two, Wesley with one, Bob with zero. Bob right now leading the pack after ball one. Would really love a four to put himself back into contention. Um, you can come back from a zero, but it's very tough. Mark hoping for a four, so he automatically advances to the semifinals. We are in quarterfinal action. Good catch. I'm going to give you a quick update on the rest of the players. Um, so Michael Bradley in group one in lead with four. Daniel with two. Eric Stone with one. I am not on Harlem. I don't have the other stream on Harlem. Harlem right now, uh, Jeff Davis took a four. Robert Byers took a one. Jack Redmond took a zero. Andrew Foster took a two. Oh, wow. Um, uh, so currently, Harlem is the third game for this group. Uh, Harlem right now has Eric Stone and all them on it. You can't see it right now, but it looks like they are either just about done, and we'll get the update soon, uh, because I see them sitting around in force flashing. Uh, but let's go back to this game. Mark Reserve in control, 173. He needs to find that spinner yeah. so that he can lock his safety, right? He 
Um, so the safety will be on that core target. That's so right. Yeah, no, no, you're it's right. already excuse lit. Me, excuse, excuse me, you're right. It's already lit, so you want to hit it on the fly, get it up top. So he's got it there. That bounce, let's see if he goes for it. Yeah, oh, that was almost it's clean. It's a little early. You are exactly right. He's going for control on the left flipper. Now he's got both left. Mm -hmm. And so. What do you do? He's at a cradle, so I don't know if it would have enough momentum to hit the top. Um, you know, lock your ball. You got a shot at it, to be honest. Oh, he already has the upper lock. Okay, sorry. Oh, I didn't okay. See that. Okay, so yeah, so now he wants to get that other one. Sorry, thank you for telling us that, bro. Um, all right. What's he going for here? He's going for the horseshoe? Okay, a couple spinner rips. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, he's building up his center values. Okay, so he's going for that horseshoe. I think it's worth 40. Okay, um, if I see the answer. Oh, no, I can't tell because it's not good. Having a good ball, though. Yeah. Very patient is what he's doing. He scores his target bonus, so I think he just collected what he had in the middle. Okay, so he's building up that middle value and then going through the um, oh. that right portion. But, but he's got a safety. And that's why he's doing it, because he has a safety ball ready for um, deployment. So let's get a nice little tip over. So now is he going to go back to the safety ball strat? Let's see. Okay. What do you want for lunch? Oh, well, I don't even know yet. I'm, it's I'm, noon, I'm, dude. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been here three hours. Holy cow. I'm like, I gotta get my entries in. What's go this? get your entries no, no, in. What's this, what's this round? You wanna do it after this round? Uh, well, no, after quarterfinals. Okay. All right, yeah, after, after the After quarterfinals, yeah. okay. I'll get, the queues aren't as long as yesterday, and I only have 12 entries left, so in four hours, I should be able to get everything. Okay, left. good. Thank you, appreciate it. No, of course. I um, will need someone for the semis. I will be happy if you need somebody. Just, uh, no, 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 you it. need to qualify. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if I'm done, if you need If you're done, you come on back. <laughs> Give me a look. I'll tell you yes or no. Yes. All right, Mark, playing very controlled, smart. He needs his R and A left on a Cora. Okay, nice. Just missed it a little early. Good catch. Ski over. Yeah. All right. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Four, five, six. Um, I forgot which one builds the value for the left saucer. I think it might be one, two, three. Got his R. Yeah. And he's got. And he lit it up. Oh, he got R and A at the same time. So now he's got to get to that left flip. Trying to post pass here. Nice. Big shot. Here. All the way through. Oh. But you need a little more momentum. From a cradle, it's not always easy. Can you do it from a cradle? You can, but it's got to be like perfect. Ski here. Yeah. Because you need a little speed because it's so, it's not, the, the way it's set up is you got to have a, a little more power than from a cradle. Right, 40,000 lit on that stand up up top. 385, ball two, Mark Reserve, quarterfinals, classic final. Trying to get that over. It's a it's a weird post pass. There it oh no, see? Yeah, Mark, I'm lucky. But a great ball to put himself in contention for ball three. 400,000, as we saw, was a, a good, solid ball. Preston hoping for some better luck. Uh, two house balls on ball one for both, both uh, games. Yeah, both games. So let's see if he can do something here. Blowing up a lot of games here, Preston. He was just destroying some of these scores. Well, he can do that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right, he's going for that B. Little early. Nice move. Okay, let it settle. This is nice. I normally I'm, I sit here at home, and so I uh, 
I use this screen, but I like this bigger screen right here. For LKC Pinball, <laughs> welcome. Player four is 406390. Uh, 406390. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, it's nice to sit on the rest of the time. It's nice. Switch it out. Chill out here. <laughs> it's like Got my arm up. Switching places in bed. You're like, oh, I'm going to sit on the side. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm always on the side. <laughs> All right, Preston, one more, double R. Nice patience. There he is, bounce. got it. Okay, so I bet he goes for the block. Um, just because he had a, a ball one that wasn't was probably what he wanted. Okay, let's see. Can I get picked up from top so we can get a rebound? He's got the A. Let's see if he goes for the safety ball. I would go for the line. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get it. Just get your, get it under control now. Yes, 406, 390. That's player four score. Uh, there we go. Four oh six three nine. Ugh. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, he was going for the <laughs> Oh, I was gonna replay it and I pressed the wrong button. Darn it. I was gonna show it anyway. Wesley. Alright. Wesley, one thirty nine, four four, eight or zero. 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 You're fading. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you want some it, diet? You know this is yours, dude. It, it lasted. Oh, you, you're gonna be held. It. it lasted so long last night. I got home at like 1:30, and then got up at like you know seven uh, to make sure I got here on time. Yeah, I just give myself enough time to shower. I pulled the ripcord at 11:30 yeah. last night at the wormhole booth. All right, going for the bar. Okay. Okay. Three down on the right. Two left, get a lucky, uh, get a rebound. You can totally get a rebound. So R-A for a safety. Nope, just missed it. A little early. That's coming. Oh, nice. That looked dangerous. Good slap safe from the right. Get it back to the left with him. He knows what he has to do. Shoot the R. Oh, he's just a little. Yeah, a little early. A little early. Go for your other side. I, I agree with that strategy. Go for both. When when you're on this flipper, let's yeah. hit, let's go for that. When Minus we're on this, I mean, if you get a multi ball here, you're already setting yourself up for success. He's just off on it. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Good job using those lanes. Yep. Okay. Got two. Nice little horseshoe. Should be able to drop. Nice catch. And he's Good for three. He's yeah. Do it he's got it. Rip. At 200,000. Just great patience. If you want to know one skill in pinball, patience. Let the Absolutely. Ball learn dead bounces. The new meta is live catching and cat, drop catching, but dead bounces always reliable sometimes. Especially if you can give it to a player. There's the B. So again, you have to hit these in order. Guys. Nice, nice. There's the and AR. Okay, so shot. now we got. Yep. Got his lock ready. Top left saucer. And is there a lot of points in multi-ball? Yes, because if you can get, you know, things lit, advance your multipliers, um, maybe get a spinner lit if you can. And work towards There's the, the R. Yeah, there you go. Definitely just build up value for your bonus. And, and as you hit things, you're obviously going to advance your scores there, too. Trying to go for that. Uh-oh. Nice. All right, it's right on the tip. Right, it's on. hard to let yourself do it. Yes, you got to watch where the ball's at. There you go. There Perfect it shot. is. Oh, he had the right exact angle. There you go. Okay. Had to save it. Good control. There Good. You go. go back up. Because it was running, yep. it could catch that. Yep. Bounce. Okay, catch. Not bad. Go for the lock on the left. Lock on the left. Lock on the left. Okay. Hmm. Okay, he's trying to light his yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the second dropping of the target does. It's going to something. Okay, here's the R now. Double R. He's got 3X on his. There it is. Super. Safety. Yes. Beautiful. He's got 2X on his bonus multiplier. He's at 14K on that. Okay. And he got one, two, three, four, five, six yeah. out. Nice. 
Get it up there. Dead bounce, catch. Okay. Good to not trust that dead bounce. That looked like it might have died if he would have let it go. Let's see if he hits the scoop. It's a little late. He's trying there. Okay. Oh. He's, already, he's, he's got a ball up there already. Yeah. And then that. Nice. It, it, it actually worked out his favor. Didn't have enough speed to get the top lock, but landed in the left rollover. Yeah. And got the friendly pop back. Okay. Let's see what happens with the return feed and nice air defense. It was going straight down the middle and he got, okay, here we go. We are in a three ball. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Our one, first three ball gone. today. One's gone. That's okay. That's okay. He's got some of uh, Akora targets. There's one more. I think, okay, they've reset. The 3X. Resetting. Okay, I gotta figure out what. Uh, Dropping them down while you're in a multiball dose. That'd be interesting to know. <clears throat> We're at 156 people watching. Thank you so much. Tell awesome. your friends. We're here all day. Wormhole Pinball. Uh, TPF Classics right now. And then the fi uh, Classic Finals. And then the Wizards will be this afternoon. And the women tomorrow. Hello, Kim. Oh, oh, nice save. Time. Yeah, just great, great. Uh, flipper skills there. It's not easy to juggle that and uh, uh, go from there. At least 150 here to see Bob. Well, see Bob we'll keep him like, on there. Yeah. I'll make sure. I, is that what you're saying, T TJ? <laughs> if I get it off of Bob, I'm going to lose 150. <laughs> That's not what we want. <laughs> we'll keep it on Bob. No, we'll keep it on Bob. Well, we're following this group. This is our primary group. I, if you're just joining us again, this we have two rigs here. We're very lucky that yeah. we have them, and so we were able to do pop-in groups in between rig moves. And Wesley's bonus is going to be. You're exactly right. It's already at five X on the super, and he's at twenty, uh, maybe thirty, and then he's got the three X as well. Oh, it's going to be nuts. All right. Well, let's. You know, we're on the left flipper. Let's hit a C. When yeah. we're on the right flipper, let's hit our fifteen X. Yes, exactly. Thank you, uh, OTR. I didn't realize they compounded. That's awesome. 15x. So that's 300,000, uh, 20k. But he's past that, I believe. Uh, probably in my math. Right that's okay. We'll learn it. It's uh, really right. nice digs here. Just Let's getting, go B A R R. Let's see if he does the A R. There it is. There's an A. And then when I'm over here, I would like to do a C. <laughs> I mean, this. Well, I'm here. Why not? Why not? I'm here. I like the strategy more than focusing on the safety. Um, just I, because I, you get, you have both chances to okay. get an extra ball and play. Nice oh. bounce out, and he's nice got the multi ball again. Wow! All right. Thank you, MF Hood. I really appreciate it. Yeah, his target bonus is juice too. Yeah, this is. Uh, if he hits that uh, horseshoe on the right, he's got what 20x times 4x nice. on there. There you go. Huge. That was what almost 100. Just for hitting that, that was lit too. It had some value because of the rollovers up top. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here comes the multi ball. Bonds back into the scoop, but it's coming. Can he get. All right. Boy, his bonus is going to be awesome. Yeah. Sauce. Letting you guys just see a little bit of play. I, um, I would yeah. rather, you know, yeah. not talk through it sometimes yeah. when you're seeing a game like this. Is there a ball stock in the top scoop? No. No. Um, we're, not, we're not trying to give you uh, quiet, but we just actually kind of want to watch this. Because this is going to be an insane uh, score. Oh, am I going to pace yourself yes. today? Yeah. I, I'm going to lose my voice anyway. So. Exactly. Good collect. Look at that. That was a 400,000 collect. Maybe 500. Wow. Huge. What a collect. Huge collect. Nice job. 400K pinball. Yeah, 400. Pinball. Wow, oh. boom. Put up ten. All right, so again, to give you an idea, anything 1.3, 1 million and above was a really good qualifying score yesterday so on Veracore, so he is he's in going up there. All right, so it's out the tip here is the A, and we saw he's got the double R left there. And... Uh, Rinse and repeat. Let's go. Do it again. Build up your, and he's got the extra ball lit. Uh, extra balls are off. I don't know what the value is. It yeah. probably is like maybe 50k. Nice bounce over there. Very psychedelic. Let's get this A. Does he want that stand up? It's got 40k in the extra ball. I don't know. No, he's going for his targets. I don't blame him one bit. Get the, uh, 
hopefully lucky bounce from the top nice. right pop. Oh, it just <laughs> didn't activate it. But maybe you get the, the lucky bounce from the top right pop to collect that. Just beautiful play right now, man. Really pretty. Good catch. Good control. Look at the art on this game. Oh, he got it. snuck in. You see it? Yep, it snuck in. Give you guys so an update on the other uh, games right now. We're still right, Lobster. Uh, we're on, on the same plane. Yeah. Wavelength there. It's just a psychedelic tool. Look at that back glass. <laughs> so just to give you an update on Group Four, Ben Clements Group. They're through two games now. Ben is at okay. five. Garrett took the floor and far out game two to bring himself back in. Albert Newman with two. Derek Thompson with three. Very close matchup with Group Four. Ben Clement in the lead with five points. We're not going to leave yes. this ball. But we just want to give you an update. <laughs> because <laughs> nice. nice dad joke. There you go, yeah, Wesley. Yeah, Wesley. Show him how it's done. 1.4 million with an insane bonus still coming. Um, 4x multiplier on the bonus. 20x on his uh, value right there in the middle. Uh, and he can still light the 5x yes. up top. Yeah. Right there. So here's another three ball. This is a stand up on that. That's oh. I would like to see what that's worth. He's got 40 minimum, okay? Nice little horseshoe. 20k okay, now. now. Every single bonus build is 20k. Is 20K. Okay, awesome. Thank you for calculating that for us. Okay, oh. back to single ball play. <laughs> Just get there we go. Okay, what was that? Like 100. Looks like 100. He hit it and it's gone. Yeah, about 100k for the extra ball. Okay. Let's see. Can he collect this up top there? Don't tilt. <laughs> Don't tilt. Yes, Bjorkers. Agree. Beautiful. Oh, collect. beautiful. 178 to 196. Wow. So 180,000 there. If you're Bob. And you're waiting behind. Wesley? Do you walk around or do you watch? I would watch. Um, I, don't, I would probably watch. I know sometimes it's good to clear my head. Safeties. And not kind of get nervous because, hey, now I've got to do this. I just come back sometimes and see where the score is and say, okay, i got to try and catch this. But I also like watching because I want to see what works for them and maybe I can replicate it. Yeah, it, it's something I need to work on because I'm a walker yeah. and I take off. I did it too. I did it at Abilene a lot. I, I in the walk. Back. Well, you saw me. I was me and you both yeah. walking around. You outside. were in the back. And in the, yeah. yeah. Going outside in the back, but it, it, it's kind of helpful too to clear your head, and um, especially when someone's blowing it up. Even though qualifying, I hate when after somebody blew it up because I know, uh, okay, all the a good pinball karma might be gone. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, yeah, lightning flippers would be a good idea. I uh, does D eighty twos have lightning flippers? I think they do. All right, here goes the B. He's a little, little late. Let's hit this B again. Good save again. All right, he's got a safety. Ah, oh, what a ball. I just want it. And here comes the safety, so he knows not to walk away. Two million. Oh, no. Nice. He, got, he probably just... Uh, no, someone else. Someone else had a really didn't good know, ball. Didn't know if there was a delay. There's a zero <laughs> delay for us. Good, good, good. That's awesome. Yeah, we are HDMI, zero <laughs> delay for us. Nice. Got his Care Bear shirt on, making a comeback, I guess, for the Care Bear. Needs luck, exactly. Oh. You know what? Great ball. Absolutely I'll great I'll clap ball. for him, and it's yeah. just me and you watching him, but uh, right here, that was... That, it, it, and it could be Dent. Absolutely could be a tutorial video on how to play that yeah. game. Wow. Way to go, Wesley. Two and a half. Setting himself up for just great success on ball three. And he needs it because, yeah. he, you know, he didn't have a good ball three on yeah. uh, in game one. So it was a close one, too. It was. Okay, Bob. All right, Bob has released his multi-ball. Collect bonus. Not he Pretty good though, already at 450. Yeah. yeah, he's got his two in play. He's got two X going. He needs to build that super bonus as well. Uh, he's got his lights up top. Okay, he's got uh, one in four X is lit. Well, it's not. Okay, get the, um, 
<laughs> Thank you. That's a really cool one. All right, one's gone. Just let it bounce. Get back to the a lot of rejects off that left throw. Uh, yeah. But a safe return. Very, very safe return. You're getting a lot of chances to dead bounce from the left to the right. And uh, go from there. Okay. Go back up top. Never a bad strategy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. General yeah, I think that would have been a move, a move to make. Just missed the B on the left side and just missed the collect. Yeah. Okay. But dropped his O. Edge of the flip. Edge of the flip. A little, no. <laughs> a little earlier than that. Like the like bonus, though. We'll see what it is. Not a lot. Okay. Uh, 20,000. But that's okay. Build it up again. Go All right. B it. is down. Coming back out. Oh, there you go. Okay. His extra ball's lit. Get 100 to there. His horseshoe collect. Okay. Not a lot of value there built up. Still, he's working on it. Got getting close to 10K for base value. All right, hit it. Close to 800,000. I know if you're watching on your phone, it is difficult to see the score, so we'll try to give it to you as many times. Yeah, the lighting is a little tough in here. Uh, 821, 750 for Bob. Um, 4, 6, 3, 8, 7, 0 for Mark Reserve. We are on ball three, Barracourt, game two of this group. Here comes Mark Reserve. Shout out Walt Wood walking across to the Wizards. I know, Breath, dude. I know. Yeah. But Lord of the Rings, Breath, that's what happened. Barracor and Sorcerer playing very long. Uh, we'll get through it. <laughs> All right, here comes Mark. Got his collect bonus and his safety lit. Oh, no. 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 That's a rough That's a rough one. <coughs> is it hard to hear? Do you want us to put it up? Uh, maybe bring down the ambient sound? Thank you, Retro Casey. I can do that. Yeah, maybe we can lower the, uh, just a little. Bring us up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want to peek at those. We want to peek. And they yell. You want me to go yeah. a little harder? Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. They are good to watch, Gaming I, uh, Gaming with Raiden. I love a lo long play sometimes because it teaches me a lot. That's uh, where I'm going. On yeah, there you go. And on classics, um, if you've earned a long ball, uh, you know, you're doing something right. Mark finishing fourth would bring chaos. chaos. Well, well yeah. that's what we want, right? <laughs> Organized chaos, baby. That's, well, that's what we want. <laughs> okay, cool. Bonus pinball. All right, Preston. Ball three. Let's go. Okay, good cow. There you go. Okay. Okay, there's his. Uh, no, he didn't have it. He hit him out of order. No, but he's okay. He's got the lock for oh, it there. Got, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I and maybe you can get a little bounce off the pops. You never know. We've seen it. Oh, okay. Big save. Move. Oh. Did he tell? He did. It was a big move, and he, he had, had to, to do it. it. Had to make it. Had to make it. Oh, oh Preston. Okay. He's taking a zero there. Okay. So he will be at two. So Wesley's going to probably take a four. If so Wesley, Wesley will be at five. So minimum right now, Mark is at a five. Okay. Wesley would be at a five. Preston at a two. Bob controls. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there we go. So Bob will take hope, probably a two. Preston will be at two. Wesley will be at five. Mark will be at five. Okay, so five, five, two, two. When I interview Wesley, one of the questions I, I want to ask him, and I've had him on here multiple times, is when you're blowing it up, and really blowing it up in a tournament. How, and you come up on ball three, how do you maintain that momentum? It's so hard. You've given yourself a little bit of a confidence boost. He just had a center drain go right down the middle. Yeah. He looked at it and said, you know what? Eh, no pasa nada. I, I'm going to take at least the two. At yeah. least the two. So that'll put him at three and in contention to advance to the semifinals. Um, Bob has our two points. He needed the two points. He'll be yeah. tied with Preston. And, uh, so him or Preston, a four next round would would pretty much um, guarantee at least a tiebreaker. Okay. Because um, that would put them at six, and then you know one of the fives would get a six if they were second or third, or you know if they were third. So Bob is very yeah. capable of and also catching pa Wesley. Oh too. yeah, very capable of just catching him. He's got the collect and the lock safety ball. So group four, they're saying is very very tight. Yeah, I'll take a look for you. So right now. Um, 
Um, group one, Eric Stone with two, Michael Bradley with eight, Daniel Martin with zero, Dan Newman with four. So Eric Stone has to get a, a, a four or hope Dan takes a zero. And Let's gets do second. a side by side and see what's going on over there. Uh, They're on Cleopatra? They're on Cleopatra. And so group four is two, three, four, five. Ben, uh, Clement, Garrett, Albert, and Derek are on Cleopatra. Um, it looks like, okay. Yeah, I don't gotcha. think they're playing it. I think they are, what are they doing, waiting? Oh, Ben's walking over, so maybe they finished. Okay. Or they're doing something. We'll find out. He just got a TD, so maybe something happened. Um, all right. Let's see what Bob can do here. Bob catching Wesley would be unbelievable, yeah, so be who crazy. knows? Yeah, it's possible. It's very possible. We saw Wesley with a four five hundred K collect. Okay, he's going he back. Snuck in, collect bonus. Hundred thousand or so. Yeah. And he's got three X on the multiplier. Three X on the super, so nine X. What that. do you do here? Like when you're a million one point six behind, you say, let's just chop wood. Chop let's wood. just chop wood. Get to the locks, get, maybe get a safety ball, do as much grinding okay. as you can. You cannot you cannot abandon, I think, your strategy of going for the things that are going to give you more playing time. Uh, with a multi-ball, obviously more playing time. With two in action, I would go for it. And then the safety ball. I don't think you change your strategy. Look how patient think, he is. Yeah, I don't think you build up the middle. Nice in lane, love. Got the A down. Mm -hmm. Little collect there. Two, seven, one. Much more two. on the fly he's playing. He's trying to get the C target yeah. for, for that. Uh, hit the O. I would get that left. I would get that left lock. Honestly. I would too, right here. Build up your value. It's already at five x uh, times three, fifteen x, uh, five thousand, so seventy five k. Okay. Boom. And he had those lit. So one point three seven, one eight five, one. Yep. So one point three seven. Yeah. And two five was Wesley. About two was, six. Yeah. Two six. Okay. So okay, halfway there. Here comes the feed. Nice. Was able to save it. Okay, cradle up, build up your values, and maybe knock down some Akora targets. Yeah, I'd like to see a C hit. Ugh. Okay, collect again. 1.45. I'm going to tell you where we're going next after this, if you don't mind. Yeah, he's in multiball play, so might as well do it now. Yeah. Pretty exciting. We're going to Carlin and Globetrotters awesome. after this. And that will be quicker, folks, we promise. <laughs> Unless someone gets a million. Like Stone had 1.7 million on it. All, All right, right, back to Burr. Yep, got, got the, going back to it. One more left, double R. I'd like to be in the. Uh, got him, nice. In the room when they put this together and they're like, okay, so <laughs> the left targets, well, we only have room for three drop targets <laughs> all right well we'll just double R it. Yeah. and we've got a long word we got we got to do a quora but we got five on the other side it's all like right. it's like license plates gotta, yeah gotta get we'll crafty. just squeeze it together <laughs> it won't be a problem all right oh right there now. we go do it again do it again you've already gone up seven hundred thousand i forgot what he started with on this ball I'm yeah he's at eight hundred thousand he's already so at, he's got Oh, you know okay. what, Bob? Take the two. Way to go, Bob. Yeah, honestly. Let's see what's going on over here. Nothing. Okay. Something's happening with. Something's happening with Eric Stone's group. They put the rig on it. They and, did. Oh, we see the rig, obviously, but they're just standing around now. Waiting for yeah. It. Okay. Let's go to the uh, room cam. I am Jamie Birchall with Wormhole Pinball, and I am joined by Frisco Pinball's own hottie. And we're so excited to be here today at Texas Pinball Festival. This is uh, the quarterfinals in the classics, and this guy has got to leave. <laughs> After this round. After this like, one yeah. round. He's going to get one more because he's got entries. He's got to get his entries. So if you're, if you're sitting down by the wormhole booth and you want to jump up here, I need you. Yeah, I, uh, I need uh, – I got one chance to make Wizards A, and I, I, need to, um, I need to give it a shot. I'd love some Whoppers. I've got less than 50 events. My goal was top 500 in less than 50 events. I'm almost there. I'm at about under 700 or so. So we'll see. It's going to be fun. And even if not, I'm, this is so I love commentating. I love talking pinball, especially yeah. with people that love it like you and are also fellow streamers. We know the we know the um, the hardships and the fun that goes with it. So stepping in the booth is always a blast for me. I learn a lot. 
chat teaches us about games. I learn about games, and which is great for me. That's one of my favorite parts mm -hmm. about it. The interactivity is awesome. I so, absolutely love it. So thank you for watching right now. We've got a ton of people tuning in to uh, Texas Pinball Festival Classics Finals. We are in the quarterfinals round, um, top 16. Uh, top eight had a bye. Uh, first round, we've narrowed it down to another eight, uh, two from each group, 4 two, one scoring, Papa style. And we are waiting for them to... Well, we're, we're trying to move the rig to Harlem Globetrotters. Mm -hmm. And right now, Jeff Davis, Robert Byers, Jack Revenue, Andrew Foster are on Harlem Globetrotters. All right, they're moving the rig now. But we don't want to interrupt them. Yes. In, you know, their, okay. Their competition takes play precedence. And a lot of, but a lot of great, com a lot of competitors are always so patient saying, yeah, move the rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you. But we also don't want to interrupt them while they're in play. So I always it, ask, yeah. hey, is, are you okay if I move the rig, yeah. you know, in between these balls? Or do you want to go? And some people don't even want to be streamed. And I get it because maybe it messes with their um, sort of routine, what they play. Okay, so I see Preston on. Okay. Uh, we should be good. I don't know if they're doing any practice. Yes, they are because there's only two coined up. So we'll get a little practice here. Preston needs a first place here um, to put himself in contention. Uh, at minimum, a first place will get him into a tiebreaker. At best, it'll make him advance with whoever with uh, the other person that gets five. Sorry, that's a little crooked. Um, uh, yeah, sorry for I the know, lights. I know, dude. It, I ha you should see. We're looking at it right now. He's got umbrellas out the wazoo, and I'm looking at the lights. It's just where they're placed, and it sucks because um, we want you to see all the action. Uh, oh, there. Wesley's Let's head will head. get a little of a shadow. <laughs> Yargov had an interesting thing here. He said Barracor was really supposed to be Las Vegas. Oh. Las Vegas. Oh, that makes more sense. Cool, I love right? the Vegas theme pin. I mean, Look I love Barracora, but, you know, that's a cool little tidbit. It's a good see, trivia question. He's <laughs> amazing, that one. <laughs> what was Barracora supposed to, what were the targets supposed to spell? Vegas. Ooh. Oh. This a, how many times are we going to see it? Are we going to see any of that? These guys are good players, but, yeah. you know, are the we gonna scissors, see yeah. uh, it, 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 oh. I know I would do it. Over, but. under on scissors, I'm going to say two. Okay, I'll say that's two. fair. Yeah, I think a couple people will have a couple nerves and, you know, maybe an unfortunate time flip, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it under. Glare trotters, yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. You know, work with us here. We're, we, we've got, you can see most of it, and we'll uh, we'll check that. We'll check that little, um, okay. Let's make sure I've got the, the right order. I okay, couldn't we stage do. these, those left flippers either. I was trying to stage. How long do you get to practice? 30 to 60 seconds. Okay. Yeah, he's moving the hell out of it. Yep. There you go. Yeah, so um, on this, on Harlem, you can sort of stage the left upper flipper to stay down and then catch with the right. Um, it's very hard, but on this one you could. I'll yes. be right back. Yes, no problem. I, I mean, I'm on like five that yeah, DCs. You're good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Totally good. I got gotcha. you. All right, so we are in practice. Bob Caldwell up right now. You can see the order. Wesley, Bob, Mark, and Preston. Game three of three. First round quarterfinal. Or excuse me, quarterfinals. The first round was last round. Um, they are all, you know, taking their time, trying to get to know it. Uh, Eric Stone blew this up. Top score was 1.7 million. If you got anywhere above 400, 500, you were, you know, top 20. And so what's going on on the right-hand side is the Wizards qualifying. The chairs are empty on the left-hand side because you just have the Classics players going on. Um, everybody else is using two-thirds of the room to qualify for Wizards. Uh, I've got 12 entries I've still got to use. I've got two and a, three and a half hours. I think I could get them all in. The queues are long, um, but that's okay. Uh, that's life. Even if I don't, I have had a ton of fun. Um, I got 31 out of 216 on classics. I'm going to shamelessly give myself a, a boost. I almost made playoffs. I was one drop target away on Mars Trek on my last ball in my last entry. Uh, I had the K. It would have given me the double bonus and would have put me into the playoffs. But we don't, <laughs> we don't look back. We only look forward, and I'll take those whoppers. Those will go on my, my card, um, and I learned a lot. So here we go. Ball one, Wesley Johnson, Harlem Globetrotters, sitting tied with Mark in first with five points. However, it's still anybody's game. It's a 4-2-1 scoring. If Bob or Preston get four and Wesley or Mark don't get, uh, or Wesley or one of them gets one, we'll have a tiebreaker for that second spot, right? Mm, yes. Uh, no, excuse me. Um, those two would advance. 
uh, because the person with five would not. Sorry, I did my math wrong. Okay, Wesley. Again, on Harlem, you want to get the uh, inlines to get to your multiplier and advance the spinner value. <sighs> Bad timing there. He almost scissored, but it came down very fast. And this Harlem, the globe letters strobe, so you don't get a spot for the inlines and you don't get the sequential advance for the saucer up top. You still want to go for the saucer. Your spinner on the left is lit at 10 to start. Every inline advances that. If you can hit two, then you've got your 2x um, bonus. Uh, the third one, three. Excuse me, the first one, yeah, OK. I think the first one is two. Uh, it's one or two. OK, let me see. There you go. All right, yeah. Uh, second in line is 2x. And then um, and you get the gate. There you go, nice gate. Uh, hit the spinner, worth 100 now, because he hit one in line. OK, take your time, take your time. There you go, there you go. And let it fall. Oh, no. Let it fall to the bottom right flipper. That's your shot for the inlines. So a little bit of a misfire there, I think, from going for the top left flipper, because that only feeds the dangerous special shot uh, stand up on the right. Um, but again, ball one. He's got more than player one. And uh, anything can happen on a Harlem. A bonus can be huge. Uh, you get all the inlines to get to your um, 3x, and then I think the 5x, or there's a collect up top. There's a saucer on the top right. All of them dropped will get 5x, I believe, or is it the saucer that gives 5x? I'd have to see. Hopefully we see it here. All right, a little side-to-side -side action. Okay, and uh, spinners in the, oh, nice, almost scissored. Um, it's hard to, there you go, one in line. Got it, spinner is at 100. Uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a scary. Oh, I would have let that bounce, but good, good patience because guess what? Go up top, try to get into the saucer, luck into some letters, and advance your bonus value. Okay, did it hit? No, it didn't. This one, okay. Good spinner rip up the middle, advance the bonus because then he's got his 2x. Oh, it did drop. I'm sorry, he got his 2x. All right, hit the third one for the 3x. He got his gate. Beautiful spinner rip. Now they are worth. 200. The next in line will put the spinner just at a thousand, with, uh, which, as you can see, is a massive boom to your score. Le beautiful patience there um, to wait. Didn't hit the shot. Sorry about that. Oh no worries. Um, didn't hit it, but very controlled. And Mark hit it. Oh, going. Yeah, he knows it. He knows he's got to hit that next. Uh, uh, stuck on a half spin. I would hit it a little. There you go. There it is. Yeah. Don't need a TD for that. Okay, side to side action, let it bounce. Okay, not a spinner rip. Nice, My nice save. dig. Okay, coming to the left. Yeah, super bonus is huge on ball one, and I believe it carries over on this. He's already got 20 in super bonus, T Walrus. Thank you. Um, cool name, T Walrus. Yeah, and he's got Turbo Prime, uh, Twitch Turbo, so no ads for you. And here we go. So he has three of the five, four of the five letters. He needs the strobing O to get, I believe it's 50,000. No. Yes, it is, Fox Cities. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Fox Cities. Good how are you? you? All right, Mark, great bonus. Uh, T. Walrus, great, um, a great observation. His super bonus now, I believe, will carry over ball to ball. So now he wants to go for those inlines because, not that you already don't, he's already got 20K banked. So if you get 2X, 3X, that's 40,000, 60,000, and look at the scores. Uh, you're already at 180, Mark, so he is sitting pretty. Thank you, Fox Cities. Appreciate that. It's always good to have you guys here. Wish you were at TPF, but you guys just had Nationals and Pit Masters. I totally get it. It's inevitable like Thanos. Shout out Elwin and AIQ. <laughs> All right. Um, and shout All out right, here comes Wesley. Shout out Brian, Eddie, and Dwight. Thank you for Venom. I'll say it all day long. <laughs> all right, Wesley, ball one, or excuse me, uh, ball two, player one, 15,000. Okay. And players one, two, and four, they've got some work to do. Mark sitting pretty with the 20 carryover, super bonus, and Wesley gets the saucer on the B. He's got two letters lit. It's a strobing light again. You have to get lucky and get all the letters, um, which could separate you, because I believe it's 50K. I'm not, a nice oh. tap pass. I have not seen a lot of people do that. Um, and that is be beautiful feat. So I will tell you, the third inline drop always gives a dangerous feed. So you have to hit it, hopefully with enough momentum that it doesn't trickle down. So he's already okay. at 2x. His spinner is at 200. 
And okay, beautiful. Catch it, let it roll down. Oh, it, there's rejects up there. That third in line is super dangerous. So if he can get it and get a get a safe return, take your gate, rip the spinner. Okay. All right, good center spinner action there. Got it. Beautiful. Nice. And oh, the save. there was the feed. And he's going for the last one, but he got a nice little uh, ricochet or reject up there, so it gave him a little bounce, and he had a great save as well. And he opened his door. And his door is open, and he's at 1,000 on the spinner. Rusty, Ripped stick your head right there so I can see it. There Ripped that left spinner. Oh, that is unlucky. huge. Bounce. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's good. Got some spinners there. And he's got the B. He needs GLO. Rip that left spinner. It is juiced for you. Big Come shot on, here. Big shot. One rip, I bet this gives him like, yes, at least 20K. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 30K. Almost 30, 40K. 40K, 50K. Okay, so we're 40K. at 40K a rip, and he got his uh, 5X. Now, rip, spinner rip, go back to the saucer in the top right. Get a, I believe, is that a collect? I forgot what the top right saucer does, but it gives you a ton of points. I know that. Uh, Wesley with 5x on a super bonus at 20k already, uh, so that's minimum 100,000. Nice. He's yeah, he's already looking at close to 400. He got the G, needs the L and the O. And oh, that was a, I gave him a lot. I don't know why I gave him a lot, but I will learn one day. All right, a uh, little reject there, a little tap pass. Hey, Carl, uh, not Carl. Uh, Tom Fox Cities? Tom Fox Cities, you got a uh, stalker here. <laughs> Gaming with Raiden's. Uh. <laughs> All right, get the get this. Oh, reject off the left post a little early. That's okay. Ball is coming down safe from the center spinners. Little early again. Little early again. Trying to hit it on the fly is not easy, and he saves his gate. Yeah, that's he gets nice. A, he gets a left spinner rip. Look at this score going. Absolutely beautiful play from Wesley. Uh, yeah, he's on a roll. You can't stop him. Only hope to contain him. And he got his globe. And he's at 375. And he's got the out lane lit on the left, too. And, and oh, oh, reject. Reject. There you go, Boob. <laughs> Boob Newhart, great name. Yeah, Boob's one of my favorite. Oh, wow, good doesn't ball. Doesn't matter, great ball. Clap for that ball. Look at this, look at this bonus go. 5X on a 40K super bonus. Which will carry over. It's huge for Wesley because he wants points, right? He needs these points to make sure he moves into the, to he the doesn't next want, round. He, do, he wants to avoid the zero. Because if you had a five and he got a zero, you could potentially not make the next round. Because right. if a two got a four, you're at six and, and six. And reserve gets, yeah, yes, it's, it's, boom. You could have two sixes go. As long as he guarantees himself a point, he's, he's more than likely in. That's right. Because um, we can't have. Oh, oh. Bob. Sorry we talked through that drain, but I was unlucky. All right, Bob, you got to have an amazing ball three. You've yeah. you got to get yourself a four here. Um, you're trying to beat Wesley now because Mark is guaranteed right now if they're sort of end a two and him and Wesley would move on. Um, Preston, uh, just for seeding purposes, uh, let me tell you. Well, I know Preston had a bye, right? Yeah, he had a bye. I think he was number two. So this would be a big upset. Yeah, Preston was second in qualifying. Eric, too. So Eric and Preston won two seeds, possibly out in the quarterfinals, which, again, we go to tell you classics are the great equalizer because oh. the, anything can happen. There you go, Mark. Put your head over there. Yes, That's just good. stay there. <laughs> He's trying to. There you go. There you go. The inline was half down, so I'm very glad he did that uh, because it has been a little finicky. <laughs> All right, Mark, again, 2X. Oh, it doesn't look like the super bonus carried over. Maybe I was wrong on that. Well, that's okay. He's got his 2X. Got to be. Um, that's a bummer. I thought the super bonus carried over like Mystic on this one. Maybe they turned it off. It's a competition setting. We got What's it on over How there, too. We got it on over there. Yeah. On the, one of those TVs. Fred Not that I'm Revenue. kicking you out of here, but you could see it Great over there. pinball player. Father to Jack, another great pinball player. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome playing with them in Abilene. All right, here we go. Mark getting, oh, oh what a finicky uh, light feather touch there. Okay, okay. If you get 20K in it, bonus, it does normally so carry I over So I think on competition right settings, they do change. Hey, what's up, Grant? Um, yeah, it does carry over, and I think they've turned it off, rightfully so. Um, I feel like in Mystic, if you get it, you should keep it because you've earned it. Mystic's a tough one. If anybody's selling a Mystic out there, let me know. Walt <laughs> sighting, yes, Walt Wood blowing it up here. 
Uh, he was scorekeeping with me yesterday. I love talking to Walt. Um, animated and great player, great guy. And here we go. Let's get back to Mark. The pop-in rig, we do have uh, buyers in that, and when we are done with this, we will jump to that group. The link is, um, it was a fever dream, right? Uh, the link for the tournament schedule is on the TPF um, site. What I will do is post it in chat Thank right you. now. Thank you. What yeah, am I going to do without <laughs> you? <laughs> well, maybe I've been spoiled if with I do, you, if I, if I do good like six times in a row, I'll be right back. <laughs> well, that would be brilliant for me. <laughs> Let me get you. I'll put this in chat for you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the tournament schedule. It's been a great qualifying, and it's still going on again until 4. Um, uh, Wizards ends qualifying ends at 4. People are trying to get their last entries in. Uh, Wizards starts at 5. I do wish it was on Sunday, but you know, we've got, um, thank you. There we go. And, and here here's go. Preston ball two. Preston had a bad ball one. That's yeah. okay. But he Preston needs he points. Needs, yeah, he needs to get. This is ball. This is. He needs Mark to get third. He has to pass Mark minimum. Uh, actually, excuse me. He has to get first. And <laughs> he has got to hope that. Um, yeah, he's got to get first and Mark to get third for one point. Yeah, and then they would be tied at six, and Rip that spinner. they would have a tiebreaker. All right, he got the E, so he needs the O left. The G is lit. It's a little dim. Center spinner. I love, if I'm at a bonus, uh, uh, 5X or a two, 3X or more, I sometimes will go up that center spinner just because I want to build the bonus. But obviously the play is left spinner while it's juiced. Because nice right, it's 1,000 a rip. He's got, yeah, his left spinner is now worth 1,000 per um uh, spin. Now he's say. moving this machine. He's he not is. afraid to move it. He needs. He's he's definitely obviously playing for his playoff life. Absolutely. Hit it again. Oh, little late. That's okay. Build your bonus through the center. It's still going. The spinners have been playing amazingly here. So he needs to drop down the five X, right? Got the B. Yes. Yeah. So he's got to drop down that last one, and then there's a big collect in that saucer yeah. at the top right. <coughs> just needs the O. Hopefully he gets it. Just go up. Just all day. All day. Go up the left side. And he got the O. Wow. Huge. So look at his score go. He's at 120 or so. That was 60K. I, I know you get 50K for it. So, But it's just huge. And he's already at 3X. Doesn't have super bonus lit, um, which is interesting because he hasn't built it up enough yet. But with every center spin, you can build it up. And I believe the saucer up top will build it as well. What I would do, definitely get that. Yes, there it is. There it is. 5X. Oh, a drop catch, too. Yeah. And he dropped it and in there. Yes. That was pretty. Thank you for the 101 bits, Evil Bartron. Appreciate Thank your you, support. Evil. Uh, Bartron. I'll just call you that <laughs> rather than just Evil. Um, pinball streaming is tough. If you guys want to show support, hit that follow button. If you got an Amazon Prime sub, think of using it to get some ad free viewing and Twitch emo uh, emotes uh, from the channel. And you would be helping out your pinball, local pinball streamer. Uh, wormhole streams in southern texas northern texas all over texas Have yes we do we've got a lot of great pinball streamers in texas uh, yes we do carpool myself yes. wormhole a lot of great guys let's get back to preston he is already top row at, pinball. yes top row, excuse me top row pinball i don't want to forget about rob um got the 2x down again all right so here he goes okay so he's already at 5x at 40k on super bonus minimum two hundred thousand to a score right now beautiful five uh, tier gift uh, five gift sub bomb from uh, B Dashens. Hype train is oh, let's go incoming. Thank you, thanks, Bashan. Thank you, hype train. Let's go. How many people do we have viewing? Anyone tell me? Yeah, I was gonna check. Oh, uh, here we go. I got you 190. Nice, Beautiful. let's go. Thank you guys for the hype train. Uh, Jamie does excellent work on this stream and honestly appreciate it. That's yeah. what Preston needed. Yes. That's yeah. what Preston needed. Huge ball. Okay. Huge look ball. ball. Look at players. Look at that ball. Yeah. Look at players one, three, and four. Unbelievable bonus. Unbelievable. So Preston needs the win and he needs Mark to get third. Yes, he does. So Mark has a chance to pass them both. And Mark. Leslie, any of these. And even oh. Bob. Bob could have yeah. a million ball three. It's very Huge possible. Huge ball for Preston right there, HDA. Absolutely. All right, here we go. And it's so easy. Good stop. All right, when. Check the other games. I right. have a tough. Ooh, it's good pass. I have a tough time. Do you sit down when you guys are playing? Sorry for banging my mic. 
Do you have a tough time going, okay, I'm here now. Oh, I'm here. Do you, that's why I don't look. Yeah, I am. Um, because I play these mind games <coughs> with myself. Uh, if anybody tells you pinball doesn't have any mental aspect and people just well, go they don't the know flip, what they're talking you don't about. know what you're talking about. It is unbelievably nerve wracking to step up to a game that someone's blown up or know what you need to do and not be able to do it because it's house ball or you just didn't make the shots. Yeah. And if you don't make the shots, I feel it's easier to live with it. Um, just to give you an update on group four, Ben yeah. Clement advances with nine points and Derek Thompson from Yagpin advances with five points. Garrett Shahan with four and Albert Newman are out in the quarterfinals. Oh, wow. So That's an upset a little, a little bit maybe. Of, yeah, a little bit of upset for our state champ. Um, but he is currently qualified in Wizards for A, so we'll probably okay. see him again. Um, but, yeah, so a top 16 finish for Garrett. Uh, but Ben and Derek advance to the semifinals. Cool. North Carolina representing. Oh, all right, so he's got 5X. Yes, he's got another. And great, he saved. And he, oh, save it. Yes, he's got another. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Take your points. And look, you're going to get 5X. Not a huge bonus, um, or at least no super bonus, but you get the 5X, 729. Lass, I totally agree with you. You can still get a house ball. So Where uh, can we view the classic there's standings? There's a pinned there, message. Absolutely. In chat. Click that link on the top of the page. It'll say standings next to matches on the right-hand side. There's All right, Bob, you've got something to talk about here. You've got this. Yes, in line one. There's one down. First step done. So, thank God. You're welcome, Retro Kick. Yeah, Garrett's amazing. He's not, <laughs> he's not, you know, you We're not to, saying you it. Don't, you don't have to convince us. No, no, no. <laughs> I've played against him. Yeah, he's beaten my butt a bunch of times. Uh, I love playing with him because he's a great guy and uh, always willing to share knowledge. And he's just a, a you know, positive guy. Always need that in pinball. And the oh, did you see how it kind of yes. skipped on him? He thought it was going to yeah, go somewhere thought, else. Yeah, he thought it did. It's okay, Bob. Great, great, great tournament, Bob. Top 16. GG's. Absolutely, GG. All right, Mark. Mark wants to. Thank you, Pirate Slash. Mark wants to beat Wesley here. Yes, Kay. he has to pass Wesley. Hey, Pirate, thank you. Um, yeah, the flipper tip, it just dies sometimes. And it's done that a couple times during uh, qualifying. So, again. Right now, Wesley no, nice. is in. He has seven. Doesn't matter what happens. Wesley is in minimum, uh, excuse me, six. Six. So, uh, yeah, he's in. Yes, he's in because if Preston passes Wesley. Uh, Wesley My mind doesn't work good enough for the games of the math games, so right? So I always let chat tell the me. The minimum, yeah, the minimum. But he Wesley is in with get, a tiebreaker, right? He's in with six right now. Okay. So if. Preston gets six. They're both in, and Mark does not. Oh, or excuse wow. me. Wait, no, no, no. I have that wrong. I'm sorry. We'll wait till Mark's we'll wait. done. Yeah, let's wait till Mark's done, and we'll do the math. Yeah, worst case tiebreaker. I knew I was going somewhere with it. Four, two, one, zero. Wesley has a minimum of one with six. Bob is at a zero. Uh oh. Yep. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. So Mark has six. Okay. Wesley has seven. Wesley is in. Preston has to pass Wesley to force the tiebreaker with Mark. Yes. Here Preston we go. needs 70,000 points. Yeah, he was getting the same yeah. letter. This is awesome. Here we go. I'm on my I'm I'm literally saying, sitting on my feet, uh, hands Come here. On. I'm nervous. In line. Let it go. Let it go. All right, Pinball Mafia. Let it drop. There you go. And then in line. Beautiful. Boom. Oh. oh, my God. The feed. The return feed. Oh. Pin win. Yeah, you're right. Oki, Eric. That's oh, Oki. Okay. You know me. 671. He was 58,000 points So, away. Weston, Wesley, and Mark Meserve are moving on. Bob and Preston, great tournament. Great tournament. Let's go to Rig 2 here. Where are we here? Far out? So Mars track with Robert Byers. This is interesting. What are the numbers there? Let's see. We have Ooh. Jack Rebnew, four, Andrew Foster, four, Jeff Davis, five, Robert Byers, one. And we are on game three. We don't know what ball we're on, though. That's unlucky. I can probably see it from here. Can you? Yeah, yeah. Marsh uh, track? Uh, yeah, we're on ball five. Gotcha. 
It's the red one on the end. So ball five. So this is it. This is his life. Yeah, this is it. He's got to get. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. Okay, he hit the K. Now he's got to wait for the E to come so he gets that double bonus. Get into the saucer, advance your bonus. Okay, E is lit on the center. He can either shots or hit the center stand up. Hit the center stand up. Hit it now. Let's relax for a second. Double it's bonus. Making me nervous. You want to hit this E, right? Yeah, hit the E. He has 30,000 in bonus. So get 60. He, what player is he? Thank you, three? Pirate, for subscribing. It means an awful lot to me. I know you don't know me, but I appreciate if it. If he hits the E, he is past. He is first place because that will be double bonus at 30,000. So 60. He missed it. Yep. And that okay, is, that's all right. That Ooh, would put him good, at three. Good. He just has to hit the E. Oh, he's late. Oh, he's my late. God. He, oh. Oh, he got it. He, he got, got it, it oh, on bonus oh, yes. 389100. Oh, he's so awesome. So what do we have here? Buyers with five points. Buyers with five. Jack Revenue is now going to move through because at he's going to take his six. Andrew at four. Jeff at six. So we Jeff have a tiebreaker here. Four. So, wait, six, four. Yeah, Robert didn't get through. No, he didn't. Oh, because, Robert didn't because make it through. Je because Jeff got one. Jeff got one, and that put him through, and Jack got second. He needed Jeff or Jack to get a zero. Yeah. And it didn't happen. It didn't Andrew, happen. Because Andrew didn't, wasn't able to pass him. Oh, man, Robert. Ugh. That's okay. You know, you do your best, right? So let's see if we can get some bonus pinball on the other groups here. Yeah. Uh, thank you, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> you coming by later? Okay. Oh, that was a bummer. No worries. Yeah, he needed help from Andrew to get to that uh, tiebreaker. <laughs> but you know what? Great, great performance awesome. for, for Robert. Great performance for Garrett and everybody else. So we'll Great go. performance for you. Yes, I'm in a queue already. Don't worry. So I oh, can stay. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm good. I'm good. I just entered a queue, so as soon as I'm up, I'll go. Okay. And in the meantime, I can help uh, help man this as you want. Let's, let's go to the standings. Or let's see. go to the standings and see where we're at here. We've got Garrett. We know that Garrett's out. We know that in that particular group, Ben Clement and Derek Thompson are going through, right? Yes. Ben so Clement, Garrett. Mars uh, on this group, Jack Revenue and Jeff Davis are going through. Andrew Foster and Robert Byers are not. Look how close that was. Oh, these, I know. All these players so talented and so just well evenly matched I, I love it this is what pinball is when this is a great part of pinball harlem globetrotters we just finished there wesley johnson and mark Meserve are moving through bob caldwell and preston makla unfortunately have been eliminated and then i and believe then we need the eric stone group eric stone where is so that so the top two players might have been eliminated wow eric stone's group is still on barracor no we're on game three right I don't know. Let me look on Eric Stone's group. They are playing ba Sorcerers, I believe. Yeah, Sorcerer. Okay, they're on Sorcerer. So Michael Bradley's in. He got his Michael eight. Bradley's in. He's ready to go. So okay. Eric, Eric needs the. So I wish we could move the rig over there. Let's yeah, move. someone's. But they're playing he's it. He's playing it right now. You could have somebody. Oh, he's off. You could have somebody. Uh, maybe they don't want it. Um, if he doesn't want yeah. it, if we go over there, is Stone destroying Sorcerer? Uh, Stone is on right now. He's about to plunge. I'm looking at it. It looks like I can tell you what ball it is. It's ball two or three. Looks like ball two. Uh, maybe I can get. Um, I know, Green Bay. I'm going to try to get Cassie. over there, but they didn't want the rig on it. Cassie. Oh, she can't hear me. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Can you tell us what ball they're on? Thank you. Oh, Jack right, thank took you. a picture thank of it you. for us. We've got. Ball three. Ball three. Okay. Eric Stone is at 712,610. He needs 400,000 points. Which is very doable. Which to very pass doable. Dan Newman. And he would get the four? He would get the four. So he would have six, and Dan is what, second? Yes. Dan, Dan would Dan then be second. And so they would have a tiebreaker. Eric. Wow. And, thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Let us know what's going on over there. Congrats. Jack going through to the semifinals, top eight. Huge amount of whoppers and prizes. Huge. Yeah, huge. Sorry about that, guys, but Eric didn't want to move. Well, I'm not going to blame Eric. Yeah, that's, that's Let's not blame part. Eric. We don't know. We give priority to the players and uh, let them decide. And he is playing right now. I can see him. He is deciding. He's trapped up on the left. 
And yeah, look at I, you giving uh, color commentary. And the flashing lights from are going 25 off, feet which away. more than means that he's in his multi-ball. He locked one. Nice try, man. Yes, good try, man. I saw the. I saw the try. I saw no, we can't blame e, Eric. And it was. Tom. Uh, yeah. But it, it would be fun to blame him. It was a great try, man. One of the, my favorite things to do here is Byers is actually talking to me, you needed, and you needed player I have two. headphones on, Byers. You needed one of the top players to get a zero. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> nice job. You're going to get Whoppers for He's it? He's just sitting talking to Hottie because Hottie's a good dude. Yeah, so uh, Robert's going to get Whoppers for his place. We were talking about just now. He needed player two to get uh, – he needed one players one or three to get a zero, so he had a chance if he won it. And that's all you can do in those situations. You can only put yourself in a position to win and hope the chips fall where they are. But, you know, you also have to perform on games one and two. So if you're coming from a one on game three and you win it with a five, you look at yourself, you're like, oh, maybe I should have got a one point on, right. on, a, on one, an extra point. But you can't think about it. You're still successful. You're still going to get a lot of points and get experience. And Robert's been doing this a long time. Great player. Uh, we have some amazing Texas players. And, oh, yeah. And, and they're all representing well. So uh, people are asking me about the uh, our Pride wormhole yes. shirts. You can get those uh, now at wormholepinball.com awesome. if they are not up on the website, right? Just send us an email. What else do you have on the site? Uh, hoodies? Yeah, we have hoodies, both zip up and pullover. We have Accessories. sweatpants. You have like koozies or like yes. drink holders? Yes, okay. all of it. Shout out. Go Just a out. tremendous amount of awesome, awesome <laughs> merch that both Janine and Christine did, and uh, you're going to love it. So, yeah. And then the, up, the website's going to get updated to make it a little easier. Great shirt, too. Celebrate, you know. Some pride colors, really Absolutely. awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, so Stone, Eric Stone is still playing. Yeah, he's still playing. And, um, again, Stone needs to pass player two who has four points. Um, and that Stone has two. That will give him six. So we'll have a tiebreaker for um, uh, the, the right to go on into the semis. the semis. And, again, every jump that you go up into the standings for a – this was 216 players in the, <laughs> I in know. the freaking pool. Let's show the room because yeah. I want people to see yeah. the room, right? Classics like, was 216. Uh, Wizards is maxed at 160. So, again, pro circuit event. And look at the room. You're right, Jamie. Wesley's waiting already to start a Wizards entry. You can see him waiting. Yeah, he's line. like, okay, I got to go I gotta go put in an entry there, right? Also, shout out to Scott and the Flipside Memphis crew. They came down. Um, they're here at TPF. I love watching uh, Flipside football. David Yop. Created the Yopsicle. Um, wow, I love David Yop, yeah. and you can hear him on the Wormhole yes. Pinball Podcast. Yes. Yes. I think he's like episode 15. He's yeah. outstanding. I'm so glad you, both you and uh, uh, David have streams now because it's great to get that extra, like, stream coverage of tournaments. They, the weeklies as well. Wow, I not only is he a great dude, I love his stream, and I love how he just presses buttons. I mean, he can have a 16 He's got, rig. like, the Terminator rig, which is like, Minority Report, where you just press it. Well, I were waiting for Stone, and he's blowing it up, ladies and gentlemen. I promised you I was going to give you some Pinberg Golden Ticket information. Yes. Uh, June 15th, 16th, the event will be sponsored by Barrels of Fun, and it's going to take place at the Wormhole in Houston, Texas, limited to 52 players. $50 a player, winner will receive $650 and a Pinberg Golden Ticket. Now, listen, you can't just try to sell that Golden Ticket on the, on the marketplace. They won't like it. That's they not going to happen. They have to, they have to give the name to Absolutely. the Pinberg people. Uh, it was a mad rush to register, so they've got to do it the right way. And you're going to have a mad rush to register for this one because yes. we're only having 52 players. But nice. ticket sales will be on sale Monday, April 1st at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we will get you that link Cash is sooner. great, but, man, that Golden Ticket is awesome oh. Pinberg's back baby it's going to get even bigger and I'm better excited yeah stone still, still playing. playing still playing well we again we can't he's on ball three he's got to get a four to advance to advance to the tiebreaker we don't want to move the rig um uh he's in the zone and again players take precedence and so absolutely for their playoff life i don't blame him just you know he's got the umbrellas kind of giving him shade which is nice <laughs> HGA, uh, listen, you can always hit us up at wormholepinball at gmail.com if you have any information, any, uh, or you can Facebook us. We're on all the socials. We're everywhere. Uh, but if you are ever in Houston, Texas, we have tournaments on the first Monday, third Monday, and the first Saturday of every month. That's when we're open to the public. But if you are like HGA, 
and you've been listening and watching for a while, hit us up at warmhopinball at gmail.com. Maybe you can come and uh, during tech night or something. We'll, if you're only there on a Wednesday, let me know. We'll, not for everybody, <laughs> but for the studs like HGA, you get to come in. There so. you go. <laughs> Green Bay, listen, all you need to do is email us at wormholepinball at gmail.com. Tell us your size. It is, I think, $25 for the new Pride shirt. And Great I'll price. personally email you if Janine doesn't, and we'll get you a shirt, okay? So, again, just to reiterate, we're waiting for Eric Stone to finish his ball three. Uh, if he gets first place, uh, he's player four. He will advance to the tiebreaker for the classic semifinals. Uh, to get the right to enter the semifinals. We have Wizards qualifying going on right now. Um, it's actually a great spot for me to wait while I queue up, so I can help you in the semis while I queue up and wait uh, and go from there. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me better now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Mike well. keeps going away from me. But, yeah, so uh, what I'll do if you want, um, during the queues while I'm waiting to get queued up, I can help you on semi semifinals commentary if you don't have anybody. It's up to you. I don't I, want to I, I don't I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Hottie. I'm going to give you something called carte blanche, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you can I do whatever the hell you want. I appreciate the <laughs> hospitality. That's why I love pinball and te the Texas Peaks. Uh, I'm always happy to help support, and this is fun for me. So. I'm just going to give you that card. <laughs> Better than a library card. All right, yeah. where is he? Daniel's watching him still. I know. I got a mohawk in my way. Jockton is there. I do need commentary. Yes. Now, look hey. what I got. Yes, awesome. I just got Garrett. Congratulations, man. Great finish. I know, uh, I know, I know you didn't advance, but still, top 16 at a 216 player, um, you know, field is not easy. So, once again, great job, man. Uh, and I know, and you're, you're in the top for, you're qualified right now for A in Wizards. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. So, good job, man. Eric is just short of $2 million on Sorcerer, probably 1.5 away from bonus. We have a sideline reporter telling oh. us what's going on there. Hey, Garrett, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. Did he get it? Or is he waiting? Oh, maybe he locked and now he's uh, stepping back. It does not have the updated ROM. It's a uh, non-turny. Non it's got the, uh, you, don't need the you don't need to hit the drops to lock it a second time. It's already activated. Uh, for you every single time and if you find the shot you're set up really nicely this was the one uh, at abilene showdown another great tournament here in texas make sure you check out and follow carpool pinball i'm going to give hey. them a shout out in hey, chat. hey you oh, gotta love here. carpool right pinball and uh, go. this is actually not the one that was in it's not oh i'm sorry i it thought it was not. okay it was one i used to own though oh okay well hey we'll call it then <laughs> close enough <laughs> yeah how is garrett's mic it seems like you're gonna have to st is it is it then you look closer I uh, can't go any closer. I'll be eating it. Okay. I don't know if he's on again. You know I hear I him. Uh, say something. Something. Yeah, I can hear you a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, shout out to Carpool. Give them a follow. Uh, just click the link in chat. It's a little heart symbol. All, it's all you have to do, and they'll give them a follow. Oh, there we nah. go. And yeah. while you're here, give a follow to Wormhole Pinball. And if you got an Amazon Prime sub, yeah. it's free. It's free. Get rid of the ads. Get some f cool emotes. And uh, support your local you pinball You should work for Twitch, dude. <laughs> Well, How good is Hadi? I know, he's great. Well, I, I did this for two years straight. And I, I know, I like, dude. I used to <laughs> tune in all the time, and all of a sudden he got tired of it and decided he wanted to be a competitive pinball player. <laughs> I like this a lot. Um, I will yeah. stream again sometime. It's fun doing it late night, but, you know, I can't also That's when I liked when you did it, too. I, did it. I always did late night because I wait till everybody's asleep. I've had my family time. And then once everybody's gone, I'm like, okay, now it's me time. <laughs> nah, I liked it. But I'm really happy for the Texas field here. We've got some great, great competition going on. Eric Stone's still sitting, taking a deep breath. Let's see if we can get our sideline reporter, uh, Playjack, to tell us a little bit more. Thanks, Boob. Awesome. Thank you awesome, for that dude. sub. Um, Eric's talking to himself. He's a vocal player. Yes. When oh, he yeah, plays. Yes. Right? Yes. There's, there's a lot of, okay. there's a lot of yes. people that have said, you know, hey, you got to put the tape down so Eric's not breathing down my neck um, like an in-disc. But he watches and he commentates. Um, he's a very animated player. The okay. best moment, I think, was when he was at uh, one of the tournaments last year. And he was up, up to play. And he was like, all right. Jesus, please help me. This is the only time. And, we, and everybody in chat was like, hey, you can't get coaching from Jesus. That's assisted play. Uh, but it's kind of fun. He's a great player, great uh, great guy to talk to. Yep. And, oh, uh, there you go. Whoa, I can hear myself now. Wow. Ooh, you're booming now. Uh, but, yeah, but he's he's got his he's got his moves. And he just – oh, now I'm down. Is everyone? Uh, I'm down now. Oh, shit. I'm down. <laughs> there you go. We can see the gain. So you want it to peak in that yellow. Yeah. 
I'm yep. down. You can bring it up on OBS too. Down. Down. You can move that up. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, but so I'm oh off now. Oh, you're off? Yeah. I okay. can hear you a little I bit. Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me through your mic? Oh, oh there we go. How great. about this? Retro, uh, test one, two, chat. Can you hear us all say something? Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three, something. Test one, two, three, something. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't all right, think you, I'm on. If dude. you didn't, okay, you can all, thank you, Perfect. Nitro G. First time chatter. Am I on? All right, I'm up next on Whirlwind. All right, I can see it. I'm on, huh? Yeah, no, you sound good. I sound like For shit me. in my ear. But it is what it is. If they can hear me, then we move on. Eric All Stone, good. So thank you, HD. Hey, everybody in chat, time. thank you so much. Major Drain, appreciate it. Good seeing you. Um, uh, good seeing everybody here. Yep. Uh, thank you to all the subs and everybody. Sorry for the dead air. Normally I we mean, wouldn't get yeah, dead air because we have the two rig system, but, yes. uh, but uh, it's sorcerer though. That's just it plays yep. too easy. But that without having the custom ROM, uh, it really should not be in big tournaments. But it's what it is. Yeah, everybody gets a chance. Everybody gets the same opportunity to blow it up. Yep. And uh, looks like Eric's still playing. Okay. Um, I see the shoes moving. Left foot forward planted. I'll give you some play-by-play. -play. <laughs> he's got the great. stance. Uh, he's trapped up, not flipping. I, if he does something good or bad, you will probably it. hear it through uh, our mics. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Even though he's you know, 20 yards away. <laughs> Go check out his weather reports on the weekends. Florida guy. You can watch the VOD of him blowing up Jaws. Four trillion. Batman four trillion. And hopefully uh, we get Elizabeth Gieske here for on Sunday for the women's tourney. Mm -hmm. um, that would be awesome. I saw her walking around. She's the coder on. Yeah, you've been you've been asking for. I'm gonna her. I'm gonna ask. See, I'm gonna I see you're her down there. You're putting a lot of you're putting a, a lot of pressure on. Yeah, her. I know. she's a great competitive <laughs> player, and it's always good <laughs> getting that knowledge from, especially somebody that works in pinball. So, uh, yeah, yeah. we're good good to go there. So here, let's let's figure out. A little mi a minute ago, Jack told us what the scores were. I'm scrolling up on chat here. So Dan yep. Newman is has four in this group. Okay. He needs to get at least a two to – he has to get second to be at least at six. So if Eric gets a six, then they would have their tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. um, so Dan cannot get less than second uh, okay. if Eric gets first. Okay. Well, there you go. So sorry about that. You know, we had two rigs. I'm touting it all week and yep. months, and then we don't get to see it. Hey, yeah. don't blame, don't blame, hey, don't beat I yourself up. <laughs> yeah. I blame Sorcerer. And it's just how timing works sometimes, too. It is. It is. So welcome to the Wormhole. I'm going to show them the other side uh, of the room. The Wormhole at Texas <laughs> Pinball Festival. <laughs> yeah. We are not at the Wormhole. Uh, my name is Jamie Birch. I'm joined by our state champion. Yep, Garrett Shahan. Carpool Pinball. Yes. Hottie, Frisco Pinball. And so we've got a good little uh, Texas streaming thing going on here. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we're waiting for Eric Stone. He's blowing it up. This is our uh, TPF room, Classics Finals. Next year, I'll put even another camera on here. <laughs> yeah. Triple rig. And no, no, I'm not going to go three rigs. <laughs> I was going to say, total exactly. recall, no, just three boob rig. I'm just going to put a camera where Precision Pinball Products is <laughs> yeah. so I can see the other side of the room. But everyone kicks all the damn crap in here, so oh, I yeah. can't do it. You know, right. Eric is still moving. Download Sorry. NDI and we'll uh, bring our rig up here. You can yeah. use it too. Don't test me, <laughs> dude. Don't tease me with that. Don't tease me <laughs> with that. Because I might do it. Yeah. What do you think, next year? Yeah. Or no, we're not doing it for uh, Wizards. We don't need three rigs for Wizards, no. do we? You don't need three rigs anyways. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know who has three rigs? JDL Pinball. The guys up in, in, in Germany, mm -hmm. which is a great <laughs> podcast, by the way. I'm just pumping the pinball podcast, uh, Wormhole Pinball Presents. They, He has three because what he can do is with a bank is he doesn't have to move it. Mm -hmm. yeah, which is nice, great. right? Genius. Yeah, sure. It's $5,000, but it's great. Yeah. Okay. All right, we lost Hottie, but man, he was a savior for me today. Yeah, he knows his there. EMs, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, a lot of a lot of good research you can do on those, and these are actually pretty good EMs. So, what do you think? What what what's your idea? Let's go back to just the commentators. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling for going in the Wizards? Uh, I'm sitting at like tenth or eleventh right now, and I think it's to the point where there's not going to be enough games played to knock me out. So that's good. Uh, I would like to go ahead and get a buy, though. 
So buys are crucial, right? Yeah. So I need to talk. Let me ask you: when when you come in with a buy and you you have all this momentum, mm -hmm. and then you have a buy, how do you maintain maintain it? Like you know, how do you not go cold? So it's tough. I mean, like for instance, uh, Texas Finals, my first round had a rough time. I mean, uh, Jonathan Henson was playing great, but uh, I, you know, going cold on that, you. Know, had a bad game on bonds so you just you got to get it figured out yeah uh first couple games here i'm not too worried about we've had so much pinball this weekend and i'm not too worried about having a buy making me go cold uh, i'm just uh, curious but you know when that happens for you I, i'll never get a buy in my life so when mm -hmm. i <laughs> so i'm just curious you know momentum is such a pisser when it comes oh, yeah. to uh any sport all right so eric there stone is, is through do you want to go get the rig on it before yeah I'm I do. do for you. Okay, brother. You know, I just can't help myself, ladies and gentlemen. I have to interview people when they're sitting next to me. I'm a recruiter by nature. Uh, that's what I do for a living. My wife and I own a staffing firm, and uh, I recruit people. Ball three, player four. Okay. Yeah, if, if they sold into the ball left. No, it's good, ball three, player four. Yeah. Uh, once it. Then we'll figure out uh, what the tiebreaker is and where we'll put it, and we'll put one of our rigs over it, and we'll watch it for the semis, right? Yep. If, okay. there is a if there is a tiebreaker. How's Dan doing? Um, While well, Dan's coming up now, so we'll see how Dan does. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's weird, guys, because we don't want to go, oh, okay, here. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're at the wormhole. And I can just go, excuse me, yep. you know, you're streaming here. You're here at our territory. I'm just going to come stream. Yep. This is Texas Pinball Festival. I'm not coming up. And, yeah, just and it's good, edit good etiquette yes. to not, if they've got a ball left, you can stick it on on a different player. But if there's one ball left, don't stick it on, like, player three, ball three. Because right. then if, you know, external yeah. factors, pressure, stuff like that. Um, question for you. Mm -hmm. How many more uh, cards are you going to put in? I've got seven more games for Wizards. Okay, seven more. So I'm uh, in line for Getaway right now. What are you in the bank? Uh, this is riveting commentary, oh but uh, people will know. It is. I'm up in two. Come on in. Okay. Did, did Dan train on Sorcerer? Uh, they are deciding the tiebreaker now. Seven million. Yeah, Eric, Eric, got the high score on it. Eric just put the high score on it? No, we're not streaming that because we don't have a rig over there. So we're on kind of dead air just hanging out. And no one can hear. Eric Stone put up eight million on Sorcerer. Eight million. And you want to know how he did that? He shot the left ramp about 40 times. That's it? That's what you did. Yeah, four. this is the left ramp. Yep. So we are going to see the tiebreaker, Green Bay. It's not hopefully. Yep. We're going to see it. Uh, I'm going to move that rig right before him. If you would like, I can go listen and get the rig moved. Yeah, Do you sure. want rig one or two on it, or does it matter? Uh, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Just tell me. Yep. I will do that, and I'm going to play my game on Getaway, and I'll come back. Okay, if, buddy. If you want to. Yeah, no, no, all day. All okay. right. All day. I'll hop in here. Okay, brother. Um, again, I'm warm. Uh, I am with Wormhole Pinball. I'm Jamie Birchall. Uh, I am not Wormhole Pinball. Uh, I'm with them. And uh, you are watching Texas Pinball Festival's Classic Finals. We are in the uh, quarterfinals right now, about to go to the semifinals, and we're about to get a playoff here. We've had a lot of bonus pinball already in these two rounds, so I'm pretty darn excited. Uh, while we're here, while we're waiting, uh, here's the Classics Bank that they're going to be playing. Uh, this will be random, and it will be a random player order, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. And then uh, here is what the schedule is for today while we're also waiting. Uh, and you will see there's a ton of Wizards qualifying going on all around us, right? And the Wizards final starts at 5 p.m. This will go to about 4.15, 4.30. So we'll take a break. I'll shut the stream down, and then we'll come back. Uh, but good stuff happening here at Texas Pinball Festival, the Classics and the Wizards. And then tomorrow, don't forget, 
Ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday at noon, Eric Anthony Winnick will be here with you. Eric Winnick Anthony. And she will uh, be your host extraordinaire unless she makes the women's finals. You never know. Here comes Hottie again. Uh, so we're waiting. They're moving the rig. When you leave, just take that and just move it right there. That's oh, you. Gotcha. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I'm going to get – what kind of – because I have so many b different people sitting in, I'm going to get that road. My wife doesn't know this yet, and she's <laughs> listening downstairs. <laughs> but I'm going to get the road podcaster pro, I think. Okay. Yeah, I've heard good things about that I've heard that really yeah, good yeah, things. Yeah. And this thing is just pissing me off, so this is gone. Yeah. And I will get the road pod. So, you know what? Please hit subscribe so <laughs> I can pay for it. <laughs> All right. Let's see where this rig is going. And... Uh, what I can do is refresh this and tell you exactly who's in the tiebreaker and what game is going to go on. So Dan Newman is going to be player one. Eric Stone is going to be player two. I'm trying not to pop my peas. And uh, <laughs> are we on Harlem Globetrotters? No, we are on Ice Fever. Ice Fever is cool. Very cool. Ice Fever is really, cool. really, really cool. I really, really like it. There we go. All right. If he can move this up a little. <coughs> test, test, test. If you can hear me, if you can't hear me, I'm going to go know. move that up. Testing. One, two, three. You know eight. what I mean? Yeah. Let me make sure this is right on me. There we go. Let's see if I can fix it here. Uh, yeah, the top of the yeah, camera it. It just needs to come down a little because it's um, angled a little. We're going to fix it. All right, you want to have a dollar game here? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can have a dollar game. All right, tiebreaker, Dan Newman, Eric Stone. Oh, nice. Eric, nice. Eric did it. Nice job. Okay. Yeah, Eric did it. Awesome. So uh, we have Dan versus Eric in the tiebreaker here. That looks great, dude. Oh, they took out. That's what they did. That looks great. Thank you so much. Of course. All right. Is this a Gottlieb? People keep asking. Is it a Gottlieb? Do you uh, have any idea? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> All right. I mean, unfortunately, leave Gottlieb alone. Gottlieb <laughs> was great if it's got like a 77 or older. <laughs> Question as a fellow streamer. What do you think about the about the rig? It's a little bigger than yours, it, but it, what do you think about the cameras? It, it looks like a spaceship to me, <laughs> for being honest. Yeah. It is sweet. Great setup on that. Uh, so we ripped off uh, a lot of what Deadflip did, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, Fox Cities, of course, yep. and uh, IE. And uh, they've been so helpful. Mm -hmm. If you ever need, if you're a streamer, if you're thinking about streaming in your local tournament, hit us up at wormholepinball uh, at gmail.com. Ask anyone. Go to Tilt Forums. Go to Pins. We will help you, okay? Yep. Guide the way. Because streaming competitive pinball is a lot of damn fun. It is. Yep. And if you want to know how to make a rig out of scrap metal and scrap wood, <laughs> you've got a carpool pinball. <laughs> <laughs> I was told there was Barracora content. There was Barracora content, and they right, played yep. the hell out of it. A okay. lot of it. When he steps up, this will be Dan Newman. And if his head, if my head is blocking him, no worries. We will just take us away. You don't need Perfect. to see me. You don't need to see us. <laughs> no, I'll take it away. All right, yeah, hoops is great. That was fun at Indus. And we'll, because we don't even need this either. All right, Bob versus Eric. Ice we'll, Fever, the we'll meta. take the sponsors <laughs> off because we want to see Bob versus Eric Stone. The meta is hit the lit in lane and then rip your spinner all day. There is no timer on the spinner, so it lasts for your ball. It, th it actually does not. It doesn't? It does not. If you hit the unlit in lane, it unlights your spinner. Oh, my goodness. Good to know. Yep. Very good to know. I was like, why isn't anybody's spinner going away? They were staying away from the inlet. Okay. A little yep. bit of fumble there. So one thing on this particular ice fever, the spinner is kind of spotty on how it spins. The problem is that is where all your points are at. Yeah. We saw a couple rips where it would go two or three times, and then some rips that were like, all right, give me all the points. Yep. <laughs> all right, Eric. Going through the drop target on the center. You're going to see the uh, shots here. Yep. He's going to keep trying it. He'll keep trying it. Uh, it has to be from a roll. You can't do the little uh, 
Flip. five ones yeah. where you bounce them across. It just does not go up around. Okay. Oh, That's got free it. There right go. there. Yep, free in lane and right. okay. There's one. So he got started from about a hundred or so, so about twenty-five thousand, twenty-six. Not a not a. In between balls, I'm going to zoom out the player cam. Is that yep. cool? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to have to show me how to zoom out those no, fancy new I got cameras. It. Ah, shit. In between. All right, so Eric had the spinner lit, got 165, still decent. Uh, Dan with uh, a little bit of a hook to climb, but it's only ball two. Spell ice, get your extra ball. Oh, my oh goodness. No. In and out right there. And he moved it to try and save it. Yeah. That was one he needed to be active, though, to yeah. point down. If he would have given that a hard nudge to the right, uh, hit the left side of the machine. Yeah. Catch the top of the sling that would have bounced out. Uh, it would hit the top of the sling. It would go bounce up into the right and then come out of that area. The whole so point with inlane outlanes is you're not trying to make it go to the inlane. You do not want it to decide. <laughs> do not give it the option to decide. Yes. Get it away. Okay, shots to the left. I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact that you're only seeing half their head. And that's all good. For this yeah. round. Oh, yeah, that's all good. Okay. is that all right? Yeah. Everybody this gets. This is going to go fast. Everybody, yeah, everybody gets one house ball. So now, Dan, big ball three. Get your spinner lit. Get a couple rips. Try to catch up to Eric. Yep. And uh, try to put yourself in a position um, to get a good score just like in qualifying. Here we go. Switching. Switching, it's on the left, on the right. Let it go up. Oh, almost went up and over for it. Playing side to side right now. All Control. Right. See the shots. It looked like a try. He yeah. is way early. Yeah. He's an hour early right now. So he needs to get this. Let it dead bounce. Okay. Nope. There we go. All right. He's getting points from all these switches. You know, pops. He's at 63. His bonus looks like it's about four or five. He could go. You know, we've been seeing that it's it better to pa post pass. We've been seeing on this machine. That is dangerous, but he got his spinner lit. Oh, got a nice. Jump that. Yes, nice. there you go. Big rip. He could get that C for the extra ball, 100K, but don't worry about it. Just get the spinner. Beautiful. Oh, that was good. Hit. On that the fly. Was that was on target. And he's got two of the drops on the left. There. Good. Ooh. Ski pass. Oh. Yeah. All right, it's coming down. That feed has been very safe uh, from the drops up top. Mm -hmm. If you only have partial, okay. Good Get it. A little late. Ooh. There you go. That'll unlight a yep. spinner. And it's unlit now, just like Garrett said. And now he's got to get it back again. But still, great ball to come back from a uh, mm -hmm. five-digit score. Okay, where are you going? Let's see if he tries shats the shots again. He didn't look comfortable with it earlier. Let's see if he goes for it. Oh. Oh, oh, my goodness, what a Lazarus. <laughs> Lazarus did the Look at his face. Oh, my God. Look at his face. You're give, you get one. Every You're lifetime you get one yeah. like that. Bonus pinball. <laughs> Bonus All right, pinball. shake it off. It was awesome. Don't worry about it. You did it. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I, I meant it. to do that. All right, get the, okay, can't still see it. Oh, oh nearly grabbed it. Okay, bonus is about five now, five or six. Oh, wait, no, excuse me, 15. I forgot about the 10 yep. on the le top left. He is a nice up. catch. It appears he's abandoned the shots pass. Yeah. Catching and going up. up top. Okay, and you can he's advance your bonus X, I think, by he hitting wants that to captain. See, huh? Yeah, the captain, if he's not going to shoot for the shots pass, he needs to be going at that captain yeah. ball. It's 50K a hit. You get three of them, and, and get you get a bonus X increase. It perfect. takes forever to increase it. Yeah. You can see right now because you've got the orange inserts on the bottom, which will tell you where you're at for your bonus X. Okay. Mm. Little pop love. This is just nice catching. This yeah. is just one. This is game one of one quarterfinal yeah. playoff between Eric Stone and Dan Newman to get to the final eight Whoop. in the classics. Okay. Survive it. Yep. Really good ball here. Okay, another safe feed. And just for those at home, this is a five ball. It three. Is three ball. It's three ball. ball. Okay. Yes. Well, here it is. Ball three. All right, he is at about 18,000 in bonus. Got the captive once, I think, second time. I don't yeah, know if that, that, yes, that one there. counted. Okay. So, Bagwell, oh. yeah, this is a playoff here. Sorry if we didn't explain that properly. Oh, so when it, gotcha. So when it flashes, that means you've hit it. So yep. he needs one more for the hat trick. I gotcha. There you go. Yep. 
Makes sense. It's a hockey hockey pin. Yeah, it's a gotta tie break. Got to have a hat trick reference in there. Yep. Okay. Again, I love yeah, that feed. I, I do too, yep. man. We've watched it, and yep. it's since. Oh, nice. There, there it is. 100K for the. There you go. Boom. Special. Boom. There you go. Another Two, one. Yes. Yeah, 200K shot right there. Okay. Captive ball. Get your bonus act, uh, multiplier. Just if you're not going to do the shots. This is Okay, he's got ice. Done, and then. All right. One more captive ball hit. To light the hat trick, the third. Okay, send it up top. Why not? 677. It's a good ball. Very yeah. good ball. This is a very nice qualifying score or score and qualifying. Oh, yeah. okay. I so here's the danger though. If Eric can get the spinner lit. Oh, he's good. Yeah. It's and if he can get clean rips on the spinner. He needs to shoot it six times. So yeah. I'm sorry we're zoomed in a little bit. We got a new rig mover here. Yeah. And, <laughs> and your rig looks like a spaceship to it's me. It's okay. So SpaceX. Yeah. And with a player like Eric, who has great control and great accuracy, yep. you know, that's going to be big. So he's going to go for the shots. Oh, little, little late. Yep, little you, late. You, you said it. It's got to have some momentum with a little bit, right? It, it, it's much Ooh. easier from a cradle on this. When I was doing the – when you do it from movement. You there it is. Got no. it. And there now it is. One little rip, a couple spins, not enough. Yep. He's going to try to flip it over. Okay. Momentum, and there you go. He, he got, got three spins. Yep. Yeah. So that's the thing. The spinner, it can be good, but you got to hit it clean. Here's a, he's at 298. Let's there see what is. this gives him. That was a good one. That was a good one. That okay. was not much. 80,000. Okay, buddy. Now, so. All, right. All right. So good dead bounce. His, lane, his spinner got unlit, though. And now. So he's just trying to sh shats it over. Yep. Not everyone can shape old iPhones to the ri I know. <laughs> it's a good. I only use ZV1s, and look how good theirs looks. <laughs> ZV1's a great oh, pinball camera. They Probably are one good. of the best. Yeah, but it's hard to figure out the stuff in the beginning. Yep, and I've gone through a massive learning curve. Okay, yep. here we go, Eric. 501. Okay, 541. His bonus is at 11,000. Oh, be careful. 543. He's got to light it again because yeah. it's unlit. He's got to get it over. And okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, so rather than post pass, which we've seen some people do. Oh, he missed it too late. Okay, here it comes. Another rip. There, huge rip. And that's that, a huge rip. That, that is very close. He, he did, did it. it. He did it. There you go, Eric. Nice job. Congrats, Eric. Well, to you didn't Eric. need the camera there yeah. to tell that. He saw yeah. it. Eric Stone moves on, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Stone moves on. Top uh, seed survives. He was the number one seed in danger of getting knocked out in the quarterfinals. And we now have our uh, field of eight set. Field of eight with two rigs. We might <laughs> even try the double rig system. Give it a I, shot. Give it I a mean, shot. I mean, I don't know. We might do side-by-side -side rigs. I'll be right back. Yeah, right? I got okay? you. I got you. I have to go check the batteries yeah. and yada, do it, do yada, yada. It. Make sure it's all ready for the semis. Everybody, welcome. Hey, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Morales there, Texas player. Anyways, people, um, this is Wormhole Pinball. My name's Hadi. I'm Frisco Pinball, helping out here, uh, waiting for my turn. I've got 12 entries left. i got to blow through in two hours. Hopefully I can do it um, and try to make some. Uh, yeah, it is me. What up, Abe Flips? Uh, good to see you. Shout out to you. Um, I've got to try to make a move into Wizards A. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it. I'm playing okay. I had a good classics for me. Uh, 31 out of 216, I'll take it. But anyways, welcome to World Pinball. pinball. Don't worry about me. Uh, awesome competitive pinball action all day today on the stream. We're doing the classics finals. We just finished the quarterfinals. We're going to the semifinals. Let me give you your, in case you don't see the pinned link in chat, up at the top, it is pinned for you. Um, right now, the matches are Eric Stone, Derek Thompson, Mark Reserve, Michael Bradley, Group 1. D group 2, Jeff Davis, Ben Clement, Jack Revenue, Wesley Johnson. You got two Texas players in Group 2 in Arizona and, a, I believe, a Canadian. You got Eric from Florida. Or, excuse me, Jeff Davis is not from Canada. Derek Thompson is. 
I think. I, got, I get those guys mixed up. Mark Meserve uh, from Texas and then Michael Bradley. Apologize, I don't know where everybody's from, but we've got great, great competitors left. A uh, ton of whoppers, ton of points. Walt walking around, doing his thing in the Stern uh, Wizards, the pro, Stern Pro Circuit Wizards uh, tourney. Qualifying ends at 4 o'clock. Um, Wizards will start at 5, the finals. There is an A division, B division, and novice division. So you'll probably get most of the A. Uh, and we are looking at top 24 and A for there as well. 160 player max cap. Classics was 216. I don't know what the cap was, but we had 216 players. 10 entries, four best scores go on. 25 entries in qualifying, your 12 best scores go on, but you need a even distribution of modern, vintage, and classics. The modern pins are Brake Shot, Capcom. Um, that's down. Okay, never mind. They took it out. Turtles is down. Jaws is in there. Metallica, Avatar, Foo Fighters Pro. And then in the vintage, Getaway, Terminator, Whirlwind, Time Machine, Diner, Classics, Kiss, Viking, uh, Jack's Open, Super Spin, and Spin Out. So, um, ton of, ton of tough pins. The diner is like in-disc diner, man. I cannot figure it out. I just played Whirlwind, had an okay score. Um, I am at the bottom right now of the standings, but I've got one more entry to play, and maybe that'll help me do something. Um, anyways, uh, do you guys have any questions for me? Anything about the format? Anything what's going on? This is the Texas Pinball Festival in Frisco, Texas, hence the name Frisco Pinball. I can't ever complain about having to travel for pinball because TPF is in my backyard uh, 10 minutes from my house. Uh, Jamie's coming back from Wormhole Pinball. Thank you all for watching. They do great streaming here. Please give them a follow if you can. Uh, and if you got a prime sub, maybe drop that. Or if you got uh, time for some bits. We had a hype train earlier. Thank you to all the Thank supporters. Thank you. I'm getting my uh, steps in today, boys. Hey, LOTR. Yeah, I am into Discord. I spend a lot of time on Discord sometimes. Uh, mm. But shout out to Abe Flips. Uh, awesome tutorials. Uh, thank you for your content, Abe. And thank you, dude. <laughs> you have been I'm like such the micro a savior. Machines guy. You've been <laughs> such a savior. I'm gonna get you go play. Oh, I'm I'm gonna. This is actually great. I, I'm, you have somebody else coming. I'm gonna go play. Okay. And if you ever need me, I can just I sit here and do the cue. I'll cue I got myself Tim up. Hood coming to the left gotcha. of me, and I got Mark Reserve coming to the right. Awesome. Great. So great. you yes. have <laughs> been just fantastic, dude. Thank you guys. I really, really, really appreciate my it. My my total pleasure. And everybody, again, thank you. Keep watching and uh, enjoy your pinball. And Tim, if you're down there, go ahead. I got you. Tim, if you're down there, I'm going to have to switch to water, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, this is just, I'm just drinking too many Diet Cokes. I'm already staring at a 12-pack, and I don't need a 12-pack. So we'll go to just the commentators. We are picking banks. So let's go over here and l at least let you know what the groups are, right? Okay. So w w we, we picked the groups. We're now picking games. And, and it, it is pinned up there on the stream chat. But Jeff Davis, Ben Clement, Jack Revenue, Wesley Johnson, Eric Stone, Derek Thompson, Mark Meserve, Michael Bradley. Wow. Good stuff. I, I thought so. That's pretty exciting uh, of, of these groups between Eric Stone, Derek Thompson, Mark Reserve, and Michael Bradley. So what we're going to do is just move a rig in each one. Uh, I don't have a rig mover, so if anyone's down there and wants to be a rig mover, that would be fantastic. I could totally use one of those. Uh, just a double rig mover. It's all set. You don't have to do that much. It's not as hard as, you know, Garrett made it sound. And I think Garrett didn't do a very good job of uh, explaining that it, it might look like a spaceship, but it's really designed to be easy. Uh, so don't be scared to move some rigs. Uh, there it is, Tabati. Thank you so much. Uh, it is pinned up here as well. It's not rocket science. Just move the rig. Just move it. Anyone matched by links for the Wizards qualifying? I could probably get that for you. I could probably get that for you. Uh, if you go to TexasPinball.com, They should have some tournament links there, and I can put that up here for everyone. And let's see here. The 
tournament schedule, Texas Wizards. Let me get this for you guys. You ask and I'll deliver. I can give you a list of the players. Because that's on Never Drains. So I don't know if I have that. But if somebody can find it, that'd be great. Yeah, they are on Never Drains, boob. They are on Never Drains. Waiting on Tim, waiting on, they're picking games that, you know. There's a lot that goes into this. Uh, so while we're waiting, let me just go through here. Uh, you've seen all our, our great sponsors. Thank you so much. Here's the Classics Bank. Here's what they're figuring out, right? What do I choose here? What do I not want them to choose? What do I not want them to choose? I don't want them to choose Baracor. It takes, or Sorcerer. It's just too long, man. I just don't have the time. <laughs> okay. Like Baracor uh, and Sorcerer, they just take forever. They do. And they're right next to each other, so they're in the same bank, more or less. Right. It's unfortunate. See someone brave enough to start on Far Out. That's what I want to see. I want to see that, too. That's your Far Out, so. Yep. Uh, I don't know what we're waiting on, uh, but that's the Classics Bank. Let's talk about the Wizards Bank while we're here. And did we lose any of these? Yes. What did we lose here? So Turtles is gone. Okay. Star Wars Pro is gone. Oh, they boy. We need a new shots. one. Break Shot is gone. Uh, did they add Jaws? Jaws is now in. Uh, Starship Troopers never showed up. Uh, break Shot was originally going to be a classic. They had to move it to the modern. So we, this whole this what you're telling me right now is that this slide is absolute Pretty garbage. Much. There, there's no creature <laughs> here. Uh, so you know. So this slide is garbage. So let's just move on. You see this nice big bank of eight classics? Yeah, there's four of them. Here, I could just put thanks for watching. That's how <laughs> bad that was. Uh, no, I'm. You know, it's just it it changed so much. It just changes so much. It does, and it's machines going down. A couple of them didn't show up. Yeah, uh, I know Ali went down. Um, I mean, it happens, right? The classics. I, one of the here's the TBF schedule while we're waiting for them to pick games. That's that what we're waiting on. Uh, I think they're trying to get Barracor working real quick. Okay. Which is I probably should go help considering it's it's my yours. Game. Yeah. Nice. Go ahead, bud. If you want to go and help with Barracor. Yeah, let me go help real quick. Go ahead. Uh, here is the tournament festival's schedule, okay, if you will. Uh, Wizards qualifying is going on right now till 4 p.m. Then you got Wizard Finals. Classics qualifying was yesterday, and then today that's what we're doing right now, obviously, is the Classic Finals. We are in the semis waiting for them to fix Barracora. And uh, then the Kids Finals is today at 2.30, and then Women tomorrow. Aaron's going to take that out. Who has organized the tournament? Well, Texas Pinball uh, and some of the great organizers that we have that have done such an amazing job here. I don't want to leave anyone out, but I know Ken Kemp has done an amazing job. Elizabeth Ronay has done an amazing job. And they've just worked really hard. It is a very difficult job. And all the scorekeepers, you'll see them wearing around green. Uh, they bust their ass. <laughs> Excuse me. And they're sitting here and... They're watching Steve Bowden play over here, and they're putting their scores in, and it's 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 just an awesome. Okay, still waiting on Barracora. Trying to fix that. What else can I give you here? Uh, I can show you this Pinberg again. Ticket sales go on mo uh, Monday, April first for the June 15th and June 16th event at the Wormhole, limited to 52 players, but the winner is not only going to get enough money to get a plane ticket to go on up there, but a Pinburg Golden ticket. And then we have payouts for second, third, and fourth. Lots of Whoppers, good stuff. Here's some upcoming streams that are happening at the Wormhole, upcoming events. Uh, we are going to have the 3X on March 18th. I know it's ridiculous. I know. You're coming back. You're moving all this crap. You got a U-Haul. But we, we love pinball, so we're going to play on March uh, 18th. We're going to play a 3X that Monday. And then the 25th, we're going to do a game stream. It's going to be a really good stream. We're just debating between Cosmic Princess and Future Queen, but we just don't know yet. And we will go from there. Here he is. Okay. 
Uh-oh. Can you hear me? No. Okay. But I can oh, now. Oh, there we are. I turn it off so people don't hear the flicking. Yeah, no, I get it. Uh, some updates. Barracora, it was still working. Uh, they switched out the tilt bob. Now it is much tighter tilt. Okay. So the old tilt bob in it, and I already knew this too, was kind of old and nasty and ratty. Okay. Didn't make good contact. New one, brand new, fresh. It's It'll tilt when it makes contact. Okay. So good there. Uh, they are picking games right now. Looks like we're moving the sorcerer. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. I'm going to just, like, leave it going yeah, during well Sorcerer. Yeah, let's just... Uh, I'll yeah. just sit back. I'll eat my sandwich during Sorcerer. Yeah, that, that's... I great. might eat my Jimmy's. Th that's that's good. And if you need to eat, I'm happy to mess with this for you. Um, I am going to take a break and eat in a second, but let's get uh, round one set up. Sounds good. Okay. So we're definitely going to Sorcerer, and it looks like... It's on Ice Fever right now. I believe it will get moved. Okay. So, and let's see the group. Let's see that group. So we've got. Should only be two groups, so we're going to follow both. Yeah, we're going to try the double rig system here. Uh, Eric Stone's group is choosing Sorcerer, Mars Trek, and Far Out. That group uh, consists of Eric Stone, Derek Thompson, Mark Meserve, and Michael Bradley. The other group is Jeff Davis, Ben Clement, Jack Rebnew, and F Wesley Johnson. They are going to Harlem Barracora Ice Fever. Yes. So three, six totally different games. Yes. Which is cool. Yeah, no, this yeah, is. That, I mean, that, that's great. And uh, we're getting all solid states from Jeff's picks, and then we're getting two EMs from Eric's picks. All right. So. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to watch. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to play. I wish I was playing over there still. I know. But you're going to be playing over there. I know. I, uh, I may have secured a buy on that getaway game. If you so see Tim, we got a spot sitting right here for you down at the booth. You see Tim Hood? Yeah, have him, him come on here. up here. I love Tim Hood on the mic. Oh, he's great on Yeah, he gets excited. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do it enough. We need to yell at him, okay. pressure him. Yeah. We don't need to <laughs> pressure him. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, okay. I think they're ready to practice on Sorcerer. I think they're ready to practice on Sorcerer. I'm not. Okay, that's definitely practicing. Wow, he's okay. definitely yep. practicing. Uh, Eric Stone practicing on Sorcerer. There is your next dot match play events. He tilted, but he's just trying to practice. And you'll see when players go up to practice, they'll put three players in. Okay, What's let's see time? what's going on here. This is rig. And this is real. This is rig two. This is real. And what is this one? They're playing ice hockey, right? Yes. Ice fever. Jeff Davis. So let's go to Jeff Davis. This is this is live. Mm -hmm. This is not a practice. We've we've seen this game a lot because it's not that complicated. But yep, I, everyone can play this. And if you think your opponents aren't comfortable with the shots pass, it's a great game to pick against them. Okay. Now you're you got to survive the captive ball if they can't shots pass. Ooh, he had his flipper on that. Unfortunate drain there. Could have got that back out. When it looks, when Stone gets back up, let me know, and we're going to go to the double rigs. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do something pretty BA in a minute. We're going to we're going to show you our double rig oh, set up. Someone passed me already. Okay, I'll get myself in a queue. Uh oh, you have to queue it. Yeah, I'll have an hour wait. An hour, huh? It's some bananas, dude. It is. It is. But it's great, but bananas. All right, let's see. Jack Revenue. Wesley came up, and we missed him. 20,000. That's how this game goes. Oh, yeah. We were down looking. He was looking at his queue. I was looking at something else. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hop into Jack's open queue. You go hop. And I will... I will have about 40 minutes for that, so we'll stay right here. It's not a bad seat. Nobody really bothers us back I know, here. It's great. It's not shabby. I'm going to go get a water in a second because I'm hopped up on diets. Jack is wearing a name tag. He's also wearing a wormhole name tag, which is nice. Yep, and his boots. Why is – I'm going to have to move this one way back, huh? Why did that get zoomed in like that? Uh, don't I know. bet you it's the top camera. If the top camera falls like this, and it there gets closer. 
just turn that on when you're ready. Yeah. All right, here comes Ben. There you go, Tim. Welcome, Tim Hood. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Jim? I'm great. Joined by Garrett. Yeah. Great to have you here, and Tim. This hey, is, thank you. This is for your ears if you want it higher. I have it on medium. Perfect. Okay. Um, I, I'm good for now. I'm but half deaf, so I put mine way up. Um, I saw mine was already turned up. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, here we go. All right. All right. What did I miss? Uh, so we're up. in the semis right now. You missed ball one on ice hockey. Uh, not really much going on here yeah. on ice fever. I'm honestly, ice fever. If, if you're up for it, finish this game out and then go to Sorcerer. That's they'll what I'm thinking about doing. On, they'll probably be on ball one on Sorcerer. I time would time rather, time. ladies and gentlemen, finish this out and then go to Sorcerer. Yep. yep. His sorcerer's just playing so long, Tim. Tim, stick that right up in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thanks. All right, here we go. So three ball game. Ice fever. We've seen it a, a few times tonight, Tim. What they're doing is they're shots and back and forth to light that spinner right there. And then they're just ripping spinners. Yep. And, and, and it's, rinse, it's rinse and repeat, dude. So he hasn't lit his spinner. And, and a clean shots is not necessarily safe on this game. It will go up up and out somewhere. And it's not normally going to the out lane. I see that'll go way up vertical, but he gets a good chance. He got one spin. Make it taller for you. All right, now he could rip it. Which is hard to do on the fly, the rip, but. Yep. The oh. geometry on this game is just not quite right. I guess is how I describe it. It just feels off. So now that that spinner, <laughs> you know what we could get down the road? We What's can get that? like a cough button. <laughs> we could. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not fooling right. around. He knows I'm crazy. He is. He has hit the spinner twice, but both times got him one spin. Ah. And he can go all the way through. So some progress, but it's. But you know, not really ripping it, yeah, right? A single spinner rip from any player right now will pass that. Jack Revenue, Revenue trying to uh, one day be a weatherman like uh, Eric Stone. Eric Stone, yep. And so he studies meteorology, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to know that about him. A little Jack Revenue trivia. A little trivia for you. Yeah. And let and, me tell and you. And that face is wide right up on him, so I'm going to fix that later. And, you know, we've got umbrellas here, Tim. We've got all this, and it doesn't matter. There's still just, glare. I, I'm digging Jack's new shirt. I, yeah, I am too. I don't know if anybody's already commented on his shirt. No, no I, not yet. That shirt is awesome. <laughs> it's got a nice patch on there. Hey, got to find that spinner. Uh -oh. It's good. Now, those inserts are cupped a little bit. If you get a slow roller right in the middle, it will grab it and try and throw the ball down the middle. It's not as bad as Cleopatra, but it is noticeable. Ooh. Hi, Mom. How are you? That's not my mom, but... So you don't care at all, and basically about lighting ice fever or any of the nope. other aspects of the game. The ice Not is nice. Yeah, the ice is He's nice. He's gonna rip this fever, okay. yeah. this spinner though. Here and the other big thing is specials are 100k. Okay. So you can get decent points from specials. The problem is a good spinner rip is worth more than that. Got it. Oh, Woo! good bounce out. And great catch too. I don't really like the post transfer on this game. I don't know if I agree. You with don't that. like it. No, nope, you can. I, I'm surprised Jack did not tap past that. He's drop captioned right in the Glareville. Yep. Yep. <laughs> right in the it, no flipper zone. <laughs> he's he's doing this one spin at a time. Okay. See if he tries to tap. Nope. Going back to the. That will unlight his spinner. He hit the unlit yeah, lane. Yeah. See. It so goes all the way through, and it's just so unfortunate. Yep. There it's it is. Lit again. Now but it's going to unlight it. And that's why. No, no, it's lit. Yeah, no, Ooh, he, he relit it. it. That was a decent one. 30K, 40K, I think is what I saw on that. Maybe a little more than that. He's at five, almost 500,000. Yeah. The thing, the spinner's deceptive. It looks like you absolutely rip it, and you get no value out of it. Okay. Not huge, but not bad. Not bad. We're, we're seeing what? What are we seeing? About 800,000? 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, we're starting to, we, 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 we Noticing. All right, Ben, here we go. All right. Second okay. ball, player four. And let's see. Shats. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Trying little, it on the fly. 
Now, you're not likely to hit it on the fly, but it's not bad to try and park the ball on the other side, get control, then you can start thinking about where you're going to shat it to. But you got to light that spinner. You do. Okay, why I is mean. it called a shats? Uh, it was popularized by Neil Schatz. Neil Schatz. Yep. Wow. So to have an a actual pinball move <laughs> named after you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. Are there any other moves named after someone? Um, as well, Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. That's not really a. It's kind of a move. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the Huxley shot. Okay. okay. Sales. Um, anybody familiar with the Huxley shot? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Sales may be correct, or or he may be giving us a hard time. Wow, that was. Oh no, Sales. That's uh, that's Comic Alpine. Okay, he probably knows. He's probably not messing <laughs> with us. So. Oh, the Branson shuffle. I mean, you could have a Robert Byers kick. Okay, it's a shot in Demo Man, the Huxley shot. Oh, that's why I don't know. I never played would Demo you Man. do this call for it or would you bump it out? Absolutely. There's no reason not to get it to a cradle right here. Yeah, get it to a cradle, yeah. right? I mean, you're yeah. probably going to get Maybe it if you bump one. it out, but. The Elwin Pose. All right. Oh, yeah, Elwin Pose. Okay. Yep, yep, I know that one. Nice. I the did Kyle that transfer. One. This is called a virtual when it just sits there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd like to name that a virtual. Absolutely. Just sits there, okay. commentating, okay. doesn't shut up. The, the Jeff Davis pause. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. From While we're waiting for I this, I, watch this. I can go right here. Oh. Hey, and look at that. We're on I think ball one, Jamie, player one. Is that a two-rig system? It is a two-rig wow, system. I've been amazing. pumping it all day, buddy. Amazing. And Eric Stone it's is amazing. still on player ball one. Okay. He is at 3.2. 3 he put up 8 million yeah. earlier. Yeah. yeah. And this game plays exactly how Eric likes to play. Slow, grindy, shoot the same thing over and over. And he is very good at that. Clearly. All right, they're getting the ball. They're putting it on his, I'm not going to miss it, I promise. Now, interesting. So he has 3.6 million. He yeah. He has, I think, a a 4x player, uh, 4x bonus so far. But I think we're ready to go here, so I wanted to not miss it. Yep. Here's the two side-by-sides. I'm not going to keep it here. It is a little busy. It's a little busy. Uh, we'll mess with it later. but I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. <laughs> it's a but little busy, but I don't It's a little it. busy. Yeah. I'm going to fix this later when we get to it. But, yep. uh, let's go here. Let's go back to our friend here, Derek. All right, so oh, I got to change that. Thank you. Jeff got a spinner rip with a lit spinner. Thank Pass. you. Can't quite grab another one. Uh, this feed has been relatively polite. Good, Good save. Also gets the benefit of getting it away from that in lane, so it didn't unlight his spinner there. Oh, come on. Got to find it. Good. Oh. Uh, yeah. Not going to be enough. I mean, does put him in second for now, and I have seen stranger things on this game. Okay. But I would not bet on that being any points. Now, Wesley's been playing really well. I don't know if you were watching downstairs, Tim, but he he, he blew up a couple of games mm -hmm. earlier, and <laughs> I don't know what Ram Ranch like. Round mouth Super Bowl. I think they're talking yep. about a – oh, and Wesley, Wesley drained. Wesley got so bit. Right. And that's – And that's just – there's the bonus is so insubstantial in this game. You, you've got to go through and actually get <laughs> get the point off the spinner. We have some funny people in chat. Oh, yes. yeah, we do. They're just yes, trying it's to a camp quarter. me. It is a camp you know, quarter. You know, it's 2001, and camp quarters uh, were expensive, but they're not now. <laughs> yeah, they're not <laughs> so bad. I mean, we're sitting here playing pinball. I mean – is this 1980? <laughs> okay. Oh, he feels good about 640. Yeah, yeah. Ben, 650. Ben can definitely do it. He was, he was trying the shots pass earlier. We didn't look real comfortable with it. No. Okay. So let's see if he can get dialed in on it. 
And it's very specific to. Oh, okay. Nah, doesn't, doesn't need to. Doesn't just need take to. Free. Now hit oh. it out. Hammer it. Yep. Look at that. Look at that, Tim. Okay. Already now got two points. Yep. That he, was he just secured his two points. Yep. That one shot just secured his two points and gave Wesley a zero. Yep. All right. And that's how this just game works. Just like that, folks. Just like that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The and now we'll turn, move to Mark Mazur. I will oh, go well, here. Well, we're already on player three here. Look at this. One, two, three. Mark Mazur. Change that for you. Michael Bradley. We missed him on player two. It was a quick ball, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, Mark Mazur now. Yep. And now you want. I will be able to tell you what the next game is, too. Uh, they're I, moving to Barracora or Harlem Gold Trotters. Yeah. I've, I have seen Mark do exactly what Eric just did I on am, this game. I am actually shocked no one has rolled this game yet. Yeah. Really? Yep. And, and our, with yeah. how easy it's playing. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Monkey. Really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, please come back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and thank! I love this tournament too. It's a grind for me all day, and uh, but it's a grind for the stream. But we really, really love it. We are Wormhole Pinball. I'm Jamie Birchall. I'm joined by Tim Hood and Garrett Shane, a carpool pinball. And uh, I like you threw that in there. You, I, you I have carpool blanche. Carpool I, I pinball. To. You can throw that in all day. In. Plug it. Plug. 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 No worries. <laughs> no and worries. Uh, we are at the Classic Finals. We're in the semifinals of the TPF Classic Finals. Uh, we're going here to about four-ish, I think. Maybe five, and then we'll go right into the Wizards, and hopefully my batteries don't die. And I like watching Mark Meserve. He's animated. He's, yes. He, 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 you it, know. It's a, when Mark gets dialed in, he is a scary player to go up against. Uh-oh. Nice. Okay. Didn't quite need to flick that way. If you'd have held the flipper up, it would have just popped the right side. So but do you short control. plunge, too? Yes, absolutely. Do you short plunge, Tim? On this I game? Yeah. I never do not either, really, but no. they're short plunging. Yeah. Yep. So fun but fact, Jamie, about that's why I'm not like number 100 <laughs> or better or number 200 or better. Well, you're better than me, Tim. Yeah. But, uh, fun fact <laughs> about this sorcerer: the short plunge used to not be safe. Okay. Uh, when I had the sorcerer, the short plunge would kick hard to the left. Uh, so in the process of Jorge restoring it, it now is a straight feed to the right flipper. Nice. So interesting. So nobody spells. Thank you on the Ram Ranch merch next year. We oh, that's be, uh, awesome. Yes. So nobody spells sorcerer, right? Nobody's doing that. Now there, you actually will, but he's gonna want to try and get five X I mean, first. You might just do it on your own, right? Yeah, you, you're not shooting at play, it until right? until you get, you get to five X and you yeah. want to light your spinners. Yeah. When okay. you have five X, your spinners are where your points okay. are at. So a lot of sorcerers, you can actually flick this up to the S. I was not getting enough power off the flick on that. So left they flip. are going to Barracora. What would you like to do, guys? It's gonna be a grind regardless. Yeah, I think we can just. Uh, you want you want a uh, side by side rig and grind the shit out of both of them? I mean, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Sorry for the language. The other group is going to be finished, I believe, before this game ends. I think so. No kidding, right? Yeah. yeah. I think they may finish before Mark's done with ball one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Barracora can play long, although it is harder now. I, I'm, yep. I uh, just, again, I've seen. Let's try the side by side. Let's try the side by side. Let's see <laughs> if it drives us crazy. Okay. Right. And if it drives us a little nutty, I'm going to move this in a little bit because you can't see the uh, rig. Can't Ooh. See the yeah, I can't see the plate. I'll get it. All right, Mark getting another multi-ball. Is multi-ball three? I think it's number three. Hasn't done anything yet. Yeah, see, they're already on uh, ball two on Barracor here. So, uh, in Shell Schlock, as, uh, you can stage flip on this game. It is extremely late uh, on the button to get the top flipper to go down. Uh, one of the harder games to How's that? On. Better? Better. It's looking good. So, it looks like we got warm ups on Barracora going right now. Okay. Mark ah. Reserve is now working on his fourth multi ball. So let's go here so then. They're so they're just warming up on Barracora. Yep. So I shouldn't have done that. And we'll just stick with the side by side. Yeah. Let's just stick just with it. it. Stick with it. Right. I need to run to the restroom anyway. Yeah. All right. So I still think that Barracora is going to finish before Sorcerer. You do? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> will. Even though they haven't even started yet. I, I will. I will bet 
Barracora and Harlem will finish with four Sorcerer. Okay, all right. It's just, I think so, too. I mean, the Sorcerer plays beautifully. It's just this particular ROM in a I'm tournament. I'm just fixing just it a little bit, guys, see. to make it even better on the side-by-side. I mean, side. Honestly, I wouldn't mind watching Reserve here uh, because he's really he – He's really fun to watch when he plays this game. Oh, okay. absolutely. I mean. Please stop switching scenes. He's going to put Nick, I'm play. sorry. I'm, you know, I'm gun, gun happy. Just, just leave it. I'm going to leave this. We've got two groups. Oh. We can watch both groups. Yes. And if you need to know their names, they're right here. Okay, guys? Perfect. Thank you. Right. So chat is here, by the way, in order to see oh. chat, because I don't have a chat on this scene. Yep. yep. Mark's trying to figure out how he's going to cradle separate. Beautifully done. Okay. So they're testing on the right side of your yep. screen. So if I had to guess, Mark is now going to shoot the R target once he's got both balls cradled. It's 50K times five. Yep, he's Got shooting he's at it for sure. For it. Oh, there, it is. there it is. Spinners are lit. Okay. This is where you make all your money right here. So hit those spinners, man. Yep. Rip them. From what yeah, I have he heard. He's he, he needed to breathe a second there. Yeah. yeah. Ball control. Okay. From what I've heard, the left okay. spinner is spinning better than the right. Uh, but the right one is much easier to hit. The alternative to that is he can nice. just keep going uh, ramp all day. Oh, look it's going to be 150 each. Okay, right. Unfortunately. Did it not register that? It did lock it. Okay. okay. I, I didn't think that was going to lock. I Ooh, thought it was going to count over for here, the But he's ball. just practicing on bar right. four. So, you know, he picked up another million one, million two on that. So now he's at one six, one seven. Yep. So um, his, that was his fourth multi-ball. You know, but, you know, again, player one had three seven. Yeah, 3.69. So he's yeah. got a lot of work to do, even though he's having a great ball. On this other one here on Barracora, Wesley is player four, so he is the last to test. Okay. Okay. And here's your stream. I'll be back. Okay. Since right, we're leaving sir. it right here. Is that okay, yeah, gentlemen? That's great. Let's do it. All right. You know, I'm going to try to eat. Get, get Alan in? Alan says he's good. No? Okay. <laughs> There you go, good sir. All right, you have a favorite of these two games, Gary. Of these two? Yeah. Uh, these sorcerer two. all day. Okay. Um, more fun to play, even though it's simple. Yep. And uh, if just for which one I can play better, it's a sorcerer as well. And it, it, this is our Barracora that was yep. at the Avalanche Showdown. Absolutely. Uh, we brought it up here to try and sell. It's got a. Yeah, got the okay. price tag on it and everything. So okay. hopefully we don't have to take it back. You hear that, folks? Yeah, come buy a Barracora. <laughs> There's a Barracora for sale. Up in, up Lightning in flippers on both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Barracora plays mean enough. It doesn't necessarily need lightning flippers, but it, it's still going to be one of the longer playing games here. The big thing about this Barracora is sometimes the, the saucer that's next to the pops will drop the ball straight down the middle. So, got to watch out for that. Yep. Hey, Mark starting multi-ball. I've lost count at this point. It has to be, Eight. yeah, 6th <laughs> one, 7th one. Not sure. Probably 6th one. Yeah. Oh, that was a little rough. So, Rachel, just Everett, yes, D82 has lightning flippers, but the bigger thing is that you have the competition ROM or the custom ROM that actually gets a multiplier to the multi balls. Whereas this is a stock bear core, it does not have that. So, you are at 1x play field during your multi balls. And Mark shooting ramps. So, is that ROM, which one is the considered to be the actual ROM. Uh, so the original one is the one we have in here where it's not multiplied okay, during the ball. Yeah. Uh, the much more fun one is, is the one that actually multiplies. Two ball multiplier or yeah. 2x on a two ball, 3x on a three ball. Yeah. Okay, is it 
trying to commentate two games and looking back and forth. Uh, Mark will be shooting ramps. I, I, okay, now I'm done commentating Sorcerer. Yep. Uh, Jeff does have his top block lit. If he can hit that, uh, he will get essentially a ball save. Because if he drains while that ball is locked in the top, it will release it and he gets to keep playing. Not quite. So on Veracora, of course, you know, it's drop targets. You got to spell B-A-R on the, on the left. Yeah. Or a core on the right. Uh, and you got to do it in order. Yeah. And I got to uh, go run and play my game. So I'm going to head okay. off and I'll be back right, in Gary. hopefully a little while before I get back. But who knows? Okay. This jack's open. So it okay. might be five minutes. All right. All right. Okay, player three on Veracor. Uh, we've got uh, first couple of balls didn't really get much going on. Um, and Mark, of course, still going on Sorcerer. Ball one, 2.2 .2 million now. Uh, back to another multi-ball. Nice transfer there. Um, he's going to keep looking for his chance to get these spinners. He uh, spinners the ramp, so again, tough right out lane during right as he's trying to really get the rhythm back to the grind ramps <coughs> A very animated ball lock there from Mark uh, <coughs> cradles that ball on the right flipper again looking for this ramp shot Got that spinner though. Coming back. <coughs> we we're over on Barracora. We're up on player four now. Um, no real <coughs> scoring action there on uh, what appears to be three house balls on uh, first round. Not high scoring tournament balls. Okay. And we, I would be curious at this point how many multi balls Mark's actually had. It's, I think it's at least eight. I'm going to have to go back and watch. <laughs> and again. Mark now is at 2.55 million. Uh, player three ball one. Player one again has 3.69 million. So, and Mark has just uh, blocked it again for yet again another month. Okay, he's had <coughs> a tough time, really getting things going during his multi-balls and really getting the scoring that you would think, given that he's had nine multi-balls. <laughs> but not to give him too hard of a time. But it does seem like there's no tilt ball on Sorcerer, I agree. I think there is one. Um, but, and again, these some couple of these guys have played this game, I don't know how many millions of times individually it seems, and they just see, have that one shot dialed in so well. Um, and Mark's one of them. Back to Barracora, <coughs> uh, we are on player two, ball two. Um, really, um, anybody's game at this point in time. 
Oh, uh, hey, I played a whole game at Jack's Open, and Mark is still playing. Mark is still playing, and we're just wrapping up ball two on player uh, two on Veracore, and nobody's really gotten it going at all. Um, it's really oh anybody's, anybody's game here. Wow. Right, I mean, we're talking <laughs> 55,000 player two, ball two is high score right here, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, that's... That's pretty rough so far. But yet, okay. I think that's got to be number 10. I think, <laughs> multi ball, at least. I was saying, though, that given he's had 10 multi balls, he has not struggled at all getting multi balls, but he has struggled really capitalizing yep. on them. And that was another one. And back to multi ball. Yep. I mean, that's the thing with it, is just keep playing keep it. It's running. relatively safe. Survive the short plunge. That one was very polite. Yeah. Ooh. He just tilted out 500K in bonus. I don't know okay. if he had the bonus held or not. All right. Someone was asking a second ago whether there was a tilt bob. <laughs> oh, there is. Yeah. But uh, he and he went as long as he could. But, yes, he, he basically gave up enough bonus that it would have tied him. Yeah. So for everyone in the chat who's seeing how long Sorcerer plays, uh, for qualifying, outlane rubbers were on, center post rubber was on, and it played for forever. I mean, the queue took two and a half hours if you wanted to play it. That's why I didn't yeah. play it in qualifying. Yeah. There's just no reason to waste that much time. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's a little harder, but still, it's still a little easy. All right. I was a little surprised that that's there and, and playing yeah. that easy. But uh, so on Veracora, here we are, player two, ball three, 105,000 is going to take it right now as player one. Yeah. 105,000 will win it. I don't think that's going to win it. That will definitely not hold Jeff to get his lock finally. Yep. Okay. But uh, it's really just anybody's game here in Veracora. Maybe not player one's game um, at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Jack, <laughs> unfortunately, is. He's going to take a pretty big ding yeah. on this, I have a feeling. Ooh, that was really close. Do not tilt okay. out there, Jeff. Okay, so we're back to Eric on Sorcerer as well. I did not see what happened. Uh, 2,400 yeah. points happened on Th that sounds like four. That sounded like a short plunge, brick the uh, nice. ramp, yep. and then out lane or down the middle. You know, that's, that's, that's always, dangerous. you know, a feel-good moment when you're playing. If you're player two or player four here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. Yeah. And that Sorcerer's one of those games you got to understand. Just get in the roll, get in the zone. You can do it all in one multiple. Okay. Okay, over on Barracora, player two. Yep, Jeff has... 147,000. Yep, and he's, he's got another lead. he's got another locklet up top. Got a second uh, locklet in the lower saucer. This is where he go for the three ball. Um, yeah, minute, nothing else in the three ball. Send it up there so you have your pseudo ball save. Exactly. Yeah, Jeff Davis, I believe the is Nebraska State champ. Okay. And Eric Stone over here, the Florida State champ. Two state champs playing right now. Nice. I want to say it's Nebraska. How I many state champs are here in this tournament? Any idea? Um, three that I know of. Okay. So these two and myself yeah. are the only three I know of here. Um, I think uh, Dalton's here. Dalton? Uh, Dalton? Dalton? Dalton Neely? Yeah, he's, no? No, I don't think he's, he's here. here. If, okay. he's, if he's here, I haven't seen him yet. He's okay. not playing in the tournament. Oh, Derek, Derek was Alberta. Good to know, good to know. The stream looks really good downstairs. It's really cool. I went Sweet. and ate a sandwich. The stream looks great up here. Glad to get a little break. I needed it. This group on the right will be finished before the group on the left is done with Sorcerer. Yes, absolutely. There's, I mean, there's <coughs> a chance someone gets bit by Sorcerer or something. You know. Yeah. Half ramp something, get it down the middle where it'll kick hard to the right out lane. But I don't expect that. 
expect that to happen. So Jeff taking his second multi ball. So that's Ben Clement down on your right. Is that correct? That's Ben? Playing right now? Yeah. That's Jeff Davis. Oh, Jeff Davis. Okay. Where's Jeff play out of? Uh, he Omaha. plays up. Yep, Nebraska. Yeah. He was their state champ. Yep. That's why if anyone is on next.matchplay, you, if you're watching, you, you've used it. Put, go to the account settings. Put your picture, picture on there. Tell us where you're from because it's, it's really becoming a really great system. Yeah. Jeff's showing some great ball control. Patience, not unnecessarily uh, jailbreaking those balls, keeping it over there. Just little moves with the flipper. Ooh, that's kind of fun. that's pretty. Little moves with the flipper to control. Perfect, beautiful separation. Keep doing it. Okay. Jailbreak there, couldn't quite keep it. But you're good. There's no benefit to the third ball in this game. Other than if you got both of them on one flipper, uh, you have one extra after you drain out. How does everybody like the two rigs? Is it too much? Let us know. But, I mean, what they're doing on Sorcerer is just amazing. Yeah. But do you think we'll have Sorcerer in, in the finals? Uh, yeah, right? If it's Eric gets to pick, I believe you will see it. Yeah. He's if Jack gets to pick, you'll see it. If I think Jeff is the other high seed still remaining. If he gets to pick, he will not pick Sorcerer. I, say that. I don't want to crap on it. It's just, you know, no, I, just, I only uh, have so many batteries. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I only have 24 yeah. hours of batteries. Sorcerer is a great game. It's a lot of fun to play. It's a great game. There's but Bowen behind him, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Good ball on Barracor going on here. Oh, great ball. Got his bonus nearly maxed. Uh, Start thinking about completing the four, five, six up top so you can get your bonus flag. Which he didn't he didn't change over the lane well, in time, he, yeah. He couldn't though, because oh, he's gotta get a one, three, two, three you gotta first. get a one, two, three. You're correct. You're not wrong often. <laughs> not about pinball anyway. Alright. Bonus is nearly maxed. He needs the R and the A will max his bonus out. Can you backhand this, the uh, the scoop up there? I've uh, seen some people do it. You it might be able to try it. I wouldn't go for it. Right. You'd probably have to take it off the pop bumper. Yeah, he's got one more to go. That's trouble. Ooh, good save. There's oh. a virtual. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> That's not coming off there the way he wants to, I, I think. If I was him, with his bonus right now, no one's got a game. Don't nudge it. Let the TD drain it for you. Be done. Don't, really? Don't bother with it. If you nudge it and tilt, you lose 500,000. There you go. Uh, just just have the TD drain it for you. Don't even bother saving it. It's not coming back. No, it's not coming back. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right choice. And he said drain it. Yep. That's awesome. That is the correct choice there. Oh, we've got a player change on Sorcerer. Yes. And All right. So, yes. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately that. Five. Yeah. Now we're up to Mark Meserve again. That's interesting ruling. Hey, take this off. Take the glass off so you can drain it for me, Tim. Yep. So, if it's a 50 50 in lane, out lane. If you have a TD free it, it's always going to be It's nice outlet. to have a TD on the commentary with us yeah. because really I don't know th all those particular rules. But yep. so, that's so what's he going to do? Just tip it? He's yep, he's just yeah. going to roll it down the out lane. So that collected special also. I didn't realize he had a special slit. That was another 100K. So big score. Ooh, 1.145. Did you yep. see that jump up, Tim? I did. That was Holy why smokes. you That's don't why you don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Uh, if <laughs> if he needed another 3 million, sure, try and shake it out. You got to. But with the other players having 63,000, 49,000. Yeah. yeah. It's like don't don't bother with it. Just just let it go. So you have to attempt to get it out or ask for it to be drained. Correct. Interesting. 
cool. All right, Mark stop. The Jeff Davis pause yep, again. Jeff Davis pause. Maybe we can make that a thing. Okay, that one shot to the saucer is going to put Ben in front of uh, Jack. I believe this has been playing bear core right now. Ooh, good save right there. Just a quick, fast move, get the ball out of the center. The pause, his new nickname. It's almost too much pinball Having on the ball. double screen. Yeah. It's almost too much. Almost. I'm not going to do this <laughs> a lot on the Wizards, I promise you. But the semifinals, it just seems like the semis. It, it, it well, makes sense for the semis. It makes sense for the semis. Yeah. And the thing is. But it's a lot of overload. And we know that on Sorcerer, we could end up with <laughs> some very long balls. Yeah. We want to kind of monitor. But and, and yeah. We don't want to. You can look over at Sorcerer to see if the same person is still playing. Yeah. And you know what they're going to be doing. They're going to be shooting the left ramp, so they have 5x. All right, safety. Uh, I'm calling that the safety ball up top. Yep. All right, ball locked. Safety locked, safety you know. Safety lock. All right, so Ooh. he took his 4, 5, 6 there. And the problem with that, he's not going to be able to get a bonus play until that safety ball is released, which is fine. You definitely want to do that and get that ready. However, his multiplier oh. is... Almost Don't walk away. We saw someone walk away earlier. So multiple times some uh, someone walk away. Did not know that that's a safety ball. Yeah, ah. Can't do that. Mark Mazur still doing his thing over there on Sorcerer. Where are you up on the Wizards, sir? Uh, I'm about to go play Jack's Open again. All right. Uh, we'll Mark's see up you. on it right see now. So we'll see you in a couple on. minutes. <laughs> 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 He wouldn't have played it earlier, and he was back in just a few minutes. And, uh, well, yeah. that's not lucky. Yep. So when you play the Barracor at the Wormhole, oh, what's your strategy? Do you bar it all day, or do you try to do the safety up top? Or I mean, I like to work on the, the, the left side first, just because you get the, the initial multi-ball lift. Okay. And then uh, start working on the right side after that. But, um, All right, well, this is ball three for Wesley, and Wesley needs points, guys. You know, Wesley needs points. Because after Wesley took a zero. You know, Jack has four. Ben Clement has two. Jeff Davis has one, and Wesley. So Wesley well, really needs right. to just but, grind. But, but let's what's, go back to that. Jack's about to get a zero here, right? Yes. And so, And Jeff is in good shape Jeff's to look like he's going to get gonna his four. four. Oh, and, and just go. Wesley had no chance. We so the answer to the rest right there. yeah, we did. Um, so let's go. So where does that leave us in that group? That group is going to put Jack Revenue. Jack may have avoided his four. He did. It was zero there. He did. Let's um, see. Wesley got the zero. Yes, he did. So Wesley has zero points. Jack is going to get five points. Jeff Davis is now at five, and Ben Clements at four. Yep. Wesley, you know, is, is really kind of playing lame here. Yeah. So, but he can be a disruptor. While we're waiting, <laughs> let's just go he straight to here. Disruptor. Yeah, he can't. He Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And I'll change this to Sorcerer. Uh, so while we're waiting for them to move the rig, we will watch, go back to Mark Reserve and watch what he's doing up. All right. And Wesley did blow up. Uh, they're going to be moving on to uh, – Harlem Globetrotters, and Wesley did blow up Harlem earlier, earlier. but. Got it. All right, so uh, Mark here at 3.69. There's a multi-ball. And let's see <laughs> if we can capitalize. I like watching Mark Meserve. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I think I get a kick out of him, man. And he's a great pinball player. Yes, he is. But we're on ball two on Sorcerer, yep. and 
these guys are fighting. And this is player one, player three are really battling. Yeah, out. and that's Eric Stone and Mark Reserve. This is their first game in the semis. And they've got long players. They got Sorcerer Barakora, and they're playing. Um, Actually, they're playing far out and Mars Trek after this. Okay. So those aren't as long. Uh, and Wesley's group is moving to Harlem Grove Trotters, and they haven't moved the rig there yet. So ex this is what we would call our pop-in group. Our featured group of the day uh, is Wesley Johnson's group. I think they might. It's very possible that it Group 2 could finish all three games. I know. It would be uh, pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Brick, uh, Brick Drain is yelling at uh, Mark, telling him he doesn't need the 5X. Just play the spinners. But he's trying. Oh. I mean, this, this he has been jammed up on that shot. Well, the um, spinners are lit, right? I know, but as well as he's played, he's just still. There you go, a little bit. 4.6. He's now in first place. When you jam those, when those spinners are lit like that. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. But okay, here comes uh, another shot at the spinner here. Let's see if he can rip this, Tim. I think he's going for the right again. No, he can stop. That's much later than you think. Ooh. Oh, look. <laughs> re rebound up the ramp. That was lucky. That's a nice couple points up top. So here's the problem. Because Sorcerer is next to... Uh, Harlem Ooh. Grove Trotters. It's literally next to Harlem Grove yeah. Trotters. I can't get the other rig in. Ah, okay. Because so uh, we're stuck at Sorcerer, guys. Okay. He's lost his touch on that. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> so some ninja moves. It was some nice. Handshakes. A little karate, karate. Yeah, a little karate. A little karate. Your kids were in the karate. They were. Oh yes. <laughs> they were in the karate. My kids yeah. didn't do any of that. Oh, Colin did for like one when they were little. Okay, well, another. Look at his moves. <laughs> I mean, he's on point, Fox. He, he is, Tom. He's, you know. See, when I play Sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> what know, do you do? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't get 20 multi-balls. You know, no, per, I get like game. one. Yeah, exactly. Maybe so two. It takes me a little bit more to get that. But, uh, yeah. And I don't soft plunge like they do. But they, well, I know why they're doing it, right? Because look where he put it. Yes. Right. Oh, right on the nose. I got to say, it seems to be playing a little easy. <laughs> it's either playing easy or they're that that good. I mean, yeah, I've flipper been, I mean, coils. Player two and player four would say it's not really playing that easy. <coughs> I am worried about their flipper yeah. coils, Tim. Yeah. The smoke coming off of them <laughs> after uh, his. Ah, oh, there you go. You know what's awesome is if. Uh, <laughs> what's he okay, saying? I, don't I know. wish I had a personal yeah. mic on him. Exactly. He needs. Well, we need a. Too bad the ram shot is all he can make. Why would you do something else? We need a mark mic so we could. I know. <laughs> I have a little road. A little but mark so we can hear he's what at 5.2. Why would he do something else? Yeah. All right, so the spinners are ripped again. Okay. Oh. That time he decided just to go for the uh, go for the ramp. Good save there. Does question does sorcerer have a rollover light we'll find out i think we might find out i think it would um it should yeah, that's a very good question
Come on in, Garrett. Okay. Garrett. Hey, Garrett, that know. wasn't that long. Hey, Garrett, I got a well, question just came up on does Sorcerer have a rollover light? A rollover light. Like uh, if we get over 10 million here. Uh, it does not. It does not. All right. So, Garrett, we explained here earlier that, unfortunately, uh, did they move Harlem Globetrotters? No, because it's next to Sorcerer. Yep. So I can't fit two rigs. That's the rub. Yep. So we're stuck at Sorcerer. But it's pretty awesome pinball we're watching. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I wonder if he'll tilt away another 500K at the eventual ending of this ball. Yeah, he might. That might be the only way he ever finishes this ball. <laughs> is, uh, eventually, eventually, I think he'll drain. Well, he didn't eventually <laughs> drain the first time. He eventually <laughs> nudged it enough times to where he tilted. Yep. But, um, which, you know, uh, he may give up 500,000 but then live with a double danger for 2 million, right? So yeah. So it's a. Okay. Anvil, it is a custom ROM to set it up to where you have to hit the drop slide the locks. So you cannot do that on a factory source. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining us, this is Warm Up Good Pinball. Idea. We are in the classics semi-finals of Texas Pinball Festival. I'm joined by Tim Hood and Garrett Shahan, and uh, we are watching literally game one, ball three, ball, ball two, two, ball two. Yep. of Sorcerer, excuse me, yep. and uh, the other group that is going on will more than likely finish before Sorcerer at, uh, on Harlem Globetrotters. Yep. The issue is it's right next to it. I can't get the rig in. <coughs> Yeah, remove the right lower flipper to make Sorcerer faster. I, yeah. You know, look, we all wanted to play harder because this is, that it's amazing what they're doing, but it's amazing what they're doing. Oh, absolutely. It it's, yeah. Uh, really, if they wanted this to not play as long, if you could just put a big fat rubber on that right spinner, on that right side, to where you cannot short plunge it safely, that would help a lot. But oh, I see what you're it's saying. It's about the only thing they could do here right now that would actually make it faster. Okay, lock two. So an interesting thing, there's two runs of Sorcerer, and they have a very slight difference in the back glass. Uh, I can't remember. I think this is the later one, but the one of, there's actually a gameplay difference between them. On one of the runs, if you lock a ball during multi-ball, while a ball is already in the lock, you will not get awarded another multiplier. On this one, it should still give you a multiplier if you lock two at the same time. Mm. I don't know why they're like that, why th what that that difference is the case. Uh, but since we had both of them, we got to try that out. It was just weird experimenting with it. Like, why does this one behave mm. this way and the other one does not? Oh. Yeah, Thorin would, <laughs> Thorin would have a bunker on that left ramp. I don't know who Thorne is. Eric Thorne? Oh, I do. Okay. And another ball already locked. Man, he's, it's just unbelievable. Like I said, I am shocked no one has rolled this yet. Well, we're going to find out if he could do it with his ninja moves. I think he could do it. I hope he rolls it. It would be really kind of cool. I would be okay with that. I mean, what time is it? It's only uh, 2.35. Well, anyone who is still trying to get into the Wizards while this is going on is going to... Uh, so what do they do? I mean, if they're still trying to qualify for Wizards. Honestly, and you're I'm going to tell Jack go get in the queue because this is going to go forever. Oh, that's true. How is that group looking? Let's, let's see if Jack... I, I'm not going to change the score. Well, I can't. I can't look at it. I can tell you real quick. How about that? I can't, Fred. It, uh, Globetrotters is right next to Sorcerer, so I can't squeeze them all in. To out Eric Stone this game is an insane achievement. It, yeah. But Eric's got ball three. 
Yep. He does. Uh, so right now for group two, Jeff Davis has five points. Wesley Johnson has zero. Yeah. Jack Revenue has five. Ben Clement has four. Which means Wesley has been eliminated. All three other players are still in it. Right, correct. If they take a first on Globetrotters, they are automatically in. Yeah, you're going to have to get out of the chair, Fred. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Again, we're in the classics. We are. 7.4 million. 7.4. Spinner time? Are we going to see some spinners now? No, I don't know. Man. He was he, ripping them before. He's, okay. He's, he's had them at times, and then he's lost a touch of time. Mark was clean shaven when this game started. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he had a full head of hair when <laughs> <Yeah>. he started. <laughs> That's great. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a great yeah. job playing with that stage flipper up there. Uh, it is extremely tight to stage that top flipper. Oh. All right. And the post transfer and the left ramp. Do you have a sorcerer, Tim? Uh, I do not. John has one. John has one. Yeah. That's right. I did have one. Um, and Zach has it now. Oh, Zach okay. I had one, and uh, t John had two. Remember? Well, I I had one, and he had one. Yeah. Um. So. And I think he. Bought I think he had. An, yeah, he had another one. And then I right. bought that, yeah. and then I sold it during yeah. COVID for a nice little. I did. Yeah. I had a good little profit that was on nice. it. That's nice. Flipped it out. <laughs> yeah, I flipped it. Yeah, we had three three sorcerers. I figured so. we didn't need three sorcerers in the wormhole. <laughs> Could you it? Now we're just down to one. Could you imagine the four X's if you had three of these? No. <laughs> The four X's. I'll tell you what. One of the things that you got to give it to John Spades mm -hmm. is the the wormhole games play hard. This would not last at the wormhole. We would change we would this. Something. We yeah, would change would this. Yeah. There would be no rubbers on this game. <laughs> and lightning flippers and everything. You'd have to. Yeah, otherwise, you you, otherwise, you're gonna wait all night. Well, Every because we have Monday it. game, Monday yeah. nights, and you can't be there till midnight. So here's the other big thing: this game's playing exceptionally slow right now. Yep. It needs more, more angle oh. to the uh, play oh. field. Oh. And the other thing that would do is make it a lot harder to hit that left ramp. So you're going to need a cleaner shot. Now, I'm not going to start singing on your on your screen, but have you heard of the left ramp song? There's a left ramp song. Yeah. I you think you sing away, brother. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it. So Tracy, you're not going to give me your ten to sing. Is that a recorded no, song? So like I can go. Uh, it's it's on our carpool channel. It's the only okay. short we have. Okay. Uh, I, I was playing uh, Simpsons Daddy East. You shoot the left ramp on that game and do nothing else. And after an hour of that, Trey just started singing, left ramp, left ramp. So that's kind of what it feels like right now, for being honest. Rip that spinner. Oh, what, yeah. what would you be doing here, hitting the spinner? Yeah, uh -oh. you ripped the spinner. Uh, if that's set to points, that was uh, stupid points because he's at 5x. I think special's 250 on this game. Someone might go back and check that. Yeah, but 250 times 5x on that drain, uh, I'll drain out of the multiple any day there. I think what I would be doing is hanging out like player two or player four, waiting for my turn. I would go <laughs> to the wormhole booth down below. It's not only a three-minute walk. It's not yeah, very exactly. long. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Go get some bit. food. Take a nap. <laughs> a little nap. Between. I'm thinking about taking a nap <laughs> in the finals when Eric Stone no, takes this again. Exactly. If he gets to the finals. I mean, this is still only ball two, folks. Yeah, it's just let it, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. This show. Well. He, d he decided not to tilt out that yeah. time. <laughs> I don't think that's so much Mark showboating. Is That's just how Look he at plays. Score. Well, he also, honestly, I don't think he's – it's an automatic win there. It's, he's not entirely safe. Absolutely not. <laughs> no I way. I mean, he's in a good spot, but he's not entirely safe. No. Eric Stone can definitely come back. If you're 10 million ahead of Eric on this game, I'm still not confident. I, this, that's just how the Sorcerer yeah. plays. Now, here you are, Derek Thompson. You had an <laughs> absolutely had, terrible ball did. one, he right? Yeah. Well, you yeah. had to wait now, for but, it. But you are still battling to make sure you don't get yeah, to zero. But yeah. Here's the thing. Don't think about your ball one. <laughs> Think about your gift you have on that left ramp right now. There is a oh, ball locked for you. Oh, that's right. That. Short plunge, yeah. start it, exactly. you're good. Boom. And you're in. You can roll this thing in one multiple. And over. Okay. I mean, I don't, 
like his odds. <laughs> no, but. But. No, you could definitely do but it. Hey, though. he's only had one golf. He had to sit through all that. I would just okay. be fuming. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh. Yeah, it is like bad flip and forgotten. But then you get one. All right. Boom. Just like that. He's definitely. Yeah. Uh, get. <coughs> so. He got fourth. First. Okay. So there. Uh, we, we just got a sideline reporter told us, guys, that there is a tiebreaker in the other group between Ben Clement and... Uh, yeah, Ben Clement and uh, Jeff Davis. And Jeff Davis. Yeah. So once they pick that, we are absolutely going to double rate that. a tiebreaker for... To go to the, the, go to the, finals. To the finals. They're finished in the semis on uh, Wesley's been eliminated. So they are in a uh, tie-breaking group Ooh. between uh, Ben Clement and Jeff Davis. And that and the fourth and, went and through. Jeff, uh, yeah, that's Jack Avenue. So yeah. Jack made it through and yeah. we got a tiebreaker for second. It's yeah. Unfortunately, Derek in tried to do group. a cradle separation, flick the ball into the out lane. Uh, so Jack, if, uh, Fred, if you're listening, you can sit back down. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? I can't tell what he's trying to do. The post transfer is easy on this game. Like he's uh, trying to walk it out. And yeah, oh, he tilted. Too much, way too much. Show a little flex there, too. Yeah. Little flex. Little flex. All right. He's still making one point. Which, yeah. This is game I one, mean, so th who knows what's going to happen here. Hey, yeah. way to show up for classics today. I'm talking to a guy named BK from Corpus yeah, Christi. He yeah. plays at Quasars, <laughs> and he slept through classics. He slept through classics today. And because you slept through classics, a young kid got in, and he played his rear end up named Miles. Yeah. Great kid. See? <laughs> you I am going no, to go not. play uh, my third game of Jack's Open okay. while this game of Sword Street is going. Okay. Oh, my God. Good luck. All right. Let's make sure we, we do not want to miss uh, Tim the tiebreaker. So... And the tiebreaker is on which game? We don't know yet. Okay. That is random. So they uh, randomly pick the order and randomly choose the game. It is a system uh, okay. that they choose, and it's a little different. All right, here comes Eric Stone. Yeah, Boob, I'm telling you, he partied too hard last night. Pretty surprising, right? <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Anyone that knows BK knows that is always a possibility. Yes. All right, Eric Stone. Just looking right. over there, and they didn't move the rig over there for us. Okay, thank you. You want me to run and move the rig over there for the tie break? Oh, no, Jack's doing it. Okay. Nice, Jack, thank you. And I'll go double rig again. We could. What do you think? Because I, I want people to see if Stone comes back. That would totally be at it. At this point in time, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll at least go double rig as long as he's on, as long as Stone's still playing. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got his multi ball. Um, probably ramp shot here. Oh, lost it. And this so will be a. 4.6 million. He's going to go straight back to the left ramp, uh, trying to get – Oh. Ooh, and it's out. That's it, folks, on that one. Wow. So, um, Eric Stone ends with 4.69. Good second-place score so far, but uh, especially with uh, player two and four. Here is our side rigs. So we have Jeff Davis, Ben Clement. And they are on. What are they on? It'll tell me. What are they on? Looks like Cleopatra. I don't know. Is that Cleopatra, guys? It's yeah, it's got to be. It's got me. Oh. I'm surprised they're not doing one and three players, unless they're practicing now, but I don't. I think they're practicing.
Well, we'll find out soon enough. Mark Meserve. And we just, uh, unfortunately, I didn't mean this to, to, to skip over Michael, but he had a tough ball there on Sorfer. Are they practicing or are they playing? I think, I they're, think they're playing. playing. They're playing. I think, uh, yeah, they're on player two here. And 48,000 versus 13. So what do you want to do in this game that we think we identified as Cleve Patrick? Well, I mean, we saw it earlier. The, the, the two lanes up top, yep. it, w we've seen them go up top a lot. Get up top. I, I think that the, 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 I, my, my television is not working, but above the, spe the Sphinx head seems really dangerous to me. <laughs> but that does light your bonus value. Okay. This so is where we need Bob so Matthews. Roll over, let your 5,000 bonus yes. be green, white, blue, others, and the yellows. Gotcha. And let's see what Jeff can do. Ball two. He also has the targets in the middle there, which he seems to want to avoid, which makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, th Cleopatra, three-player game, five-player game. Looks five like five. Got to be five, five right? Um, and I anticipate it's a five-ball game. Yes. And what are they doing over here with Mark Meserve? Are they giving him the W? I don't know. Because I'd like to see him roll it, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Oh. All right, 84 to 18. I think that's exactly what's happening on Sorcerer, Tim. I think they're, they're deciding whether the whether to, he needs to play that last Yeah. Ball. But I mean, I'll get a sideline reporter over there. You know, if I'm player four, I'm saying absolutely he has to play that ball because I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah, I like that, dude. I like that. And then, you know, it's funny. I, I, it's like a golfer waiting for the par five to clear, yeah. and you duff it. Yeah. That happened to me yes, a lot, unfortunately. Exactly. And I was a good uh, player. Exactly. <laughs> you, I mean, you know player four is not coming back. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll double check that. Oh. Right here. Okay. The, the mercy drain on reserve there. And that's exactly what they did. They let him drain. And. Okay, here we go. Now, he's okay. got a little. It, now. Derek's only got to make nine million points on this ball. Yeah, but he's but secured he a point, not, right? Okay, exactly. On the sorcerer job, and he's, here we are. Exactly, and he can fight for second. All right, Jeff. This is play. This is ball four, if I'm correct, on this one. Okay, roll over. Nine. He's about to like double oh, bonus lit, and he didn't get that. I will switch after this ball or when he cradles. I don't want you to miss Cleopatra because there's a oh. Oh. Okay. oh, wrong one. Sorry. All right, 21,000. This is ball five. This is it. This is it. Oh, good call. Thank you. Here comes Ben. He needs a ball, guys. We've all had him. So this is a tiebreaker in this group. For some this is it. This and is it. that's it. Ben is out. Jeff Davis and is Jack it, uh, Revenue are moving on to the finals in the Classics. Congratulations to both of them. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, all right. Wow, they're going to get some whoppers there. And the finals right. start tonight what time, Jimmy? The finals for Classics? Mm -hmm are going right they after go, this. We're going go all the way up to 5 o'clock, okay. I, I have a feeling, yeah. guys. It and then like we're going to go be. right to Wizards. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's going to be much of a break yeah. for us. And there's, that's fine. So congratulations to Jeff Davis and Jack Revenue for moving on. I'm going to move to the TPF room here so you can see yeah, what's going on. That. We're pretty busy. A lot uh, of people still playing. And next year, where you see the tournament sponsors, another camera. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 
Just wow. like we got the wormhole wired, we're going to get everything else wired. So nice. we are waiting for them to move the rig. I might have to move that, Tim. I don't have a rig mover. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, what did you end up moving? So, I actually, we're on both. Here we are, we're on Mars Trek, and... Uh, I agree, that room is, is a little stuffy. Sorry, Spiritgate was saying the room looked a little stuffy. It's, uh, it's a little stuffy. It was freezing in here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Freezing. Sorry. So they're just practicing. Yeah. Uh, Okay, sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, Why I don't think they're practicing, dude. They're ready. We're ready here. Mark Reserve, Eric Stone, Derek Thompson. And what I did is I just moved the second rig into the next to far out so I don't have to move rigs. It's yeah. just me and you. We're here. Yeah. We're ready to go. Yes, yeah, so they went right into it. They're already on player three, ball one. Yeah. Derek here comes Derek. Up here. Mars track, Sega, Sega Sonic game. Spanish game. I like it. I like the two uh, spinners on the right side. I do too. It's neat. Mm -hmm. Nice. Lean. Go, so coming out of the R or the T is in deep trouble. Just mm -hmm. it, It's just in deep trouble we saw this earlier in the yep. in the first round yep. and especially coming out of the r as it's going to roll gonna down there down. you see that it's gonzo yeah, yeah. all right so I'm, I'm a little worried about this for him see the bounce that he he they saw it this morning and he tilted mm. there's bob matthews that's going a quick one he's wrote a book i don't think we're going to have a repeat of source no no, no 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 these next two are going to go quick <laughs> these next two are going to go quick all right, Mark Reserve waiting on the tilt. Extra ball has been disabled here on Sonic's Mars Trek. He has 28,000, player one. He has four points from the first round. Uh, so he's sitting pretty in that regard. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. Eric Stone, player two here, is in the lead, 78,000. See, top two move on, yep. right? Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to win, but get your four points, Mark Reserve, and move on. Oh, if, you, if Mark wins here, he's moving on. Yeah. And if Eric wins here, he's moving on. Right. So, at the end of the day, I mean, those two guys are the odds-on favorites and playing as such. Yeah. Oh, good save. The double spinner is there. We got double rigs. They got double spinners. Okay, here's that R. Oh. MT. See how they bounce it right yeah, there, yeah, and it's gone. To. It's well, absolutely they're trying to get control of it because they know yeah. it's they know it's going out. <laughs> they know it's going out. They're laughing about it because yeah. they know. Sorry, and with the tilt the way it is. All right, here comes Eric Stone. Eighty-three thousand on the nose. What you don't see that? Mark's got one hundred and thirty. Oh, got that uh, player one. So. 
Yes, sir. There it Get is. It up top. Nice bounce out. Yeah. Oh, did he collect his bonus? Yes. Yes. Two thirty. So it's worth it, right? It's, yep. That's kind of scary, but. All right, Derek, let's go. Come on. Where's Derek from? You know, it doesn't say. That's why yeah. I want Derek to go ah, to his next not match go. play dot and events and so we can tell. Let's go. Get yes. your picture up there, Derek. <laughs> tell us where you're playing out of. All that yeah, good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> I actually still need to do that myself. <laughs> uh, Derek's from Alberta. Alberta provincial champ. Awesome. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Oh. <laughs> Chat's funny. Don't you get a kick out of chat? I do. I, I do. get a kick out of them, man. I don't read them all. I mean, I read them, yeah. but I don't you announce don't necessarily them. read them all. Right? Yeah. But every once in a while, one will make you laugh. <laughs> Alberta's the Texas of Canada. They love rodeo up there. Oh, absolutely. They really do. Stampede. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you. Good bounce out. Pin slacks. They're funny. Have you uh, seen our friend John Spates this morning? I have. Oh, okay. How's yeah. he doing? He's doing good. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I didn't know because he was trying to qualify this morning. I've not I, seen him up well. here, I but I saw him, him uh, downstairs. Ugh. All right. Hey, Here you want to get go. on? Hey, All here right, comes got, Jack. Uh, hey, Jack. Because Jack, Jack, let me ask you a question. Uh, yo, You're up? waiting for the finals. Yeah. Um, are you going to try to get some Wizards games in before? I'm on cue for Jaws. Okay. But so uh, it ain't going to matter. But you know. <laughs> It's not, is I'm going to need at least five solid games to even get a chance. But. You don't think you're going to make it in the Wizards? No. I'm just going to go to the game before I have fun. I am absolutely fine with this. I mean, making finals here at Classics is fine with me. Your mom's here. Oh. Hey, Mom. <laughs> That's funny. Making it in the finals of Classics is a pretty big deal. Yeah, I get to have a plaque. <laughs> I don't even care how I play in the finals. Why do you mean you don't care how you play? That's I don't like well, that. Well, no, talk. I mean, I mean, I care, <laughs> but I mean, if I play poorly, you know, I have to be excited here with comes, how I've already played. Here already. comes Eric. This is a March Trek three that or four. That's a great five ball. Game. It's five right. ball. Uh, okay. That was a good feed right there. It came off the top of the sling instead of doing what it did just right there, because normally it'll hit the this like just barely about center mass of it, and it'll go left right sling and then bounce pretty much That's everywhere. All right, 336, player two. That may not be enough. Player three's got 301. He's well, we're on, it's five balls, so we'll five be balls, okay. He's upset about uh, something. But he's, sure he's upset. Well, he's, he's passionate he about one? it. You know? He's passionate. He's passionate. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Yeah. These are uh, some good scores passionate. for ball three. I mean, 300. If you're over 300 on ball three, I would be pretty happy. I mean, you know, walking on to ball three, let alone playing it. I mean, Derek uh, had a really good ball, too. Yeah. He did. All right, Derek Thompson. Uh, Eric, Eric's in his ear. Eric, leave him alone, man. You guys uh, are late. <laughs> still didn't like something. This just felt weird. We, we finished our Harlem game, and it's like, oh, they're still in game one. Huh. Yeah, um, <laughs> Sorcerer ran a little long. Yeah, the, 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 TD, uh, the TD was like, so maybe we'll just get rid of the gate so there's no multi ball. Because <laughs> usually there's a ROM yes. where you could set it so you have to hit the targets to light lock instead of it being automatic. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. But it, it, it's, yeah, it, it's not a setting you can set. So you did you get wrong. a chance to play this? Because you got to bounce that out of there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when okay. it first, when when it it comes down the T, the R you'll be okay, but if it comes down that T, it gets too much momentum and you're done. I'm assuming Garrett said something about, about that. And I'm no expert. I've just seen it yeah. by sitting here. So. Oh, that was... Good bounce out. 
He didn't, oh, oh my, that would have gone into the outline. Thank you, it would have. I don't know how he even touched that ball with that flipper. Oh. oh, Omaha, thank you, Beercade. You know, regardless of what he does here, Michael Bradley was playing absolutely phenomenal both uh, first round and quarters. Stick that thing up in your mouth, buddy. Yeah, I, I, I don't really like doing that. I know, dude, but you got to do it. I'm sorry, man. All right, reserve, foul four. That was another good feed there, too. Mark, nice. We were saying before you got here, Mark wants this W, right? Uh, oh, I'm sure. Nice. You got a nice bounce off of that plastic. Oh. That's bound to happen, unfortunately. I mean, the, the rubbers are boing, boing. You know, they're, <laughs> they're bouncy. Right. Yeah. That's ball four, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we have seven more balls. Seven more here. balls <laughs> in this round. Yep. It sounds like they're giving a one-hour warning on Wizards. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. One-hour warning. They're st what they're announcing is that they're starting uh, finals at 5 o'clock. Yep. And that there's one hour to go on Ooh. Wizards. You got an inlane there. So right. he's trying to shatz this inlane because he wants double bonus. And, and he yeah. also wants to try to advance the bonus by hitting that upper orbit. So there it is. Double. There you go. And the advance. Perfect. That is the way okay. to do All it. All right, now bounce See, it out. See, he routed a little bit, just enough. And, and, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he knew. You can read that pretty well. There you go. Now one of the spinners is lit. Oh, on the right is. He ain't going to go for it, though. He wants just to max out his bonus. How many whoppers do you think Champion here is going to get? Uh, last year is about 70, 80, I think. Okay. Uh, this year there's two more games that we had played in our Classics cards. And I'm pretty sure, like, pretty much almost everyone that put in their card was eligible. So it's like 200 people, um, 10 games, 10 entries. So, I mean, it might be worth 85, 90 this year. But, I mean, there's also less Excalibur players. So the rating points that you normally expect aren't quite there. Um, but, I mean, I, I would say, you know, 75, 80 would seem about right. Oh, no. That's horrible. See, that's the other feed you can get. There's the one where you graze it off the left and it comes to the left flipper, like, nice. There's one where it's on, you know, too far above it. it takes a weird kick. It's, a, it's unfortunate. Like, let's see where this goes. Yeah, see, that's what you <laughs> want. That's what you want. That was a nice. Yeah. Let me ask you uh, a question, Tim. What's uh, that? They, Dallas really uh, juices their spinners up. They do. I'm going to, I need to talk with uh, Shayans about that. I thought right? that, uh, at the Abilene tournament, that definitely stood out. Um, it, just it, uh, how, how it is a difference when you go travel yeah. or play. Yeah. How some how they like to set it up. They yeah. they really like yeah. to juice those spinners. Mine at home are absolutely just so juiced. Oh yeah, I All put right. lube on them and I just make them go. That's what they do. All right, they like. We it. are on ball five. Mark Meserve would love to get a big ball here. Because, you, you know, they, they like to make a ceiling for, for the scoring. Because, I mean, they'll make the games really hard, but you can score faster with a that's gone. juiced spinner. So. Yeah, that's gone. All right. That's ball five. I mean, two nine two eight zero oh. six hundred on he's at at the best. So that, that he's going to get one here. Yeah, at best. At best. Yeah. That's interesting. Eric's, uh, so Eric's in a good position here for four points. Depending on Derek's right on his teal. Yep, Derek's right on it. What's the thing about this game? He can plunge. Get a saucer and then go left sling, right sling, you know, or right sling, left sling, and go out. But never know. Huh? Is that how he's doing it? I don't it? know. Wow, that was weird. Or that? I was. I'm not really sure saucer. what happened there. I'm gonna let, let's do a replay on that. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once he drains, I will show you that replay because that was wild. It, it just none of that made any sense. No, it really lifted sure the saucer happened. and uh, kicked off the R target there. Went out. So. Why plunge that way? I I have it set to hit the saucer 95 percent of the time. That's gone too. Yeah, that's let's go to the replay. That was weird. Or yeah, that. let's see what actually happened. I was so I'm I not really sure the what happened there. I'm that was weird. Or that? Oh, did you miss it? I, I was missed I'm not really sure the what happened. You little there. tease. That was weird. <laughs> or that? Too late. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, I gotta set that timer for a bit. All right, now watch right. it bounce need, it, bounce need it. To rattle that. Oh, nah. free, free, free. 
Nice. He kind of did a little drop catch on that upper flipper to just stop its momentum. But perfectly enough where it could still come to the right flipper. All right, Derek. I mean, this is Michael. Sorry. Yeah, uh, Michael. Yes, it's Michael. Michael really needs something. Yeah, he really does. 190. He hits that target. One more. He just did it. I was going to say, if he hits it one more, he's double bonus. He already does. This is perfect. Okay, slow it down a little bit. Yeah, collect bonus. There you go. That so now a good feed. Yep, yep. That's 40. Yep. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know. Is he going to catch? Is he going to catch? No, no. Mark. 290. You got 268, it looks okay, like. Okay, so the Not enough. Michael is going to take another zero yeah. on Lucky. Uh, Mark Meserve is going to move to five. Eric Stone's going to move to six. And oh. Derek Thompson is going to move to three, right? Yes. Yeah. Come on in. So Mark and Eric in good position here, but Derek not finished. Okay. Michael playing more of a disrupt disruptor role here. He so can't win. No. He could still he could still get four points there. Yeah. He could still prevent somebody else from getting through. So we're gonna uh, I'm joined now by Garrett Shahan and Tim Hodick, of, yeah. of course. I'm Jamie Birchall. This is the classics final uh, semifinals. We are in now game three of the semis between uh, this match here, which is Mark Meserve, Eric Stone, Derek Thompson, and Michael Bradley. And we are moving to far out. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so they haven't updated the scores yet, so give me a second. But I already put the rig on far out because why not, right? We're already here. Where we were going. I knew we were going, so. Yes, they are. Berg. Uh, now, these wormhole shirts that Tim and I are wearing, unfortunately, haven't been uploaded to the website at wormholepinball.com. But right. just email us at wormholepinball at gmail.com, and a lovely lady named Janine Birchall yep. will send them to you. Yep, exactly. All right, these yeah. are $25. Yep, so thank you yep. for asking. And thank you for designing these. These oh, are great. Oh, thanks. Um. Garrett, they were really pulling for you, Boots yeah. says. <laughs> Clark. I appreciate it. I remember. You want Clark in? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Clark. Get Clark in here for you this, want this in? game. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. You're out of here. For a bit. I'll yeah. be back. Hey, yeah. that was yeah. awesome, Absolutely. dude. Thank you so and, much. Uh, Clark's going to join. Clark from Carpool Pinball. I'm going to have both carpools. Can right. I have both carpools? Uh, two carpools. Can I be surrounded by carpool? Yeah, I don't know. Do I have audio? I can't actually hear myself right now. No, because you didn't have audio. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, I can't hear anything. Hey, thank you, Pluto. I, I thought I was going insane. All right, here we are. Pluto. Garrett's mic is either super low or straight up off. I, it was straight up off. I appreciate off. it. I felt like I was in a soundproof box. Well, you were. <laughs> no leprechaun hat for you, sir, unfortunately. I don't but know why you were saying you had both carpool. You joined the carpool, so. Well, I'm not on Part the of the carpool. carpool. Yeah. Welcome to Wormhole Pinball. I am joined by Carpool Pinball, and we are streaming Texas Pinball Festivals, Classic Semis, Game 3, you can see the scores. Eric Stone all is up on someone's far cry. Far Who's out. Far out. Far out. Is yep. this your far out? It is my far out. Talk to me. What should they be doing? Um, so you have your spotted shots on drop targets. Um, depending on which target you hit, it be either worth 50 <laughs> points Boy, or 5,000 <laughs> points. Um, so you need to hit the correct drop target to get that 5,000 point shot. Um, Eric, Eric was the first qualifier on this. I, I believe he had the highest score. Yeah, 150. Yep, 150 even. Wow. Um, I think only two people rolled it yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was one of them. Yep. Okay. It's very cool. Now, the tricky thing that makes this game so much fun, and some people hate it, I think it makes it more fun, is the drop targets do not reset during your ball. No, they do not. If you clear them... You do get double bonus, but they do not reset. So there's some risk reward there of going for the clear after a certain point. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy the game. Yeah. Okay, you didn't get a top lane. That's not the end of the world. That helps That's a lot, nice. though. Open up that gate on the right side. That was a 5,000 point shot right there. Yeah, these outlines will eat your ball up, except especially the right outline. Yep. That right outline is brutal. Okay, and once you're double lit target is on something that's already been hit. All you got to do is send it up into the pop so you can change it. But you do have to survive that feed. Yeah, but same one. It is the same one. Playing a little less friendly, I'd say, though. The uh, carpet makes the tilt uh -oh. go a little tighter. Nice save. Great save, yep. 
And this is not a game you got to set up real hard. It's, it's no yeah. sorcerer. It's no sorcerer. I'm real excited to see Sorcerer again in the finals. <laughs> and there is a ghosting Please. 8,000 shot. That, that bonus that says 8,000 is not uh, true. That's probably driving you bonkers, Clark. It really is. This Clark over here, if you've ever got an EM that's got some lights out, just drop it off in front of him. All those lights will be fixed in an hour. In an hour? It, is it, that what it is? It you have like one hour so photo? One hour photo. <laughs> one hour light bulb. The lights right. It, it bothers him so bad. Now, here's the problem. It looks like he's going for the double bonus right now. He's only got 4,000 bonus. And once he clears those drops, there's no points left. Okay, there you go. Send it up top. I agree with that decision. Try and get it changed to a target that's still up. So to get All the right. targets to change, it's top. Oh, right, well, nice. pop, yeah. pop bumpers up there. Once you're down to one, you might as well finish it off. And then, uh, yeah, once your targets are down, your biggest points left are the pop bumper. And in he the tilted that, right? Did he tilt that? He did. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. I mean, he that's not necessary. He didn't have much bonus, so it's not the end of the world. Okay. But, you know, 4,000 points on far out can be, can be pretty big. Oh, yeah. So I haven't seen any Shats passes yet. That's that's the best way to transfer on this. I've seen some people doing uh, post transfers, but you can do tap passes, post transfers. You can yeah. do all of it on this game. The tap's not my favorite on this one, but Shats pass is very friendly. Original retro, we'll, we'll work with you. We'll work with you. We'll get those over there. So Chuck Worth, the eight light is ghosting right now. Yes, it, it is not on, or it is, should not be on, but for some reason it is. Let's put us up top. Up Come top. on. I took us off because the, uh, oh, boy. Yep. That's 1500, far out. That's far out. The almost as famous as $5 volley, $5 far out. <laughs> that was a fun night. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, that was a fun night. I had a lot of fun. Almost, you know, too much fun. But it's, okay. there's no such thing. Yeah, so Michael is just playing for Whopper points now and maybe money. I don't know if fifth through eighth changes how much money you get. Still want to get a good showing here. Barely missed his target there. Yeah, a little That's low. Okay. Oh. Save. Hung in there. The key to saving it on that right side, uh, there's those two little double rubbers. Oh, obviously, you aren't doing anything about that. Those two little double rubbers just on the, the top right of the inlane outlane divider. When the ball goes over there, Bump it real hard on the side. Try and catch it on that rubber and get it all the way out. Because okay. when the ball has to decide in lane, out lane, it's about 95% out lane on this game. Uh, before we get to the finals. Oh, he's, we're going chats pass for Eric. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, survived. Went for a chats trying to get control. Sorry, Jamie, we're interrupting you. Oh, pff, you guys have car block. Uh, I was saying that... Um, in between, when we get to the finals, when I have these two rigs, I'll back this one out because okay. it's a little close. Yes, this is. That was Liam and Miles' dad. Those two are going to be trouble. They're going to be phenomenal. Oh, they are. They are very good. That, that family spits out some pinballers. Oh, no. Yep. So he missed his top lanes. The ball got sideways because of it, and he paid for it. All right, Mark had a tough ball, uh, too, but we're okay. Okay. Right. So if you get the top center lane or the top left lane, the free. speed is oh. only more play. Oh. Still motoring through the points, though. It's going to put him into first. Uh, no one's really put up too much before. Oh, my, math, my math is apparently not good. That, uh, the 4,000 tilt. Bonus still might might come to hurt him. Yeah, could. All right, Michael. Oh, that is two in a row of missed top lanes. Yeah, that's and gone. It's exactly the same thing. Yep. It has no chance <laughs> over there. Yep. Green Bay Classic. It is a kicker on the left side. There is a kickback. I believe it was one of the very first kickbacks made so Ray Day the 8k is ghosting 
It is not uh, actually going to award it. The light is just on. Thank you for covering that yep. with him. I will, I will answer that every single time because <laughs> that is going to be confusing. Yes. All right. Three on the left, drop target. Nice. Two, three on the right. Ooh. So yeah. right now he's going to go and he hit, he hit it. Get two drop targets, uh, one on each side. Yeah, sitting at 5,000 bonus. Okay, he's, he's got the gate open. He's right. to the point now where if you've got a single light on a target, it's worth taking. That'll still give you a, th a bonus. It'll be 500 points, so they're worth 1,500 each. And then if you clear it, you got your double bonus. So basically okay. double that value. Ooh, living a little dangerously yeah, there. Got it. Nice. So nice. Two more. He's just going to go for he's it He's right going to go for it. One more to go. Uh, nope. No double bonus for you. I don't think that's going to hurt him, though. I like that. Ball three. Got two more balls left, right? Yep. No, that, that was the right decision in his case there. Go Bills. I'm just getting comfortable. Lean back. This is a nice. Enjoy yourself. We're, we're trying to take some of the pressure off. You're going to be streaming for hours and I hours. I know, dude. It's good, though. It's fun. I love it. I love doing it. And I think the Wizards finals are going to be so great. Is it top 24 in Wizards as well? Yes. I knew that, but. Nice shot. We lost a lot of 5, games 000. we were talking about earlier, Clark. A lot of games went down. Mm -hmm. A lot of the moderns went down. Yeah. Yes. Like, very, you have all these classics EMs, and the moderns were the ones that go Catastrophic down. failure on Turtles and Star Wars. <laughs> Took both those out. I'm kind of glad on Star Wars, though. I mean. Oh, my goodness. That was. Uh, yeah. We got lucky there. Come on. It's, it's super pass. late. That's super late. There you go. Nice. Except it's moved. He's still shooting at it. He hasn't realized it's moved. I did uh. that earlier. Nearly got it for free. Nice. Very good. Boom. There it is. 5,000 points. Now up to 28. Okay. All right. Time to just clear some drop targets that are lit. He's already got good bonus. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed. Yeah, I just let it go. I wouldn't be opposed to going up into the pops at that point. Try and get it to change something nice. If you could at least get the uh, 10x target value on the left side, that'd be good. Yep. All right, Mark Reserve. Didn't have a great last ball. Went down straight yeah. left out lane, so. Okay, I'm about to have so to go play some diner. He's on, oh, BK's on ball three, so I better go get up there. All right, buddy, enjoy. Good luck. Feed those, feed those diners. I'm on oh diner Mark. right after Garrett as well. So left outline eating Mark up. Michael Bradley, do you know where he's from, Michael? Yes, they told me earlier and I forgot. <laughs> I don't think I've because he with both of his before. kids are here. And they're incredible. Oh, oh boy. Yep. Saw that coming, just straightened up and see ya. Got in the. Uh, All right. <laughs> Quads woke up, huh? Let's go, Bills. He's here to party. All right, is this it? I believe this is ball four. Yes, ball four. Where because do you see that? So ball five, you get double bonus. Oh, instantly. okay. So since that is not on. Then you know. And he got that 5,000 target. Nice shot. So he has most of his drop targets down with only 5,000 bonus. Not, not big, but decent. Um, Double bonus is huge on this game. If you can knock down all the drop targets, you'll be setting well. Nice. One more to go. And it's an easier one to get. Nice. There it is. Thank you, guys. Bonus. North Carolina. He definitely don't want to tilt here, right? Definitely not. Um, arguments, send it up top. Get that 1,000-point pop-upper. Yeah, um, just hammer it. Yep. Also, people have been shotsing it 
to the in lanes because um, you do get some bonus through the in lanes as well. Nice ball from Eric. That's the kind of ball he wants next round. Next, you know, although the drop target's going to stay down, aren't they? So they will reset per ball. Oh, they reset per ball. Yeah. Now, when it's your last ball with double bonus always lit, you got to play a little different because you're not just trying to clear the drop targets. You want to maximize the drop targets bonus because there's no benefit in oh, clearing no. them all. All right, Mark Reserve. Ball four. Hasn't really done much on this one. Nope. And he needs to. See if he finds that left outline again. Yeah. Take a free 5,000 drop target. That was nice. Oh. <laughs> He's frustrated, but okay. All right, Michael. Yes, Michael, you're eliminated, but that's okay. We can get a good shot. See, this is what's dangerous there. So when it goes down. You want in? Come on. I'm in a I'm in a queue for Wizards, but I've got three people in front of me. So How are you doing I'll on Wizards? Uh, I'm, joined I'm by above Wesley the cut line. Okay, I'm joined by Wesley yeah. Johnson. Yep. You came back? Came back in Wizards, you mean? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what holds, man. This bleed is crazy. You can't predict it. It is. Yeah. So this is their last game of semi still, right? Oh. <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> okay, here it is. Right, this going is in ball, ball five. five. Eric Stone. Currently in the lead with 20,000 above. Yeah. Well, and sitting with the six, he's feeling good. D doesn't have the plunge down. If Mark takes a zero and Derek stays in second, nice we're going to have through. another tie break. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> Everyone loves bonus pinball, but we, we We've had bonus pinball every round. <laughs> we finished our semifinal match like... 45 minutes ago? We were something? betting on it. Like <laughs> Honestly, we were betting on it. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh. oh wow. Lazarus. Oh, my god. Oh, that was nice. So did you let everyone know at home that the 8,000 light is on, but yes. that's like a play yes. on? Okay. That was confusing. The they were like, oh, there's a note on it. And I looked. I was like, I don't see a note. And then I realized it was on the front of the coin door. I was like, well, that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it was on the front like, of the coin yeah, door. Yeah, I didn't look there. So max bonus on this game is 15,000. Right now, Eric is at 9,000. Oh. Yeah. You just can't get that center. But no matter. So now that he has his drop targets down, what should he be doing? Send what up top, get the, <laughs> get the thousand, thousand pop bumper. Okay. Um, also, you can shots back and forth when you're in lane. Pretty good bonus. For bonus. But yeah, what is that? Ma what is max bonus? Is it 19? Or it's 15. 15. Okay. So he did, didn't have max, but he had a pretty high bonus with doubles. So that's yes. good. This is huge because we need, to, you know, Derek could overtake Mark. This is this is a lot going on here in these next two balls. To get through clean, he'd have to pass Eric. Yeah. To tie, like you said, he needs second and Mark last. So he's got a little co-piloting with Mark to some degree. Yeah. If he doesn't pass Eric. So on this game, with the drop targets not resetting, your max score on know. average ball is about 50,000. It's really hard to get past that because they don't reset, your points kind of go down. So okay. that's kind of like the so it's gonna be. This is going to be tough for Mark to catch back up? Very, dif very difficult. Well, what Mark just needs one point. If he gets one point and Derek yeah. stays, well, Derek is going to stay under Eric, so the best Derek can do is second. Uh, as long as Mark gets a point, then he's clean through. Right. But So past needs, the 33. Needs the 33 and some help from Michael. Which this is the double bonus ball. It's the ball to do it, and that's not going to do it. It's going to pass, but he's going to pass him again. <sighs> yeah. Ain't going to be enough. 
that's almost just a plunge right there. Well, it is bad just for a Mark. Plunge, yeah. Mark had outlines every single time. I'm I know. Well, sure well no. Like so here's the situation now. Mark's co-pilot is Michael. If Michael passes Derek, then Mark's through. Right? Because Mark will still have five, and Derek can only get four. Right. So he wants Michael to pass now. Keep hitting those thousands work when it's lit. Yeah, that double bonus. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. I haven't watched enough of this, but he doesn't strike me as a sniper. Let's see. Is he going to post pass, shats? No, just go for it. Oh, that was good. That was a good yep. little skill. Get that top one. Nope, too late. Or too early. And the top one's 5,000. Yep, yep, get it. Still didn't adjust. I think you can try again now. Here we go. Now it's top now the right. right. Yeah, top right. Ooh, he Keep adjusted, but not good enough. Good, good, good. Oh, too late. Over adjustment. Wrong flipper. <laughs> <laughs> he's got good bonus going, though. I think. Oh, in bonus, he's going to pass Derek as long as he doesn't tilt. So don't tilt. That's dangerous. Don't oh. tilt is the game. He will pass Derek, and that would put Mark through. Yes, he will. It's okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's Derek see. This kickout can be mean. He didn't know he had it. Oh, oh. Oh. A lot of times that kickout likes to go right into the right out lane. So basically, this is all gravy for Mark because even if Mike would pass Eric, he still can't pass Mark. So That's right. Yeah. So Mark's Mark's through. Eric's Mark through. is through, yep. and Eric are through. Wow. Thank you, Michael. You're going to get a gift basket from Mark <laughs> Reserve and probably some tiff treats. Yep. So, okay, so our finals, ladies and gentlemen, are Mark Meserve, Eric Stone, and uh, what is it? Jack, Jack Revenue. Jack and, Manded, yeah. And then Ben Clement, right? Love to see it. So thank you for letting me cast this last game. I'm going to go put another entry in. Hopefully I'll be on stream for Wizards. Whenever you want. Yep. Whenever you want. <laughs> There are certain people that I give the carte blanche card to. You happen to be one of them, and you know it. And then Tim, and then every all the worm holders, and then Wesley, and a bunch of these guys. Because I know we vibe very well off each other, and so it's easy. If I'm going to sit my now skinny butt down right here. <laughs> now uh, skinny butt. Yeah. All right, let's go to just the commentators. I am Jamie Birchall. I'm joined by Carpool's one Clark and only. McCoy. And uh, I'm glad to be here. Let's um, see. I'm about to have to leave you though. I ah, got I got fine. my game pending. It's okay. Uh, I got this good thing going. All of a sudden, and uh, uh, your buddies are gonna through. come. We we'll just do the turn of the I'll, on. I'll and the trade off. out with Garrett once he's done. I sound that. sounds fine to me. Just you know, if I'm gone, uh, try to keep that one. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll get it. I'm just like on my sixth diet coke, and I'm still a little tired. <laughs> I can and see I'm the cans piling up. That would be fun, a fun picture to see. Because I had three fountain Diet Cokes this morning, but I count them as one Coke, and Janine counts them as two because they would be two cans in this. Because oh. I went to the brim. That's so that's I only count, that, Diet as, Coke I only right count that as three. If hey, Brooklyn Penn, how are you? That's my boy, by the way. Brooklyn Penn. I love that, dude. And uh, so we're in the finals, classics. We finally made it. We are in the final four. And we are waiting for them to choose their banks, right? And so... So it's bank format. So they, the top player, which right now I believe is Eric, correct? So he will do yeah. games? He'll choose games, and he's going to choose... Probably Sorcerer. Probably Sorcerer. Um, probably the same bank that we just played. I, I would be shocked if he chose a different bank. The problem with Sorcerer is it's five hours. Yes. And I, I was watching a you know, stream and in chat. They are like... This is taking so long. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it in no commentary. We'll just let Eric Stone and Mark Reserve nail it out. The game that never ends. Hey, thanks, Brooklyn. Because it's two Diet Cokes, she said. See? I told it's you she's Diet listening. Cokes. It's not. It's one. It's one. It's in one cup. It's in one cup. All right, let me go find out what's happening. You're not going anywhere, right? Um, I'm a, let's Are see you about Garrett's. to right now? I mean, I can hang out for a little bit. I'm talking... Less than two minutes. Yeah, I'll be good. Good okay, on the two minutes. Ball. You, um, okay. You riff. I'll Go riff. like this. You know one of these, one of these? I'll, you got to pull just it. Stretch it stretch out. It out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm taking over wormhole, guys. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, who wants to join Carpool Pinball? 
Ah, we'll have a fun time. I, I did see uh, Princess Pinball join chat. That's cool. Um, always Clark riff us off. Uh, yesterday, we Wormhole was not streaming yesterday, but Carpool Pinball, we were in the hallway um, down here, down, down below. And we were streaming for 12 hours. Um, we weren't doing commentating. We just had the rig set up. Um, a lot of fun at Tom George's booth. He ran some side tournaments this year, um, which were some strikes tournaments and a beat the clock, kind of chasing down the leprechaun themed uh, for his charity. I did bring my leprechaun hat today. I can't wear it with these headphones, but. <laughs> and I know a lot of people came up to me and be like, you, you know St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, right? I'm like, yeah, but I don't get to wear this hat very often. Uh, you don't get to wear your St. Patty's Day hat very often, but it is what it is. All right, I got one more minute to riff, guys. <laughs> Any questions for me in chat? I'll take some questions. Um, I brought two games up to this week. First time I've brought games to TPF. Uh, one is Eye of the Tiger, and the other one we just saw was Far Out. Um, funny thing on Far Out, when I first got it, it had rats got into it, so... Probably 50 wires were just eight and through. And um, we're playing it in TPF now, so that's pretty cool, I think. Um, what's your IFPA rank and tag? I'm not sure what you mean by tag, but my IFP rank is 450 right now. My tag is Clark McCoy, CBM. Um, What's my favorite EM? One of the n recent EMs that I just got finished working on is Masquerade. If, if you watched the Abilene Showdown, uh, you would have seen Masquerade listed. It's a four-player EM from 1966. Um, it has a really cool mechanism right in the top center um, where there's 15 rollovers in like this little area. I, I love the Gottlieb 1966 eras because I think that's when they had the most fun coming up with very unique designs. Um, maybe you need to dis do dishes to be a good pinball player. Dishes to be a good pinball player. How would that work? Scrub the... Huh. Expand on that. Draw all that out. <laughs> all that thought process out. How was Dishes being a good, good pinball player? Masquerade, yes. Masquerade. It, it's a mini flipper game, but there are... I call it an upper play field. It doesn't go up in the upper play field area, but there's four flippers. Two flippers up top, two flippers below. Um, and you want to keep the ball up top, just like any other upper play field game. Um, hitting over rollovers. Uh, I do my taxes. Taxes are good. And I, I rifted long enough, Jamie. I ho Hopefully I did a good job. Good stretch. I just stretched it out. All right, we're waiting for them to pick their groups. Oh, Bob Matthews. Yes, get in here, Bob. About to be finals time, Dalton. About to be finals times. And we have the one and only Bob Matthews. Bob Matthews is here. The You're one and only Bob Matthews. How are you? Great to see you again. Thanks for having me in the booth, guys. Of course. Of course. Here we go. We're a little tight, but we're in the Texas Pinball Festival. We're make, we're, it is final times in the classics. We are waiting for them. It is Eric Stone, Jeff Davis, Mark Meserve, and Jack Rebnew. We are waiting to find out what banks they are choosing. Uh, Bob, you're just joining us on stream, but Sorcerer's been playing pretty long Yeah. today. Well, the problem with Sorcerer is, you know, like I have in my guide, you know, the, the thing to do is multi-ball all day. And on this one, it, you know, the outlanes aren't that drainy. And the, the center the post is still there with rubber on it. And you can yeah. generally do the, the post pass to set up the ramp shot. And this, this is why when we you know, have Sorcerer at Indisc, we use the alternate ROM that says that after you play multi-ball, you have to get the three drop target bank above 
the uh, the lock chute there to re-enable the locks, because otherwise it plays long just like it's playing here. You know, well, it looks he, like he they're not choosing it. Especially, not you know, it. especially, you know, like if, if you get a rhythm. We got ice fever. We, we just talked about Sorcerer, and they're not even choosing it. Sorry. Uh, Harlem Globetrotters on tour. Barracora yeah. and Ice Fever yeah. will be the, th the four. The three, yeah. excuse me. The three, yeah. I, Ice Fever is the one game that kind of confuses me because as a coin door of a modern and then as a body of an EM and then as a head of a solid state, it's, they mixed all of them in one game. Yeah, kind of a little kludgy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the key on Ice Fever is... Light the spinner, shoot the spinner. You can get special points if you get the, the ice fever letters and such and get it up top. Uh, you get a special if you know when you when you once you light it going up. Do we have telestrator here? We don't because okay. it broke. But uh, okay. Any, I'm anyway, sorry. Uh, if, if you look at the top of the game, always makes me feel if bad. You, if you get the uh, the you know if you get the letters up there, then it lights one of them. For uh, extra ball, which you know, is, is set to just be worth points, and then if you also you know get all of the ice fever stuff, there's a little special light blinking just below the gate, to the left of those three top lanes, at the top center of the machine, and that also gives you points. You hear that? Then knock, 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 knock. Yeah. Yeah. That's. that's so what we we've been seeing is them yeah. shotsing back and forth right. to light their spinner. To light the spinner. The thing is, the the timing on these flippers is earlier than normal. So a lot of the people are missing the spinner shot low. That's something I thought, you know, if anytime you're playing one of these older games, I always tell people you, you, you've got to uh, observe the timing on them because you know, a, a game that's 40, 50 years old, you know, it may have, you know, been restored to the condition so that the timing on the flippers is going to be like it originally was. Or it may just have kind of worn down over the years, and you know they haven't done a rebuild lately. Oh, okay. Uh, or the flippers may just you know be angled a little you know lower or higher than is standard. Uh, typically, if they're a little off angle, they're low because they just you know sometimes they just kind of you know, like get pressed down on the, the sleeves there. Um, so more often than not, if the flipper timing is off on an older game, it's because the the flippers are running late or they're a little low and you have to shoot earlier than you would otherwise expect if you were on you know, a modern game. Okay. Um, so like I say, you, you'll see people, you know, if they, if they miss their spinner shot, they'll be low more often than high. Now you see that little yellow light that's alternating in the two return lanes. That's what lights your spinner. Eric just lit it with the shats there and was just a hair late on the shats. The spinner is on a timer. If right. You don't, if you don't get it within the first say six or seven seconds it will time out so he got it there just before it timed out if you make it it gives you a brief extension on the timer okay that's good there because he hit the return lane right with the deflection so that gives you a little more time before it times out oh, okay each each time you you know hit a light spinner light it, it extends the time on it we don't know if this one's on a timer we've been watching it it is on a timer it, it is it okay will, it will go out it yeah. will okay it will go out yeah Again, he, he relit it there. The thing is, the ski pass wasn't hard enough to get the ball far enough up on the flipper, because like I say, you, the, sh the shot is you know earlier than normal, and he wasn't able to get the ski pass up far enough on the flipper to make the shot. It's, it's possible that if he swung really early, he might have been able to, but it's tricky. Okay. Well, here comes Jack Rebnew, Houston player. Plays out of the, oh no. And uh, that's something you'll see on some ice fevers is that the ball will go down either the B or the C lane at the top, just kind of graze that middle bumper, hit the top of the right slingshot like that one did, and deflect out and you just get a house ball. That's something you have to watch out for on this particular machine, is you don't want it to graze that center of the four bumpers. Uh, because it'll just, like I said, deflect into the top of that slingshot. And if it if it just grazes the top of that sling, it's not going down the return lane. It's going down the out lane. Yeah. We do need an NHL licensed machine. That would be fun. Hmm. 
Yeah, we have Bobby Orr and Ice Fever and not much both. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, here comes you, Mark. Now you will see people double shats here. He's, he's going to try and shat the left to right to light it. Okay, now see, now he has to do a, a multiple shats. He's got to go left to right, right to left, try ski pass, and then go up top. Your alternative is you can just, you know, flip away up to the top, up the, uh, the left orbit, and try and advance your letters toward the extra ball or special points. That is an option when you're in this particular situation where you have to basically do multiple shatses to get your spinner shot here. Absolutely. Now this particular ice fever has a tendency for the chances to go up and through. Ooh, that was fast. Dang. The chats, and instead of, you know, like just coming back down the return lane, it actually goes up and out the top of the return lane. We've seen some really pretty good feeds coming from the hat trick down. Yeah. Yep, it's been relatively polite. It, it has. Mm -hmm. Makes up for the spinner being very finicky on when it wants to spin. Yeah. Thank you, Dalton. Dalton Pinball is one of my favorite people uh, on stream, not only be because I gave him admin mm. privileges and he oh is yeah. allowed to do all my polls and everything. Yeah, no, it's great. Okay, now he's in a better situation. He just needs the one shots right to left. Okay. And then spinner. And he gets the spinner anyway but okay so now you see he completed the ice letters and now he has the extra ball light lit at the top for points um, and that I, would I would still do the shats here since the shats is in the favorable orientation and the extra ball is 50k correct or is it 100k um, it's at least 100 okay ooh it's at least 100 I haven't had a chance to actually watch the score Typically, they're like 250, but I'm sure I know this one's not 250 just because of what I've seen. The, the you know, the scores change, so I'm thinking it's. But I'm, but I'm pretty sure it was more than 100. We'll just have to watch if somebody gets it. All right, Jeff, here he goes. I'm used. I'm used to ones on things you know like, uh, you know, some of the Genesis type machines. Right. Yeah. So he's he's in the situation here now where. Yeah, it's got to go back and forth. Uh, I wouldn't have dead bounced that. I would have live caught it so I could do. Yeah, yeah a little drop catch right there. There, okay, there, we, that go. Was there we go. Yeah, okay, Dalton. Had, that, was, that, that, was, that was a save dig there. Good choice. <laughs> Dalton, wait. You, you, I'm going to take pictures of these rigs to show you guys how many. How yeah. crazy it is. And Glare moldy. <laughs> the slingshots <laughs> win. Yeah, glare on uh, ice fever. It's, it's more on us than it is on the players. Yes. Those, those lights are further back on the yeah. machine, and they don't bother the players that much. No, it just bothers it's, me. It's, Bob. Yeah, that's just because of where the camera yeah, ring is. It just bothers us. It bothers me tremendously. All right, here comes Eric Stone. See? There's that drain. Either grazes the bumper or goes clean past it and hits the top of the sling. Uh, Rachel, you, we have on, umbra. On, on this particular ice fever, basically you need to plunge the A. Yeah. Simple as that. You need to plunge the A. Well, uh, Jack plunged the C, and the same thing happened to him. Yeah, on and, ball that one. Was, and that was the B. Yeah, either the B or the C is at risk because it goes past the bumpers there or just barely grazes the lower one. Look out. Okay, see, he got enough of a hit on the bumper there that it, you know, deflected it. Okay, he chose to post pass. Up and out. Okay. Like I say, that's that's the that's the catch with the uh, the shats here. Mm -hmm. Is it you know, a lot of the shats is are you know are end up being strong enough that they go up and out, and so you don't get the ball. There it is. Ooh, okay. Did it? Ski pass is it high enough? Yes, it's high enough. But he Just was a hair late. It. And that'll unlock it. Ski pass again. Ski pass again. 
Now, he now it's it. relit again. Okay, dead bounce. Uh, he actually had time to cradle up there. Again, he's there. There we go. There we go. Good rep. <laughs> Got a hold of it a little bit, but yeah, it's like I say, the timing on that spinner shot is not what people expect. <laughs> All right, Mark. I agree with you, Silas. And this is, again, game one of the finals, classic finals here at TPF. I'm Jamie Burchell, joined by Bob Matthews. And, and Garrett Shane. Shane. Carpool Pinball, here we go. There is the A. Chats, not quite hard not enough. Hard enough. And again, when you hit the slingshots, it changes which lane is lit. As do the bumpers. Okay, take a goal. Okay, here he goes. Yeah, switch gears to go for the target there. Move didn't work out for him. So one players one, two, and three all bunched up here. Yeah. Let's yeah. See what Jeff does. So Brian O'Neill asking how you get bonus X. Uh, on this game, I believe it's a hat trick. Every hat trick yeah, gives you a you, multiplier. Yeah, you've got to get the three drop targets. Bonus is not big on this game, though. Basic, basically, one really good lit spinner shot is more than your max bonus. Yep. Well, the bonus is almost insulting oh. on this game. Yeah. It's like, why did they bother <laughs> if they made the spinner worth <laughs> what, yes. it, what it's worth? <laughs> you know, they, they should have made the bonus values higher if they wanted to be more balanced. Yep. All right, ball three, Eric Stone. Good save. Yep. Good save, and, and the machine makes a better shot. Rachel, right when you said it. Yep. I don't like Eric's chances. I think at least one, probably two of Jack and Mark are going to pass him here because they don't need a whole lot. But they do need to not go out the right side immediately. Ooh. Good save. Ski pass. There it is. Boom. And he made the shot. Yeah, he ripped oh, it. and takes the eye. Yeah, and so now he's got his extra ball lit for points. Spinner still lit for a little while there. Good job keeping it out away from the inlane outlane over there, not unlining his spinner. Absolutely. Okay, there more spin time, more spin time. Yes. Oh, that. Does not get the extra ball points, but that's okay. Okay. I, I think it's a good ball. Yeah. That's solid. No one else has been able to find that spinner. So. Yeah. All right, Mark. Here we go. Yeah, I'm thinking I may want to check my notes. I, I think it might be the spinner's not on a timer. It doesn't go out until you get the other until you get the unlit return late. I have to check my notes on that. I have not seen a timer on this one so far yeah. from when I played it. Yeah, it I seems to be. Yeah, I think it might be you know, when you get the unlit return lane, then it turns it off. Chance here, a little late again. Like but I he say, passed like, Eric. Like I say, when you when people miss, you see he's missing late again. The ball's low. Good, good control. Post transfer shots. All right, good. On the fly. Getting some kind of pity spins off that one. Yeah. yeah. Didn't exactly rip it, did he? I would have dead bounced that to set up the spinner shot. Okay, post pass. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to risk a transfer there because it would hit the other lane and unlight the spinner. Is 
they know going through the other lane definitely unlights it. Good nice bounce. nudge, nice nudge. Late again. Yeah. And see it now there. it's yeah. unlit, now and it's that unlit. was a yeah. big rip too. Yeah, because it because it went through the um, you know the uh, the, the, hey, the, the unlit EB, though. went through the unlit return lane, which definitely uh, uh, turns I know off. Nick, I know Nick. If I took pictures of the amount of umbrellas I have on these things, and <laughs> it would be a lot worse. <laughs> well, he could grind his way past Jack here yeah. without getting a lit spinner. He's close. That if will he gets the C, uh, he's he's got it with bonus now. Oh, I, think. I don't I don't know. Y yeah, I think he just is gonna stink by. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think this one is set so it's just the, uh, the the unlit lane turns it off rather than not being on the timer. Okay. So Jeff's got work to do. Yep, he knows the recipe, though. Yeah, he just watched it. Yep. Oh, okay. Pass, okay. Power well, in lane. Post pass. Or, well, yeah, Shats works because that one's lit. Either, either one. Oh. oh no. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Jack's going to give him some crap for that one. Yeah. That's the oh Shats no. pass with a different letter where the A goes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it is. Ugh. All right, so we're either going to Barracora or Harlem Globetrotters. It will it'll, be, it'll be Barracora. Barracora. They, they, okay. go, they go in order left to right. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put the other rig on uh, Harlem Globetrotters, guys. Uh, it won't have room, but would you like me to move it for you? Or that way you want to get out of the middle? Uh, Jack's going to move it for us. Okay. Well, Jack's got this all. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're right next to each other. I don't think okay. you're going to get both on them. So back to the TPF room cams here. Uh, welcome to the Classics Finals. We just played game one. And, and we're we have we have Martin A.U. briefly photobombing on the lower screen there from uh, Pinball <laughs> News. Boy, he's sticking his head right up in there, isn't he? Let's, uh, no, no, he, he's on the he, he's just oh. off the right side of the screen now. But, yeah, he – We'll go to just the Martin, commentators. Martin stopped, <laughs> play, Martin stopped playing this tournament several years ago. He doesn't care for the format. Okay. So he just comes for the show at this point. I think the format's tough. It is a grind, right? Yep. I mean, it is a grind. It takes yeah. a special person that wants to grind to, yeah. to go through it. Yeah, it and he doesn't care for that format. Yeah. yeah. Especially how many games went down this year. It makes the queues yeah. really, really long. And, uh, you know, the Sorcerer having all the post rubbers still installed, it's going to be a 30-minute game every time. So. Yeah. That at times yesterday, the wait to get, a, you know, to get to play on Sorcerer exceeded an hour and a half. Yes. Wow. It was brutal. Yeah, yeah. And even though that's my favorite game in the classics, I didn't even bother playing it in qualifying. There's no reason to. Mm. Okay, so here we are. We are uh. going to Barracora. A little, little preview on Barracora. Yeah. So Barracora, it's all about getting the drop targets in order because that lights your locks. And once you start multiball, you want to do exactly the same thing. Get the drop targets in order, because that advances both your bonus and your bonus multiplier. We'll wait for the play field to get on the screen here, and I'll explain some of what that's all about. Yeah, for absolutely. Those, for those three or four people who don't already know. We <laughs> were, uh, you know, it's interesting how many people have played this. It is a longer player. They, it has been playing a little longer, Bob, yeah. today. A, a lot of Barrack uh have the side posts re-drilled and moved up so that the sides drain more. That's one way that they keep the ball times down. Okay. Or they'll, you know, swap out for lightning flippers or something. Generally, Barracora doesn't play excessively long, even if it's factory. Okay, I see votes going on here, and yeah. I need to get in on that. Who's going to win this round of Barracora? Let's see. Okay, we're, we are ready. We're on Barracora. It's a little it's crooked. Okay, so if you look down there, but at the bottom we of missed the this. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so at the bottom of this, oh, oh, they're just practicing. Practicing at the bottom of the play field, just below the eyes, this. you'll see the letters S U P E R, super. Below them, there's four yellow lights mm -hmm. that are your basic bonus <laughs> multiplier, and above them are four green lights that are your super bonus multiplier. And what goes on here is when you complete either the B A double R 
or a Cora bank a drop targets, you will advance your basic bonus multiplier to 2x, 3x, 4x, and eventually 5x. If you are able to complete both banks, both Bar and Akora, then you will, in addition to getting you know, two regular bonus advances at the bottom there, you will get a super bonus advance to 2x at the top. In essence, you will then have six times bonus. Mm -hmm. So there's a big, you know, let's say you've got the uh, Akora letters down and you've got 2x. If you, right if you finish the bar letters, it doesn't just go from 2x to 3x. It goes from 2x to 6x. Okay, I did some sideline reporting, gentlemen. The reason they were practicing is there's a new tilt put in yep. to make it a little more difficult. Okay. And that's why they allowed them to practice. Okay, okay. And let's go. Okay. We're not on ice fever anymore. We're on barracuda. Okay, and then uh, as far as getting the letters, you have to get them in sequence or they pop back up. So you've got to get the B before you get the A and the double R on the left, and you've got to go in order A, C, O, R, A on the right. And if you hit it, like I say, if you hit a target that's out of sequence, it'll go down, but then it'll pop right back up. Like you hit the C there, and it popped Good right save. back up. Yep. Yeah, Mark electing to go immediately for the Acora. Uh, with the current settings on this Baracora, the super bonus multiplier, the green ones, will stay between balls. That, that it, that's standard is to have yes. a super bonus m multiplier stay. That, that's normal. Uh, I don't know if it's the custom ROM. I uh, have played some that do not. Okay, that would have to be a custom ROM. Yep. Okay, so we just got the A and a core there. Now, some people will try and get the bar letters first, basically to set up the easier of the two multi-balls, since you only need three targets for that. Other people will try and go for the Acora targets first. The reason for that is the Acora targets will light the lock that's at the very top of the game, uh, just above and to the left of where the number one light is up there. If you get an Acora lock, if the ball drains uh, before you get into multi-ball, that ball will come back out and you get to continue play. It's, yeah, it's we in essence a ball save. It, we, we're calling it the safety lock and, yeah, uh, as yeah. a joke. And uh, yeah. we saw a few people walk away from it, Bob. They, they didn't, didn't know. know. They didn't know? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Now the, the two ball and three ball multi-ball, the two ball you start by finishing B-A-R-R -R and then shooting the lower lock, which is below and to the left of the number four and above the uh, top left bumper. To get the three ball multi-ball though, oh, a little flipper fumble there. To get the three ball multi-ball, you have to get the Acora lock first and get a ball locked up in the top saucer and then get the B-A-R-R lock. You can get the locks lit in either order. Th that doesn't matter. It's just an, uh, you, know, you actually have to lock the top one before you lock the bottom one to get the three-ball multi-ball. If you've got them both lit and the ball goes in the two-ball multi-ball, the three-ball multi-ball turns off and you mm. play a two-ball multi-ball. One time, one time we actually get very upset when you start multi-ball. Yes. <laughs> because, no, no, I wanted the three. What's your strategy here? Do you go bar all, the t all day long, or do you go a Cora, or do you? Um, basically, rather than do a lot of post pa rather than do a lot of post passing, I just go you know, whichever flipper it's on. I shoot the you know the uh, opposing drop targets. If if I'm doing uh, like herb style qualifying, where you know it's it's a matter of you want to get your maximum score, then yeah, I'll go a Cora first. Just because if you actually want to get a really time. big score, so you're going to need two. to get the three ball multi ball. So we'll and you're going to, plus, you're okay, going to need a Cora to get your super two bonus. Two. So, like I say, I'll, hand, so I'll go for a Cora first, but, oh, but only generally if so it's, you know, herb quali if it's herb qualifying. Otherwise, I'll just take, you know, whichever is available rather than do a lot of post transfers or chances or anything. Okay. Uh, just because if you do a transfer and you screw it up, you're, you know, you can drain. 
And you're going to need to get both Barr and Akora to get your three ball, multi ball anyway. So it's not like you're you know, wasting Sorry. shots by getting whichever finals, one is facing the flipper that the ball is on. Okay. Uh, it's the top 24 players. There, you know, it's it's top always top useful to continue getting eight. targets from either flipper. So Garrett and I know this, but do you know what the original name of this title was going to be? Uh, I remember reading about it, but I forgot. Las Vegas. Okay. Las Vegas. Chat gave us some uh, <laughs> interesting info. We're learning. Oh. Ooh. And a little fumble there as well. So we have two fumbles. So something that really won't come into play, uh, just not something you go for on Barracora, I don't believe the left spinner is working at all currently. Hmm. Uh, it was not working in qualifying. I don't believe they fixed it because they had already started qualifying. They're not going to fix it mid midway. That's not fair. Yep. Not that the spinner scores much on this game. Uh, you can get some points out of it, but. Okay. Jack electing to go for bar, it looks like. Interesting, yeah. Like like I say, I'll, I'll go for what's ever available. Yep. And he's just, used just to. Cause, just because I want to get them all anyway. Yep. He's used to playing at the one at the wormhole, which has the super bonus not holding between balls, if I remember correctly. Mm, okay. So that might explain why he's going over there. All right. Okay. That's has it, has lit. it lit. Has it lit. And I imagine he's going to go ahead and take it. Yep. Yeah. The other. The, 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 the main advantage, you know, basically having another ball yeah. in play is really useful because you have a better chance of getting stray drop targets with three balls rattling around than you do with two. You're going to get miscellaneous points Ooh. from you know hitting all the other stand-up targets. And frankly, if you're playing a two-ball multi-ball on occasion, when the ball kicks out of the two-ball saucer, it'll go down the middle. Yep. So if you have a three-ball multi-ball, at least one of the two you know, multi-ball kick-out balls is not going to be doing Good bounce. That was a fantastic save. Yeah. Nice. So, so again, he's gotten two BARRs, so you notice he has three X, but because he hasn't gotten any Acoras, he doesn't have the super bonus lit. Because, yeah, fine. now... Every, Don't give every, up every, too early, Everyone's Jack. getting a little sloppy with the flippers suddenly here. Tilt. I yeah. tilted. Yeah. And way delayed, but he yeah. had a big move. Yeah. Now, with that situation there where he had, you know, 3X, if he had finished a Cora, it would have gone from 3 to 8. Because mm. it would have been, you know, three, 3 to 4 on the base and zero or you know, and 1 to 2 on the super. So that that's where that a core, you know, bank, getting that other bank, you know, is, is a huge change in your bonus. It's amazing what adjusting that tilt bob has done the, the scores on this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this went from nearly 2 million, I think, was what won it in, uh, two games in the first round to under a million, I think, has won every single one since then. So Eric with a little core progress there. Oh no. Yeah. Tilt. Yeah. No, that was a real tilt. That was a real that tilt. Was that was a real, a real tilt, tilt, Eric. It turned out he actually didn't need that much of a move, but mm -hmm. just, you know, he didn't realize that in time. <coughs> I don't know if he's happy about it. No, <laughs> he's definitely not happy about it. That that he basically that could have been the save with just a deflection and then you pick it up after the deflection. Okay. But, yeah, if you're used to the tilt being looser, your instinct is to do what Eric did, and unfortunately with a tighter tilt, it tilted. So is he he's going to look at it. Gonna They're going to confirm it. it see, and if, see, if, see if they uh, overdid it. Yeah, he's – It was – He gave it a move. And he didn't let it rest after Jack took it, so that's on him. Hockey Jack hold. It was very little nudge, though. Hockey Jack uh, goal. Yeah, says. no, but the, that, that tilt ball was still moving. Like – Jack had just tilted, and he went up and played immediately. I, that's going to be a legit tilt. Yeah. Jack screwed me. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he needed to wait longer on yeah, that. Yeah, so is that what you're saying? I mean, I, I agree that it was a light move, but it was already moving. Uh, we just saw a tilt from Jack. 
All right. Shaking him. Mark saying, I'm going to wait. I, I don't think hockey that he did use his full one minute. I, I think it was less than 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't here. even think it was that long. Uh, if you watch Eric play, when he's up, he walks up and plunges immediately. Yeah. And he plunges while he walks up to the game. All right, Mark Reserve, ball two. We did adjust it, hockey. We, we totally did. Yeah, 20 seconds is what we're saying. Yep. Okay, here we go. Getting nice and chilly in here. We get rid of some of those people. Yeah, all the machines are off now, too, all the Wizards yeah. games. Yeah. All right, Mark. Game two of three, Classics Finals. Can we get done before the Wizards Finals? I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But Mark Meserve. Now he wants to rip that A. Oh no, where yeah. is he at? He's R and A, R and A, R and A. Right side. I know the A is real late. It is extremely yeah. late. Ac a, a fair portion of the time, people actually get the A off the a slingshot hit. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, got the R, now just needs the A over there. Or, you know, when the ball's deflecting off something at the top. But yeah, the the bottom A in Akora is, uh, it's kind of like getting uh, the N in Alien Star. For folks familiar with that game, that's that's the toughest letter in Alien Star. Just like the bottom A here is the toughest letter in this game. Because you have very little angle above the uh, edge oh of the machine. Oh, there, there it okay, is. Okay, got it. Okay, Three. got it. Now he wants to go up top. A little late there. See if he post passes. You notice that the super 2X is lit now because he has both right. a bar and an Acora multiplier. But I'm guessing he's going to try and post pass or shads to go up top and get a, the Acora lock first. Yep. Almost. Mark's playing good pinball. He is. I love watching Mark play when he's on. I do too. Okay. Cradle up. Up top. There it is. There it Funny. is. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Absolutely. Okay. So now he wants to get the other lock to get the three ball multi ball and if he does it you know in the drains he'll still get the ball back because right. he'll kick it out of that top saucer yep see if he farms a core of targets here or if he uh actually goes for the lock oh he's gonna farm the <laughs> the loop value <laughs> oh my is he word he is trying to farm the loop value. <laughs> okay mm. that is uh -oh. certainly a strategy that's yeah here it comes but yeah, that's twice he uh, you know mistimed it and lost it there. Got eerily a little quiet in here. We lost about a hundred people. Yeah. So yeah, now he's got to requalify stuff. Just needs, need, just needs the A again. Oh, I thought almost he was get it there. almost got it off the side. Yeah, because that's the other way you get it. Like you know, like I said, besides the slingshot, is the ball bouncing around because it's at the very bottom there. If the ball kind of drifts to the side, it'll hit it before it hits the, the side cushion. Oh, nice. And unlucky. Uh, 217, okay. 400. Here comes Jeff. Stone's still talking in He's the back. He's still talking about it, yep. They put a uh, little white line there, and that it, it really breaks the room down if you've never been to TPF mm -hmm. and shows you the classics, uh, you know, vintage and wizards. And okay, so Jeff's got his two ball multi-ball lit. Does he go for it or does he try and work a core first? Yo. Oh. Looks like he's going for it. I would probably go for it too. Yep, might as well here. Yeah. It's not going to hurt. Right. He should try and get those last Acora letters as soon as the ball comes out. Ooh, great that, great that save. Great that save, but that, that's why I prefer the three ball is because that almost drained. Absolutely. And it's not that and uncommon for it to do it. And I bet you that tilt bob is moving, too, from that one little move. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, okay. when, I, when I played it, it started the two ball on me and they crashed into each other because the, the, the one in the lock doesn't kick out until you hit a couple of switches. And it had gone into the bumpers and it, you know, at the point in time it, when it hit just enough switches to release the other ball, it, it went into the ball coming out of the lock and the two of them crashed and they both drained. Oh. One out the side, one down the middle. That, that's the other hazard of the two ball besides the, the straight out drain is the crash drain. Oh, good job, Tabs. As he flicks the ball, yep, going for those. Yeah, don't tilt. No need to make a big move there. Okay, deflect it over. Go for your bar targets. Good shot. Oh, okay, yeah, sometimes you can get two for one if it if the you know if it either sweeps it or the rebound off the center thing gets the other one. R and A for a core. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's on top of the bumper. Dead bounce. Oh, okay. Live pitch and go for it. Okay, I'm guessing he's gonna go for the lock again. There yep. it is. Good shot. So this should get him past Mark unless he uh, gets a bad kick out here. Yeah. Um, like that, um, yeah, he almost had no multi, well, basically, yeah, pretty yeah. much no multi ball at all. Okay. And that's One more A. And that's, that's part of why I don't like the two is, you know, bad things like that can happen. And you don't get but he's still playing. It. Yep. Okay, just keep working it. You know, and, and each time you relight it, you get another multi basic multiplier at least. So. Needs a double R. Little low. Ooh. Getting a little careless there. Be careful here, Jeff. And that spinner didn't do anything. Yep, it, it is. Uh -oh. Nice save. It is. The switch on it is not currently attached. Yeah. There's a little uh, linkage. Okay, there's and his double not, R. He's not realizing that. Now, does he take an Acora letter? Yeah, I would I would go for that Acora letter, you know, rather than try and do a post pass. You know, if the ball's on the right, you can go ahead and shoot the lock. But if it's on the left and you just need the one letter, yeah, go for it. Yeah, that's what we've been looking at. You're on the right flipper, bar. When you're on the left flipper, Acora. It, I like that strategy for that on this one. I mean, you can post transfer. The post transfer is not free on this game like a lot of others. So I like just Good the idea. Al almost the quickie drain, yeah. And now I would definitely use the left flipper to go for that A. Eh, bonus collect. Collect bonus is good. It would have been really valuable to get the A before. Yeah, you. because it would have been uh, 10X instead of 4X. Mm -hmm. But he was getting very close to max bonus. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it would have been you know, like a couple hundred thousand mm. extra for that A target first. Yeah. Good ball. Yeah, put something ball, out there. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, that, that's not going to win it here, but that's uh He wanted the door open to see uh, Sheep if uh, there was the tilt bob, if it was still moving, mm -hmm. or yeah. those sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> he was just checking. Or if He's it was checking. If still, it falls moving over. still moving or up too high or whatever. So do you know where you are in the Wizards? Uh, sixth. Okay, so you got to buy. Got to buy. Look at you. That's the beauty of flunking out of the classics early. <laughs> I get to go play some, play some wizards. I'm excited for wizards. It's gonna last all night, isn't it? Probably. Uh, although a lot of these games are playing harder than these classics. Okay. Um, oh, I am getting a phone call. I'm gonna have to take that. Go ahead, buddy. All right, here comes Jack Revenue, Houston Texan. Let's see what he wants to do here. There you go. There you go. Hadi, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Hey, how are you doing? A little too much, yeah, sorry. Just a little too high. Yeah. You can hear he, was he was too focused on transferring to set up the bar yeah. rather, rather than you know take some Acora while you've got it. Because, again, like I say, if, if you try transfers and you mess it up, you get nothing. 
All right, and, you're, and, you're, and you're gonna need the Accor letters at some point. <laughs> All right, what ball? Ball two? Ball two. Yeah, ball two. All right, ball two. Eric tilted on ball one, but. What was the ruling? The ruling was that he probably, that he played too fast, not probably. Yeah. And yeah. that uh, Jack, it was the ball, you know, his tilt, the pill pop was still moving. He should have waited a minute. Ah, uh, did Jack tilt on? Yeah. The, uh, that, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a. That's a. a user. I'll tell you one. Matthews is figuring out if he got enough bonus to win before you <laughs> decide whether or not to make a big move when the ball drains on ball three. That's a noticeable Matthews. All right, back up the right. Which is one bad thing about a lot of Stearns. And some of later Bally Williams is that you can't see the scores to know if that's true or not. Yeah. Because they're doing all their little show and tell with their special effects. Welcome, okay. Lost the Third, to chat. Okay. So, like I say, now. Oh. Oh, and yeah, that was way too fast, and he's not happy, but back to work. All right. B and A are already down. And yeah, he's. he's oh, nice save. Nice oh. save. And again, yeah, he's, he's doing the way I prefer, is just taking, you know, which you know, letters on whichever side is available without getting cute. Nice. Since for maximum score, you need them both Good anyway. Save. All right, lock is lit at the perfect shot. Nice, nice shot. job. Okay. Yeah, Bob, too early <laughs> for that, man. I got <laughs> another six, seven hours <laughs> streaming. I can't have that. <laughs> Lock is lit again. <laughs> well, for what, it's, for what it's worth, I believe oh, I, hold the, I hold the record for uh, most hours streaming in the state of Texas. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> there you go. When the, the Nationals and the uh, Pin Masters and Women's was here about 10 years ago, I did 11 of the 13-hour stream. Oh, all right. So here, endurance man. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've been on yeah. since nine. That's you you would have to go to 10 p.m. No problem. Excuse me, eight. <laughs> if you don't take any breaks. Yes, no breaks for you. Oh, I got a <laughs> break. I got to pee. <laughs> I drink like 10 diet cokes a day. Yeah. And you see, Eric has you know the super bonus, so his total bonus is 8x now. So he's got uh, 96,000 in bonus already. Nice. And if he gets another set of Akora, that goes from 8 to 15. So he just collected assuming his 96? Ass ass assuming he's got yeah. bar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now you notice when you collect on bar Akora, the bonus base resets, but the multipliers all stay. Nice. So he still has his 8x. The saucer's got some value on it on the left. Needs that A and RR. Right. Thank you, Softball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's trying to get he's trying to get the Akora here because now if he gets finishes Akora, his bonus will go from ten to fifteen. Nice. X. So yeah, he definitely wants to finish the Akora letters during this multi ball. Because he'll get, like I said, he'll go from 10 to 50 next, and he'll get a whole bunch more base bonus in the process. What's the oh, max base? There <laughs> there's the two ball multi ball death. death yeah, that double. Yep, that's why you don't like that saucer. That was dirty. That yeah. was so I mean, dirty. Was. I don't like that saucer. Yeah. It really was. All right, ball three. Here we go. Mark Reserve. So the announcer in the middle is only 23. <laughs> yeah. That's what aspartame does to you. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm triple you, so. <laughs> I'm 51, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, Mark. Ball three. Barracora. What's next? I Harlem. Oh, Harlem Globe Trotters. Harlem. Nice. We saw Wesley earlier blow up Named Harlem. Yes. Named for a town in Holland outside of Amsterdam. Ooh. All right, Mark, take a second. Let's lock the safety ball up top here. Mm -hmm. We've dubbed it safety. There we go. There it there is. There we go. And he got it on the cradle, which is nice. 
Yep. We've seen a lot of requirements to have some momentum, but from there it was a really nice shot. Okay, okay. buddy, what are we doing? Where are you going? He's, he's going bar the door here mm -hmm. to go from 2X to 6X. Nice. And light his three ball, multi ball. And he just needs the, uh, I think he already has the A. Just oh, oh, nice, nice stay. Oh. Oh. And, and the tilt with and the, the tilt safety kills the safety ball. ball. Oh. Tilt kills the, tilt the safety with ball. The safety I mean, that's a fair uh, setting, though. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, just. I feel sorry for the. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You work I mean, so hard to get the safety. You work so hard to get yeah. the safety. You feeling good about yourself. And uh, it almost makes sense to just, you yeah. know, <laughs> you fool. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know if Jeff is aware of it, but the, uh, his center target there is worth 50000 right now because he's got it at 25 k and 2X. If you look at those uh, lights above the eyes. Mm -hmm. So that's worth 50000 Oh, nice. If you can get it. So is the max 250 then on the center? Yeah, max okay. on the center is 250. Safety, All right, safety. Safety's lit. There, there it is. Beautiful. Boom. Another okay. great clean okay. shot. Jeff from Omaha, Nebraska. Represent. Oh, nice. Ball three. Okay, back down to two. Yeah, but he, but he uh, collected his yeah. 50 there. Yeah. Through that horseshoe, right? Yeah. Yeah, Wizard yeah, starts the, in 40 the, minutes. The We're going to uh, go the, a little the, long. The center, the center targets are what build the value, and the horseshoe is what collects it. Gotcha. Yeah. Tabati, we're going to go a little long here uh, on the classics, but uh, we'll go right into it. I, I won't even change the title. <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> no, I'm going <laughs> to shut the stream off. It makes it easier for my boy Donovan when we're yeah. breaking it up. That makes sense for editing you know, purposes. Just for and editing yeah. and just to start anew. Totally makes sense. Oh, there's another Donovan? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, uh, I'm, I'm used to just the Dino Donovan. No, we have a guy named Donovan oh. Wade who's our... Who's, who's uh, a former champion Safety here. ball? Yeah. There it is. Smart. Safety. Don't tilt. Yep. Get your ball back. Yeah, Don Donovan won co uh, a couple of the older... TPFs back in the early teens. I know because I was his lucky charm. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, he would he would beat me and then go, you know beat me in round one or two and then go on to win uh. instead of. You know, I'm like a lot of people's lucky charm. In, instead of you know facing him in the finals, you know, he, he, you know we got each other too early. At least you could always say I lost to the eventual champ. That's <laughs> always what I want. Yeah, it just sucks if you do it in round one yes. or two <laughs> instead of in you know, the final. Very true. All right, Jeff grinding out here. He's got 6x for 10,000, right? So that'd be 60k. Yep, yep, 60k. How'd you do in Wizards? Did I ask you this? Um, I did okay. I didn't budget my time properly. I had a chance to make a with a couple more games, but you know what? It's a great lesson, and uh, I had to perform. What's but your lesson that you shouldn't commentate with Jamie too no, often? No, I uh, I think I'm gonna cut down the times I um, sh uh, score keep because I did a lot, yeah. and I, I could have used that for playing. But it was All a right, collect bonus. Okay, collect yeah, bonus. There you go. Jumped him up to Again, 657. Yeah. Now if he'd gotten the A first, again it would have been a lot bigger, but better to get it nice than not save. get it. Yeah. So yes. See if he gets the bottom A in a core now. Beautiful nice. There it is. Yep. There it is. Right on the tip. Yep. And see his bonus. So that, you know, and now instead of being 6x, it's 12x. Nice shot. And he's got a safety ball again. So yep. he's only got two in base, though, right? So that'd be 24. Yeah, oh, yeah, because he just collected. Gotcha. But he's going to, you know, but you do those top lanes and you can build it back up in a hurry here. What is the extra ball? It's 100k? I think it's. I thought we saw it earlier. It was 100k. Okay, there you go. Oh, just missed it. Seen at 679. <laughs> yeah. Good and luck he, in and finals. He, and he has 120 in the bank if he doesn't tilt. Mm, huge. So he definitely wants to not tilt and rely on the safety ball if it comes to that. All right. Left saucer lock is lit. He's got a collect ready. And safety ball. Okay, here we go. His saucer yes. is, his inserts are maxed oh, out for a little out. value. All right, we can get it right here. Oh, 
Yeah. Another rejection. You got it. Beautiful. There it is. Okay, there so it is at the start of multi-ball. <laughs> his bonus is 120. We'll see what it is when he comes out of multi-ball here. But it's starting at 120. Nice feed from the saucer. Safe. Let's see if he gets another. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. So three ball, multi ball. What am I trying to do here? Collect bonus up top. You're trying to get more Acora letters. Yeah. To get your bonus up to 25x instead of just 12x. Okay. He needs the R. And like, and like I say, is. you know, you're going to get some uh, bonus advances just, you know, in the process of keeping the balls alive and hitting stuff. So notice he's already up to. Uh, 15x Oof. and uh, 21 base now. So I remember he had uh, what was it, 120 mm -hmm. entering multi ball. Yep. And now he's already over 250. Okay. And still in multi ball. Yeah, yeah, he's over 300 now. Yep. Wow. 21 times 15. Yep. Yep. I and there's the collect. There it there's is. There's the collect. Oh, wow, 300,000. Yep. yep, yep. That's, that, like, I, like I say, that's why in multiball you just keep getting more letters. Because that paid off big time for him. Little micro flip. Needs the bottom A. Oof. Little stack action. All right, it's A and double R. And, and All again, right, trap you know, up. Here we go. And again, you know, the... The base bonus reset, but his 15x is still there. So he wants his A again, So he right? can build that up again and go collect again. Yeah, he can go, yeah. You know, even though he's out of multi-ball, he still has his 15x. Jiminy. So right now, he wants to build up bonus. Because every bonus at the top there is another 15,000. So yeah, just go up top and Beautiful. get, just go up top and get lanes. What a ball. Now, would you go to the saucer for the lock or go up top? I'd go up top to the – I'd go to the saucer, yeah. Cause okay. Because two balls flying around, you're more Lot likely to get yeah. – <laughs> Yeah. You're more likely <laughs> to get stuff. Plus, you're going to get some – just, you know, plunging, you're going to get a ball down the lane He needs to knock to it out of here because exactly. it's going to yeah. come out right down the middle. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, and he got some – oh, were they out of order? Yeah, I think they were. Okay, yeah. is that 20X? That's 20X, yep. Yeah. So 140 right Let's now. Let's go collect this bonus. Yeah. Tough to do. That would have been awesome. A little late. <laughs> or early, excuse me. This is what you do. Man, what a patient ball. We got a nice good choice there. Nice choice. We got a great crowd down in the lobby watching at the wormhole booth. Let's give a shout out to those clowns down there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying okay, TPF. No worries. He's got uh, 20 times eight. eight. 160. 160. Yeah, yeah. This is where I would tilt. <laughs> <laughs> I just would leave it. I'd be like, you know what? Back up top if it's for a going collect. out, it's going Ooh, out. Almost. Oh. I'd, I'd go back up top for a collect here. Just you know. He's got 30 on the horseshoe. Just just get a little more room between you and Eric. Very true. You're gonna need that. Looks like we lost break shot, huh? Uh, yeah. We avoided all the scores. A lot of people were like, oh, my good, good score in break shot. <laughs> oh, almost uh -oh. a rebound into the little saucer. Yeah, it looks like he's playing no tilt style right now because it looks like he kept his hands loose. Nice. There's, there's this, another so nice collection. He'll be at 1-6 with that extra 160. Good, good control. And again, he still has his 20x. Jeff yeah, Davis so playing out of Omaha, Nebraska. So yeah, now you go for your lock again. Oh, but this is huge, and game he two. He finished the other letters, so now he's at 25x. He's maxed his multiplier. All right. So he's at 75, oh, <laughs> 100K, 125K. Yeah. Good release yeah. from that <laughs> saucer. Yeah, um, yeah. And, but God, basically any, any advanced bonus lane now is 25,000. That's awesome. His special's lit on the out lanes. Not sure what it's worth, but it's there. And they're yeah. both lit. Yeah. See, at this point, you can't increase your multiplier anymore. RNA on a core. So, so now you just so want to build so the base. So you want to build the base. So basically, you want to go up top and get one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. Gotcha. 
R, important game for him. He's sitting at zero, so, you know, a four would be amazing. Yeah, you know, the return lanes also give you a bonus advance. But, you know. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. He's like, he's like, I'm cool. That's I'm okay. Really Great nice ball. ball. Really, really nice yeah. ball. Let's go, Jeff. All right, you just witnessed a fantastic ball. Uh, game two of the finals of Classic Finals. I'm Jamie Barksworth, joined by Bob Matthews and Hi. Frisco Pinball Zone, Hottie. And uh, wow, that was a really great ball. Here we go, Jack Revenue. Revenue. Guaranteeing, guaranteeing himself at least two points. Absolutely. Or excuse me, one point. Okay. Every point important in these Papa scoring formats. Pretty quiet in here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Good reason. <laughs> All right. It's a party downstairs, but we got the well, we're going to party here tonight because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people watching both down here and uh, oh, that's dangerous. dangerous. Save. Yep. Nice slap. All right. All right. He he's yeah. a 68. Let's get some well, momentum going. Well, Let's try what to what pass. Jack needs to do here is basically, you know, get uh, get a two ball multi ball, have it not drain, and at least try and pass Mark. Right. And then you know, kind of work your way up bit then by bit. Then chop some wood. Let's chop some wood. Yeah, chop some wood. You know, at, at this point, since he's on ball three, oh, good oh, save nice. coming yeah. out of there. Build it up. Yeah, he's got 30k for the horseshoe. Oh, mm. brutal. No. Okay, 156. Yeah. Now, at, now at this point, since he doesn't have a lock lit, I wouldn't get fussy about going for the two ball multi ball. You know, you need big points if you actually want to dig yourself. Would you try to get that safety? I, I would try and get the safety, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. He's got one down. He needs Cora. Yeah. There's the A. So, again, I think right flipper bar. Left was flipper exact Cora. Left flipper Cora. It yeah. 183. 176. So, he got to pass Mark. That's the key here for him. Nice shot. Yeah, uh -huh. that was a good choice yeah. there, because like I say, now now if it doesn't insta-drain him on the multi-ball start, he should be able to get past Mark. Nice. Looks like a little air defense there. Good control. Okay. 236. So yeah, so if, if he doesn't tilt, he's past Mark now. I think he's about to pass him anyway. Oops. Well, okay, yeah. Two four to pass Mark. Guaranteed one point. Now let's try to pass Eric. Yep. So Mark yeah. and four going well into the next round. Oh. Yeah, for passing Eric, though, you know, Eric still has a ball sure. in Sure. Okay, he's got his uh, horseshoe up to 60,000 now. 75. Oh, actually, yeah, let's see. That's two, three, 125. Two, three, five, ten. So, yeah, he's got the horseshoe at 125. Needs one more target on the right to make it two. Beautiful post pass to the yeah. saucer shot. Yeah. Nice job, Jack. Yeah. So it'd be useful for him to get a, a hit on the right side stand up target that you can't Ooh, see underneath, the underneath that triangle there, because that'll make the horseshoe worth two fifty. You, you might be able to go straight up into it from the right flipper. Oh, come on, Jack! <laughs> don't, don't fumble. Gee. All right. Dead bounce over. Calm okay. yourself. Okay. Bob just scolded him. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack heard, and he said, Jack, okay. Jack's scolding himself. He's, He's like got 88 k I wasn't right supposed now. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now sometimes you can get that uh, stand-up target in the middle with a bank shot off the targets. The drop targets, that is. Nice catch. Ugh. All right. He got his B down. Nice. Two more. R and A. Oh, yeah. down the middle. Nope. So he's not going to catch Eric. No. Nope. But he got himself, you know. Minimum of a point. So he got a point. A point. So unless Eric passes Jeff, we're going to have a situation with. 4-4-3-3. Uh, four, four, three, three. Well, no. Mar let's see. It's. Uh, Mark with zero. 4-4-3-3. Four. Four, four, three, three, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeff, if Jeff, he can hold on. Four, so four, basically, three, three. that you know, <laughs> that but game three is going to be If it's four, amazing. four, three, three, winner wins. Yep, awesome. There could still be a tiebreaker for other positions, but winner wins. Well, if uh, 
par for course, we're going to have a tiebreaker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Had a lot of bonus pinball today. <laughs> that's, what we're doing. That's, what, that's what we're doing today. We're having bonus pinball. Well, sometimes you have bonus pinball, and sometimes you have bogus pinball, and yeah. sometimes you have both. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you follow wormhole, you're used to that. So, <laughs> All right, Eric, stepping up. Needs 1.4 million. Yes, was yeah, it? Yeah, Sally, you just hold yeah, on. Now, yeah, now in this situation, if you're Eric, you know, you're guaranteed two points. So, you you know, the only way you're going to beat Jeff is to do what Jeff did. Grind out multi-balls and collects. Grind out multi-balls and bonus multipliers. And then, you know, try and save your collects until you have the bonus high enough. <laughs> Pretend it's Jaws. All right, nothing. You're, you're, al you're always better off working on, you know, the, the base bonus. But you you, you want to build the base up as high as you can before you collect. Makes sense. Especially the multiplier. Since the multiplier stays. I need a lounge chair for 20. <laughs> nice catch. Don't you think that would work they for us? Yeah. They, they have lounge chairs at, uh, oh, where was I? I think it was Starfighters. They had lounge chairs available. <laughs> Where's a fishing reel when you need it? Not Jaws, that's for sure. <laughs> this isn't what Bowen's tutorial was telling me All right. to do. 6x on 5, so 30k. Yeah, like I say, it, it doesn't get interesting until you get your multiplier up a little higher. Ooh. Good save. But the bonus does go up to 39 base and 25x. So basically, you can get up to 975,000 in bonus. Bowen's uh, actually <laughs> watching you, Dalton. <laughs> yes. <and yeah>. Laughing. <laughs> that was uh, that laugh you heard was Bowen Karen laughing at your. Uh, collect bonus now. <laughs> Thank you, Dalton, no. for supporting Wormhole Pinball. I see that first subscriber badge. I wouldn't collect yet. <laughs> Ad break. 15K on six. Oh. 75. You know, I put it to as I mean little ads as humanly possible, people. I mean, you know, you can collect since your multiplier <laughs> is really up yeah. there. But, you know, he's... he's okay. It, you know, give, given your multiplier is as high as it is, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to collect. So, you know, he could yeah. take, he could take it because you know the multiplier is going to stay. Well. Oh, okay. Thank right. you, Softball Dave, for the gift sub to Brian O'Neill. Brian, enjoy ad free Thank viewing. Thank you, Softball. <laughs> <laughs> softball Dave's the greatest name on the planet. Yeah. So now is now is multiplier is twenty. Okay. Yeah. All right. So collect bonus and the safety. Yeah. Nice. So a 20K, yeah, you're right, on one now. Yeah. So build it back up. Build it back up and then collect again. Especially with the safety. Yep. Live up top for now. Yep. It's a horseshoe for 20, I think. Yeah, there's no point in Ooh, taking got yeah. the no, O on no, no, no point in taking the horseshoe for 20. Yeah. The, the horseshoe at this point, you, yeah, I, I wouldn't bother taking the horseshoe until. <laughs> oh. Safety. Don't walk away. Yep. There's the safety. Does the horseshoe give you a reliable feed or return feed? Depends on which way it goes through yeah. it. They need more. Uh, I can give you a little more. There you go. Now it's peaking. I give you ah. oh. Come on. You know how to make shots? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now you're getting the audience. Talking to yourself. You're welcome. <laughs> <Not that one. laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, sauce for that. Oh. Yeah. You now, asked for more that, audio, now, Dave. Yeah. Now that did not advance his bonus multiplier because he already had uh, bar. He's at 40k yeah, right now. He, there he we go. Basically, he needs another Accora to go from 20x to 25x. But going for multi-ball, you know, going for bar to start multi-ball was a good choice because that increases yeah, the chances that he can get a Quora yeah. to 25x. Get and, that and increases the chance that he can build his base up faster. Now here it comes. One trap. Nice. Yeah, good. Because, yeah, with two balls, you can build your base up faster. More Eric audio. Yeah. Is his A still up? I think it is. On the Accora? Can't nope, tell. That's I think not it good. is. Where it 
this. Most people actually don't get to this stage that often. But at, at this point, you know, since he already has bar maxed out and he just needs one more set of Akora, when you've got it on the right flipper, you need to go up top like that. Okay. And get more bonus advance lanes. He missed lanes. it. He missed the change. Yeah, bonus advance lanes with the one, two, three, four, five, six. So here he's back up again. <laughs> missed it again? Yeah, missed it. See, that's, that's what's getting his progress on the, uh, the baseball no. top. Three jack. Oh, come on. Oh. oh. You telling me I shook at that time? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do it. Yeah, dude, you went like this, man. Ball don't I lie. Do I had a ball cradled, and I flipped anyway. the ball. All right, let's go to just the I commentators. I'll, uh. All right, so what happened I've there? What happened there? I have been a victim of that <laughs> several thousand times over the last <laughs> Talk 50 to years. How did that happen? What I call it is the build-up tilt. Yeah. Where you've been doing, you know, slight nudges for 10 minutes. Yeah. And it's like pumping the swing, you know, swing on a kid's, uh, you know, in the backyard when you just, you know, you pump your legs a little sure. more, a little more, a little, little, little more. more. Yeah. They screwed me, Norma. And, and if the timing <laughs> of your nudges is, you know, Unfortunate, and, and you keep the thing is you can't see the tilt bob to know if you've been pumping it like that. A tilt bob cam one day would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. you've seen them on some streams. Yeah, uh, they have they it don't have them for tournaments. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 That yeah. would be too hard to do for <laughs> every yeah. single thing. Everyone just put yeah. it in there, yeah. put a little but wire. But, but in basically, you know, it's it's all those little nudges build up. Yeah. And and I tilt more probably more often doing that than any other way. With just you know like uh, just cu constant cu cumulative movement. nudging. Yeah. yeah. So this is what's next, ladies and gentlemen. All so right. So we are at four four three three. There it is. Are we on Harlem? Where are we going? Harlem. We're Go on Cars. Harlem. Oh, nice. What a good good pin to finish off for the classics. Named for the town of Harlem, Netherlands. Oh, so they're gonna move it for oh. us. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you, Rob. I know I'm moving all over the place. Yep. I apologize. Yep. I didn't move the rig because they were working on breakout. So I apologize for that. But, you know, I've got a great you mean, guy. You mean break shot, but break that's okay. Shot. I, I th break out is a better game than break shot. Yeah, <laughs> it you're, is. You're right. It is. You're right. <laughs> it is. When you're right, you're right. But here is Harlem Globetrotters, and that looks pretty good. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. Wow. He's got it. Predictions are up. Shabby. Thank you, Dalton. Appreciate that. I got everything. Uh, no. no. Score cam needs to go down. Okay. I, pre I predict that Dalton will have to pay significant taxes this year. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Coming off a high stakes Indisc win, Nationals, he's yeah. got some money that yeah. the, uh, yeah. the tax man is going to want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Dalton, I can't help you there. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was going to go help, but I don't need help. All right, let's get the updated we scores here, need, guys. We all need help. I need a tremendous <laughs> amount of help. Cost me fifty dollars an hour. <laughs> right, game three. Turn. Let's head to game three. Okay, you're right. Game three. Harlem. Harlem. Yeah, that was somewhat unusual, but not unprecedented. So four, four, three, three. Are you ready? And this Harlem, the globe we're going too. By the mm -hmm. way, now, now the globe letters are on random here. Yes, so strobing random. You can only get globe by getting, you know, right time, right place. Ba it basically, your only way of for sure finishing globe is getting your stand-up targets because each of those, or you know, your inline targets because each of those advances you a globe letter. Okay, here we go. Otherwise Do they on this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 yeah the inlines give you a globe letter. That's the only way to be sure you actually finish globe. All right, nice, ball one, nice. not too good for Jeff, but as we've seen, oh, okay. just takes one ball on this. Spinner rip yeah. there. Interesting, he did a spinner rip and didn't do the uh, inlines. Does he think he's building up his bonus first before he hits the inlines? Dead or bounce, he just take it yeah, there? Dead bounce, There you go. Inline, okay. Oh, straight mm -hmm. back. And quick drain. But that was the right play to dead bounce to set up the inline shot. All right, Jack. Winner of this is going to win the Classics. Here yeah. at TPF. Yeah. Right. Here we go. They're checking in people for Wizards Finals. So they're going to be walking right past us. If anybody's not here, <laughs> I'll, I'll play <laughs> in Wizards Finals. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a no show. Yeah, this is the Strobe and Globe. All right, Jack. And it's three ball, am I correct? Yeah, three ball. Okay. Okay, there's one in line. 
Does he do rolling tap? No, he flips away. Look out. Okay. Coming safe. down saw. Beautiful inline shot. Nice. Okay. Back to 3x. Or yeah, to it. Oh, yeah. 2x. Now. One more for the third. There There's the three. And now his spinners are Ooh. also worth a thousand. Yeah. On the left. I, I would not be surprised if any of these guys won. This is so, mm -hmm. that's what this talent is right here. Okay, got the E, three left. Oh. Although I kind of do like Jack's uh, patch on his, <laughs> it's a nice patch. Bob. Got the E again. Sitting at three X on. No yeah, super bonus it, yet. Yeah, at this point, you know, dead bouncing to shoot the spinner is just fine. Yep. At a thousand apiece, it makes a big, there you oh. go, 5x. Nice. I yeah. would not have transferred there. You just go to the spinner. Just go to the spinner. At 2,000 yeah. a spin, that's yeah. better than your saucer. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the first score, 9,000 points, you just need four spins to uh, equal that. Yeah, quit playing with your food here, Jack. <laughs> Okay, he's got his super bonus. Is it? I forget. Is this turned on? Super bonus or is it off? Uh, it is on. Okay. There you go. So yeah, if the super bonus is on, you want to make sure you get at least twenty, because then it's easier to step up to thirty and forty. Okay, so he nice tap. Shot the little side target there that lights his open gate to protect him on the right. Your spinner. Your spinner. Here it comes. Nice. There. Reject. Yeah, the 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 light on the spinner is the advanced bonus spinner, the light on its side. Uh, there's no advancing, Brian. This is the winner. Winner is <laughs> this is it. Yeah. We'll probably might have a tie for other positions, but for yeah. now, yeah. winner take all. Got to keep his uh, save there. That was the right choice. Set up the spinner. The thing with the drop catch, though, you don't want to scissor yourself. <laughs> right. Oh, nice rip. Great ball one. It is a great ball one. That's one thing about Harlem is you can get a million points on a ball. And just, you know, get that spinner lit for 2,000 a spin and rip it enough times. And, you know, you, you're going to get a bunch of other stuff along the way. And then you can get the you know, 245 and bonus. <laughs> proud dad, Fred, so, fist you know, pumping. Dad, proud daddy. Yeah. So, yeah, a million point ball is quite doable. <laughs> can you change your vote now? No. Too bad. Brad. <laughs> you can't. You asked Dalton, he's the one to put some on. And, and you notice he wisely dead bounced yeah. there to yep. set up the spinner. Five gets that thing right because yeah, right now you want the ball on the right flipper, not the left one. He wasn't sure it was gonna dead bounce, so he shifted gears there. Okay. It's been a rip. Yes. Go back up. Yep. Stay up top all day. Gonna get dead bounce to set up the spinner. Yeah, when you have it dialed in, only got just go back to that shot. Only got a few spins, but don't worry, just and keep getting the ball back there. Nice. And then again, that was you know correct choice there because that probably would have not have dead bounced where he wanted it. While you guys are talking, I want to <laughs> show everyone the picture of these people playing <laughs> here. <laughs> that's, that's just the spinner <laughs> catching up. <laughs> if you were wondering why I was holding the ball longer, that's just the spinner point catching up. Oh. Okay. What a ball, Jack. Possible tournament winning ball there. Yeah. Holy smokes is right, Jason. Holy smokes. Now he's going to roll it on ball two. <laughs> Possible chance. Yeah. 9-11. Yeah. What a ball one. 11,000. Nice job, Jack. That's the number you should call right there. <laughs> Aren't you? But the thing about Harlem is that's not a guarantee. 
Yeah, who knows? Any, any of these guys can come back to Hall. Eric put up a million on ball one yesterday. Wow. You know, All right. I've done stuff like that. I know several other people who have. It wouldn't surprise me if Mark we got a crowd has, watching or at here. Least can, has or at least can. So not a done deal yet. No. That was ball one. But it was a pretty darn good ball. All right, Mark Reserve. Here he goes. Yes, he let that go because it didn't hit a switch, and he wants to see if he can get it to actually drop in the saucer and get a saucer letter. Like that. Like that. Good explanation. That's why you're the best in the business. Because I was about to panic I can't, for him. I can't always execute no, or, no, no, no. Don't, or sen and sometimes go don't get the opportunity to execute, depending on how the game treats me, but at least I know what no to do. Absolutely, <laughs> you do. So okay, that was a fortunate return lane there. And he's doing a little slight nudges there to try and kill the momentum off the slings a bit so that the ball doesn't go out of control. Oh. Yeah. That's something I mentioned in the, the preface to my guide is uh, trying to get the sling. You know, if the ball's going back and forth between the slings, you want to either work it up or work it down. Okay. So you kind of want to nudge so that it, you know, it, it eventually drops down the slings to the flippers or depending on how active they are, you know, like goes up and out, but way up and out rather than across into you know, one of the out lanes on a sling grab. All right, ball two, Jeff Davis comes up. Just watched uh, one person blow it up, but that's yeah. okay. Kind of like the, uh, uh oh, what I was talking, you know, what we were talking about with the, uh, the tilt bob. Yeah. Just uh, pumping back and forth. Nice rip. Yeah, the spinner, doesn't, the spinner doesn't do him any good until it's worth at least a thousand. Yeah. At 10, you're just kind of hoping to just get up top and get a letter. Yeah, which is not that valuable yeah. when the letters aren't sequential. Exactly. Oh, nice save. Nice. If, if they're sequential, yeah. If they're not sequential, don't bother. Omaha, Nebraska's own. Body. No, they're not. There's Tabati. your little sling grain. Ouch. No, Absolutely not, Tabati. No, they're not earplugs. Yeah, right. You get the correct that. That's cool. All right, Eric Stone. I don't think there's no. Oh I don't think gosh. there are no plugs either. <laughs> what, what did you invite me here for? <laughs> you said it would be great. You said it would be great. All right. You, you lured me in, man. Now Eric's situation here, since he also has three, if he doesn't win, oh no. The best he can do is a tiebreaker for second place because either Jeff or Mark has to get at least a point. So at least one of them is going to get the five. There's some big money be, uh, so between second and Like I say, Eric, Eric, if he wants to get second, <laughs> has to finish second and then win a tiebreaker with whoever finishes higher between Jeff and Mark. All right, here we go. Bleep. I love the sound of oh. ball. Bleep. Well, you're owed one after that <laughs> ball one blow up. Okay. Okay. Machine said, ah, it's my turn. And they're going through the uh, announcements for the Wizards. I'm sure you could hear that in the background. I'll let you guys hear it. Because Mark as we are. Actually, uh, in this particular case, it's not so much law of, oh, average echo. Law of averages as what's known as reversion to the mean. <laughs> There you go. If you're not a fan, if you're not a math person or, or name Bowen, look it up. So there's going to be an echo while he's talking. I'll turn the rig score cam back on once the uh, announcements are made. <laughs> oh, Mark. Dead bounce there. Dead bounce. There you go. Oh, oh scissor. Oh. You hate to do that, especially on camera. Uh, Walt is not yeah. in this tournament. He said, all three games 
He said darn it. Uh, he is not playing in the Wizards. I will hydrate. No, not in, he's not playing in Wizards. Lord of the Rings. Ladies and gentlemen, ball three. <laughs> who's, who's filling in for Walt then? Uh, number 25, Bob Caldwell. Bob Caldwell? Yep. Okay, okay. He will not be playing. Uh, there was a tournament decision made. Okay. Uh, he is not in the tournament anymore. Okay. Uh, so Bob Caldwell uh, is taking his spot. Okay. The other Bob. <laughs> Here it is. Do or die for Jeff. Yep. Flip that. You know, we don't know what happened. Yeah, we just know that a uh, decision was made and he is not playing in the finals. I'm sure you could find, ask people that are here at TPF what happened. Oh. Uh, yeah. Unlucky, okay. Jeff. Baba Booey. <laughs> All right, good job, Jeff. Not bad. So Eric needs to get at least. They're going to make a move that, aren't they? Well, yeah. <laughs> he got it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, ball don't lie. <laughs> it is very hard for this guy so to give the announcements so while it's on our so stream. So we're going to have a tiebreaker for third between Jeff and Eric. Of course. And Mark is going to be second. Oh, oh. oh almost a roll. He needed to drain out the si left side. All right, do we have a playoff here? Because For third. Okay. It's going to be 5-5 five, five between Jeff and Eric. I'm probably no, excuse, not. No, excuse me, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. It's, it's going to end up with, Jack's going to have seven. Mark's going to have six. For a second, you know, four plus two. Right. And then Jeff is going to stay at four, and Eric's going to get one more point for beating Jeff. So Eric and Jeff are going to each be at four and have a tiebreaker for third place. Wow. No, I didn't clip it, Dave, because I'm a little slow. Today. You guys can clip it. There's a little button on Twitch. You can but hit clip. You know, <laughs> hey, Mark Meserve can still win this, guys. Yes, he could. I mean, what's Theoretically, it's yes. one ball. No, yeah. no, I know. Yeah, Mark I can still win. In Mark. It's one ball. It's Harlem. As I was saying, it's possible. But he's got a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah. Dead bell. Rolling. Uh, okay. okay. So All right. Only 100, but get up there. Well, he basically, he figured he didn't have a good opportunity to transfer it at that point. Makes so sense. Like Dead bell. So tip. No. Okay. Yeah, tip is came yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is set on random. Right, yeah, he needs the ball. Oh, oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. And congratulations to Jack. Nice job, Jack. Jack well Revenue win. is your 2024 Classics TPF. Champ, TPF champion. Congratulations to Jack. We're going to get him on the stream in a little bit. I am going to. Everyone is, is very excited. Nice job, Jack. I'm going to get him on the stream in a little bit. We're going to then turn off the nice stream. Nice job, man. Beautiful ball. Nice work. God, that was awesome, dude. The Texas Texas boy went into Texas Classics. That Can't is beat what it. we want. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, nice. look, I like the patch on it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little biased, Bob. I'm a little biased, okay? There's a lot of wormhole gear giving him some hugs, and I love it, okay? I'm a little biased. Nice work. But uh, I'm super proud of him. I'm uh, – here we go. Now, I'm going to shut this stream down. Why am I shutting this down? Because in 15 minutes, I'm starting back up on the Wizards. <laughs> so stay here. <laughs> so just chill out. Stay in chat. You can chat to each other while I he's I got some flying. batteries to change. 
Well, I got some things I got to do. He'll be back in 15. Probably 20. 20. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Bob, thank you so much, okay. Bob Matthews. Thank you so sure. much. Good job. Sure. Thank you so much, You're Hattie. welcome. My pleasure. And thank you so much for tuning in. We will be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure before you leave, you just click that follow. You just, ooh, ooh, ooh. You just click that follow and you use the, uh, the little bell next to it so then you know when we're back up in 15 to 20. But congratulations, Jack. Uh, I'll run some polls off. I'll be here. What do they want me to do? Stay? No, because I need to change Dalton. I need to change the whole title. No. I'm not streaming a tiebreaker. We'll find out. You'll find out later who won the tiebreaker. I'm sorry about that, Tabati. I know. But it's just a long day, and we've got to pace ourselves. And as the producer of the uh, TPF uh, Wizards and Classics television show that I'm giving you, I have to make an executive decision, and that decision is i got to go check the batteries. Uh, so here we go. I will get back to you in about 15 to 20. Thank you so much for tuning in, and come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you.